Welcome back to Dungeon Cruel Stone Soup, everyone. So, I've decided to do the Wiglaf challenge today, which I'm a little bit late on starting, but I've still got plenty of time to finish, right? Got to get it done before, well, Friday for me, so a few days. Um, so the challenge you've got to play is a mount to a fight of either Okuwara or Sifmana, and we'll see which one of those I end up going with. I'm not entirely sure. So you've got to get a, a charged random weapon up to plus nine, although apparently it's fine if you just fight it at, like, plus nine or plus ten or something already, so, um... Yeah, anyway, got to charge random armor up to at least plus six or a random shield to plus five, at least plus five. Got to wear a hat, which... I think this means only wear hats and I'm wearing a hat at the end of the game, but I could be wrong. It's not entirely clear on that one. Uh, I gotta get, what is it, at least two of the following spells. So felt, uh, Hellfire Mortar, Force of Infused Lade, Rhyme Blight, Gels Gravolt, or Maxwell's Portable Pile Driver castable. And you gotta cast at least ten times or something, which seems fine. Don't have any of those by the, well, the end of a 10 cigarette floor or something. You can, you just get the point anyway. And then you gotta go all in, wear all artifacts. And this is a hard one, having a full set of artifacts. Apparently it's possible if you don't have a shield, if you do have a two-handed artifact weapon. Sure. Uh, well, there's another note. If you get mutated, you gotta unmutate yourself to get the slot available. Because you gotta actually wear the stuff, not just have it on you. Sure. Um... Well, that's going to be the hard one, though, getting a uh, full set of artifacts. That's why I was maybe thinking of going for a mage on this, but I don't know. Anyway, let's start up a character. As a mage might have a better chance of doing a ziggurat, and you are allowed to be a Sith Martyr. It would also really help with getting those spells castable that they want you to get. So it's a mountain dwarf. It says it's not as a fighter, which is not ideal. It didn't say what kind of weapon to have, so... Let's gotta go with the War Axe, because I got good aptitude in that one. Um, start with a little bit of fighting skill. And then I'll figure out what to get from there, I think. Oh, there's a bull python somewhere. Let's just pull that one back. So I don't run into too many more creatures. But yeah, oh, what's my int? Eight? Eight int? Hmm. I'm still, like, really tempted to become a mage so I can get those spells usable and also, um, maybe do some of Ziggurat if I need to. But hopefully I find some items that improve that in, because that's just looking kind of sad. I could pull this dude around the corner. I think he's got some random stones or something. Got an amulet of faith. It's not an artifact one, but I'm allowed to wear it. Presuming I need to, because I don't have a god yet. Okay, positive energy is not the most useful thing early on. I don't feel like there's really anything that does damage like that early on, but that's fine. Hey, Sally, how's your morning going? If it's even morning for you, how is it going? Oh, well, I don't even know why I'm picking up these stones. I guess I can use them to get the attention of monsters. I've done that before. This axe has been remarkably uh, effective. I guess it is a war axe that I do start with. So I start with like all the right stuff to be a fighter. I don't think a faded older works, but I'll check it out anyway. So it's action, sorry, you're no, 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 no. I mean, I don't think I'm allowed to get my god for a faded older, but also those gods aren't the ones I'm allowed. So <laughs> yeah, not going to worry about that too much. Hmm, what I'm fine to go Okumaru though, is that I would get gifted some items and they might be like artifacts of the right type. So that might just make that part easier. I didn't sleep too well, that's a shame. So I presume you're feeling a bit tired, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to go down somewhere else. I don't like the look at this one. I guess probably fine, but I haven't quite loved up. Ooh, a spell book. I would need some of those. I went full major on this challenge and found... Orange Crystal Blade Armor, Fun Times Blade. That actually does work with this character. Ooh, Permafrost Eruption. That's not one of the approved spells. Summon Ice Beast. Hailstorm. Okay. Uh... Mm -hmm. What spell schools are these approved spells? Uh, let me go look at them. So... Hellfire Modder is Earth Fire, I think. Force Infused Light is Alchemy Conjuration. Rhyme Blight is Ice. 
necromancy and the other two are like uh transvocations or something sure Oh, the Mount Dwarf heavy armor penalty reduction is so strong. Yeah, because it's what, half armor encumbrance or something. Which means um, one quarter spell casting penalty or something. Because an armor encumbrance is like squared. <sighs> oh, okay. Um, let's get the summon ice beast to think. I think I do. Oh, two inexperienced and go up a level? Sure. You know what? Let's just, uh. I want to get some eyes because I think I can get Ride Blight out of that, maybe, eventually, hopefully. Let's just get. Four eyes? I don't even know how much the right amount. Summoning. I might get some summoning as well. Summoning is always really fun. Like, if you can get some reasonably heavy armor and then go animate armor, it's always really hilarious. On a mountain dwarf, because they're the ones that cast really well the heavy armor. Anyway, I'm gonna get smart. Um, I'm wearing like what am I wearing? Scale mail? I should be able to cast in that, right? I mean the spells were looking not completely a failure already. 86%? Oh, can't memorize that many spell levels yet. Well, that's the problem with not having any spell casting, isn't it? Okay. Minus the out you I might as well just get like one point of spell casting. <laughs> Just uh, so I can memorize my spells. Oh, uh oh. I don't even have anything on me right now. Um, oh, one hit it. Okay. Well, it's bad when you just miss it a lot in a row. Animated armor is so funny. Yeah, especially crystal plate armor. Did you get your orange crystal plate armor early enough that you could like animate armor in it and still have it be useful? Because that's always hilarious. Um, I love when enemies walk next to it and uh, immediately die from full HP. Yeah, because I know the, the the animated crystal plate armor, how much does it hit for? It's like... I don't know, it's a lot. I know each attack is a lot. I can't even remember one of those. Was it 80 or was it more than 80? Um, I know the bottom chat. I should go add that one. Because I know you can theoretically qu uh, query it with the bot, can't you? Uh... A plate was 60 times 2, and you think crystal plate armor is 112 times 2? No, that sounds about right, because I haven't heard before. I think it was around there. It is kind of ridiculous. Um, although I know its hit points are huge, but still early on, that doesn't really matter. It just does what it needs to do. Ooh, javelins. I should grab a few of those, I think. Not that I'm like a sticking fighter, but they could be useful. They're definitely more useful than my little rocks than holding on to for whatever reason. Um, okay, 75% failure. That's still going to be a bit much, but quite a lot too much to get my little ice beast out. Oh, too bad it's so slow and fragile. Yeah, like it doesn't help with centaurs or something because it will never get up to them unless you personally walk up to the centaur, but hey. Hey, right, Zentos can be pretty rough for summoners. Oh. Um. What? Well, okay. Uh, who just put a watermark sit on two of my staircases? That's mean. Uh. Right, well, I've only really got one staircase down here. At least it's fine. Because the watermark marks would 100% just kill me. There's no way I can survive one of those. Alright, well, got some competition, got some faith. I don't care about the faith just yet. Or still using it in pandemonium for when you want it to be quiet versus weaker demons. You can just summon the crystal plate armor. I guess that makes sense. Not a lot of Woodyard. We don't do Woodyard here. We do Sifmana, I guess. Is the approved god that I'm allowed to get. It would help getting all those new spells that I got to get going. Oh, base protection. I don't really need that. It's not going to quite compete with my axe right now. Probably cross trades a little bit with what I'm doing. I don't know. Yeah, those right. Quasal, Leveler, not quite right. Besides, I need to go downstairs to get to those alders anyway, so I can't get to them just yet. Oh, that's a little, lot of dudes. Um... Yeah, I'll run the roll the way around to the staircase, I think. Most of them will probably get lost on the way around. Actually, no, I think there's already... No, they are following. 
All right. I thought that maybe a lot of them would give it up or so. Oh, did I go the wrong way? I was about to go down the oh, whole through there. Uh huh. I see. At least I could probably just take. Oh no! Actually, this might have been a big mistake. Uh. Like javelin's coming, coming point. That's at least the javelin can do something. Oh, all the new spells mean sift takes even longer to give you everything. I mean, I guess that's true. But at least I, at least I might get gifted some of the new spells. I get to actually try them, because I don't think I've tried a Hellfire mod again, and I really want to. It sounds like a good spell. I've had Wiglaf use it against me. So, you know, I'm kind of hoping if I Wiglaf, because then I can take his hat. Uh-oh. What's this dude? Um... Kind of might up, but I don't like this at all. Uh, got it. Okay, the mic did enough. That's just super sketchy seeing a water mic. So at least I level up since when I first saw it, I think. So I got it. Portation, Jinx, Bite, Alice's intoxication. Not quite a modern after. Oh, Hellfire Modern is great. You've been using it. Yeah, it sounds like a really good spell. Um, I don't know. I just not had a character that can use it just yet. I know it was really uh, effective when Wiglaf used it against me. That's. Looking like a spot for Javelin. Oh, ow. Uh, I think I can just back up. I was expecting the smite to do quite that much damage, but that shakes out in the end, I guess. All right. Now I can just pull up one at a time, I think. What was that all saying about a Pantheon anyway? It was saying something about a Pantheon. The Pantheon deserves no one's loyalty. Let us show the true path. Oh, that makes sense, because it's trying to uh, convert me to Bjork. No, that makes sense, definitely. Oh, so it's Gels Gravon. I've only had that go like once, I think, because it's uh, respawn high levels, a six or something. Level transfications, but it might work with this character. I mean, if I was thinking full on fighter, it might be a good idea. I'm not sure. Actually, no, it'll probably work with any spellcaster. Am I a little dude yet? 40%. I really don't have a lot of intelligence, though. I'm not the smartest uh, character ever. Although, what's the failure on this ice beast? Uh, cold damage? Oh, I can't bring in a nameless horror. Just a little one. Sure. Hey, what's up, said no one? How's it going there? Have you tried any of these uh, challenge runs yourself? I don't think I've seen uh, any gnome sayings in this minute runs or anything. Actually, I because I did like check through who had managed to get a win because a number of people managed to get a like a full star win and stuff on this one so far. So hopefully I can join them today, but we'll see. Oh, it does an impressive amount of damage. It's very satisfying to light it up to get a good movement and also damage things. Yeah, I, yeah, here it goes through walls or something. When you shoot a Hellfire Mortar, it leaves a trail of lava and then it collapses back in. But I haven't personally got it. Oh, it was a longbow. Oh, you haven't played in a while, said no one. Any new changes in the past few months? Um, what has changed? Oh, there's a war axe here. I'm not even, uh, not even playing and sticking with these. So, do you remember Mountain Dwarves? Because they're back. Um, how long have they been back for? That's probably the last few months, right? There's a bunch of new spells, so I'm trying to get some of them now. In fact, if you look at the challenge I'm doing, and that lost the number of them, the Hellfire Mortal, the Force Infused Laid, Rye Blight, Gel Scrub, all the Portable pile driver, they're all new spells. There's also a few not listed on there, like the. Oh, I don't even know. But yeah, there's definitely a few not listed on there. But those are apparently kept for other challenges that are coming up. Man, I got one of the ones that's not listed on here. I got the Rhyme Blight, right? No, the Permafrost Eruption, that's right. The Rhyme Blight is listed. Um. What point do I start trying to bring an Ice Beast? 30 something percent failure seems like too much. Oh. 
That's the wrong way round. Um... Oh, that's not helping. Let's gotta kill these guys. Oh. That's not working out very well. That's actually not working out at all. Um. I might drink my might potion. Oh, 14 health? How much damage does this dude do? Ah, about that much. Can try one of these potions. Okay, a little bit of health. That was an absolute disaster for whatever reason. Maybe I'm not skilled enough to be using this axe. Uh, oh, you were speaking about gels gra uh, gravon those two messages. Right. Right, not Hellfire Mod or something. Interesting. I really gotta give it a try, I guess. So, okay, I can get a god. I was gonna go with Sif Mana. Hey, we do have Sif Mana. We don't have a lot of gods in this temple, but we do have Sif Mana, so I guess that's all that matters. Also, what's up with this floor? I feel like I've never seen this floor before. Does it have, like, blood stains on it? Hmm. What's been going on with these gods here? Have they been fighting in the temple? This mod is neutral towards me. All right. Uh, what am I doing? I'm trying to get out of here. I could probably just say, go to a dungeon or something. Oh, hey, bear. Okay. I see. I gotta try and summon an Ice Beast, but it's not perfect. I got a little Ice Beast. Good. There we go. That makes the bear doable, at least. Otherwise, I reckon I'd be having trouble. Yeah, we're allowed to wear a full set of armor, but it's gonna end up being artifacts, which is a worry here. I didn't have a good way to damage Iron... No, Lob Lobot without hitting all your dragons. So you're just slamming them with Gravot? Wait, were you not with, like, Sif Mana? Could you not just, like... Divine eggs with Jesus or something? Or did you not have any decent spells like uh, Maxwell's or something? Uh, I guess I'm all summoning. I don't know how much to get though. I know how much of a summoner versus. Oh, maybe less summoning than that. Hold up. I don't know how much of a summoner I'm going to end up being versus like an Ice Mage. Um, one of my spells. So I got a. Got a permafrost eruption, which is earth ice. Which kind of goes maybe well with a, um, hellfire mortar, so maybe I'll try and go that path. Do have Sif Mana to channel magic, which goes well with that as well. I don't know, I think, yeah, I think trying to get that one go might be a good idea, actually. Oh, you did Dragon School? Um... But you can still hit something. Oh, I guess the problem with Loblo Bottoms, you get pushed around, right? Uh, so you might not always be able to hit them with the Maxwell's Capacitive Coupling or something. But the Capacitive Coupling will want you to go for allies. Do I need Rampaging Boots? I'm not massively keen on some infinite Rampage Boots, but maybe the Chainmail is a bit more useful. But at least it gets willpower and it's more enchanted. Also, I don't believe I'm going to wear helmets this time around. Uh, the wording's a little weird, but it says wear hats, so I don't think I'm going to wear a helmet. Oh, got a vial of floods. That was kind of nice. Magical power? Okay. Ring mail with a ton of slaying on it. Some haste. Some invisibility. Some might. Uh, what's the most important thing? I might just grab this magic power ring. Uh, maybe a little bit early to be grabbing that, but sure, I'll put it on instead of this positive energy. It does, uh, it's a bit more helpful. I can summon in the ice beast. Oh, hey, uh, I hate this little Jeremiah guy. Let me just go up. Because uh, he's really bad when trying to get summon things him because you got to pull around corners and stuff. Was that a white? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, oh, ow. This dude's absolutely massacring me. Can't even get behind my little summon there. Ow, okay, so I almost died to a single bee, unfortunately. Um, what's the third staircase? That's... Explored, but it'll do. Oh, yeah, the non-summon damage was so AOE. You were just standing there with nothing to do. Right. 
Oh, you did the Dragon School from Sif Mana. Huh. So I presume... I mean, you could still do another one as well from Sif Mana, right? Unless I'm wrong, but I guess it would be kind of expensive. Uh... That's not working very well. Hold up. I can go... Oh, can't go this way because there's butterflies in the way. How do I even kill this dude? I got like three javelins or something. I could maybe throw some of those at them. Uh... Nope. <laughs> That's not gonna work. He's just uh, stubbornly refusing to die there. Oh, you're looking for... Oh, you're looking for the damage numbers there? <laughs> Wait, am I going... Oh, the toast. The sandal is too far away from that staircase. Where do you want to want to go down? It was this one, I think. All right. Oh, you think about the piety cost? I mean, I guess it would cost a ton of piety. Oh, not the Jeremiah again. I don't even know what I do to Jeremiah here. I gotta bring him towards this staircase. There we go. Now we can go back down. Uh... Not that one. That one, maybe? And just sneak away? Oh, how did he end up back there? Oh, come on, Jeremiah. That's just wrong. Oh, no. Uh... Right. I do have cold this, but this is not looking great. Oh, was it really dangerous? You took, like, 30 damage. I mean, I guess if it wasn't really dangerous, then you don't really need to do anything else. You can just wait there while Lob Lobon got killed by dragons kind of thing. All right, let's go back down, get in the Ice Beast again. Now I've got a team to take it out. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to have to go back down this one, aren't I? Lead Jeremiah back again. Okay, Jeremiah. Now maybe he'll let me go down the staircase, but he probably won't. He'll probably just appear on the other side again or something. Um. Okay. Let's just exclude that little spot. That could be Jeremiah's home. So we've got a Twisted Scimitar. Don't need it right now, but it could eventually be a stat stick. Oh, slapping them into the wall was funny. Oh, right, you just slapped them, like, over and over the jail's gravata. I mean, I guess that kind of works. And it doesn't hurt your dragons. And I was like, oh, come on, Jeremiah again. I don't even have a way to deal with this dude. Uh... I maybe should get the hailstorm at some stage, but that doesn't help me right now. Okay. Uh, I cannot exclude this here. I'm going to try and lead him back to this corner again. Okay, stick in the corner this time, Jeremiah. Actually, let me do some exploring. He's probably not going to stick in that corner, is he? Oh, well, we'll see. <laughs> Are you making the three exclamation by damage? Not, uh, not too bad. No, certainly not too bad. Three exclamation marks worth of damage. What is, uh, you looked it up. What was that actually? The three exclamation mark range. It says 36 to 71 damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, it's Pico. Okay. I think I can take out Pico. I just gotta deal with those Lemures first. It depends what sort of weapon he has. If he has, like, electric huge or something, maybe not. Because <laughs> he always has, like, uh, the, the branded whip, right? So it can be pretty bad. I think it's always an elemental brand, too. Oh, he's next to me. Freezing, and he's got a robe of positive energy or something. Uh... That's... Nah. I like how he's kind of reminding me... And do unexplored terrain, but I think my ice beast got him. So I can now get um Get that fighting up to five. Just needing that up a bit. Uh 
but I gotta get something else. I guess a little bit of spell casting, not a huge amount. Uh, I guess my magic points are pretty good, but it's still not too expensive. I'm gonna get some more ice magic, try and get that one up to 10. Although ice is like a minus one aptitude, that's not bad. That's actually doable. Right, so he's got a rogue positive energy, which I don't think I need. I'm gonna have to remember to bring out my hound pretty much every fight, because I think that's one of the things that got to help me. I can try to bring out the hound, see if I can get the... Not the hound, the ice beast. See if I can get the attention of something here, that'll do. A white. So try to pull the sandal around, but either one works, just so they don't pull them both around at the same time. Oh, that's nice. It's right next to me. So it's not going to shoot me properly when it's that close. Uh, obviously, bring the orcs back. Most of these look like little orcs, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah, I mean, I can deal with the one little look at a time, whatever. Oh, maybe not. Whatever this game is throwing at me. I definitely bring the ice piece there. I think it just had some heavier armor or something. What am I still wearing my scale mail, I guess? I was saving up for something else. Either a plus three ring mail slaying or the plus three chain mail willpower. Probably chain mail willpower is more useful out of those. Oh, gloves? Do I have those? No, good. So I can get some. Uh, don't keep it equipped myself right now. I don't have any turns that's got left. I have no fire resist. Okay. <sighs> also absolutely killed by Ice Beast. Um, I'm gonna put it on a net. I'm gonna fail to put it on a net. Okay, this is not working. This is very not working. Um, I think the seven uh, league boots for a ziggurat, quite possibly, it could be a good idea. Oh, so I did if I scroll. Okay. Uh, what was the other scroll? Shantama. I mean, that's good, but not what I'm after. I gotta read one of these other scrolls. Oh, charm weapon. Also, not what I'm after. Oh, come on. Uh, I'm gonna read another one. So I got, oh, teleport? I mean, I guess that's fine. I'm kinda low on health. I think someone come along, Jeremiah, or this bear. That's fine. I get upstairs at least, and then I can. There was a staircase with a centaur, I should be able to take that one now. That's what I believe. There we go. Oh, not this dude again. Um, I just want to walk straight back into this dude. So I gotta... What can I do to get rid of it is the real question. Like, I don't have a... I should identify my stuff. That's what I should do. And then I should figure out how to get rid of it. So I should go identify... Um, what have we got? We got one of these. So I got a vulnerability. I like how they changed the color of the um, vulnerability. That's kind of nice. Made it a bit brighter so I can actually read it properly. Um... Hold on, what potions do I know about curing? I really should be identifying some of these potions. So I've got some haste, which is uh, kind of a shame because I could have got that from another thing anyway. Heal wounds are really good. Okay, there's the bear. It's just fine. Oh, it's good old Jeremiah. Sitting in his corner again. Um, I still don't know what to do against Jeremiah, honestly. Come on, Ice Beast. Uh, I think my Ice Beast is very much losing in that fight. Okay. Uh, Ice Beast is very much in the wrong area right now. Oh, uh, well. He does have smite, so I'm going to be watching my health very carefully here. The Ice Beast is getting a little closer to him, but it's still just going to straight up die, isn't it? That's a shame. 
It's got so many butterflies, I kind of want to emulate it, but I don't think I've got a thing to do that. Also, I would not emulate myself because I don't have any fire resist right now. Is he just focused on my ice piece? Like, he doesn't seem to be smiting me. What's his, did he, unless the spells have changed. No, he's definitely still got the smiting. Uh... Oh, there he goes with the smiting. Yup, okay. Man, this is the most tedious fight ever, because I I don't have what it takes to fight him. Uh, I got a couple of javelins. I'm going to throw those at him, see if I can do anything. I, like, I can get him to, like, half health or something, but then what? Um, I don't even know at this point. Oh, I gotta go up, unfortunately. Yeah, it's not quite doing the trick. And, oh, he's fully regen. Okay, well, I'll leave him at that staircase, I guess, is uh, what I gotta do at this point. Oh, right, of course. That one at the... Okay. I'm just gonna creatures on all my various staircases that I can't find. So I've got a blinking here that I definitely want. Got a brown weapon and sharp weapon. Identify. Um, maybe we'll the identify eventually. Was I saving up for something? I should definitely get the blinking as my next thing, I think. Alright. What other spells do I want to get? I want to get a hailstorm. It's not that castable yet. I think the permafrost eruption is my next spell to try and get castable. Um. Man, this guy's annoying. What do I do with him? Do to him? Um. <laughs> so much for that hailstorm. Okay. I'm gonna move just like one closer. Probably can stab me with this. Oh wait, I didn't need a one closer. I can just stand here. Except I think I'm gonna roll the magic points before he dies, isn't it? I'll die. Yup. I uh, certainly am. I gotta try that again. It might. It has some amount of promise to it. I don't like that. I might just back up this way. <sighs> nope, that's not working. Um. Oh, the bot enter itself. Viewers, come on. A bot. Not right now. Uh, let's go ban the spot, I think. <sighs> not what I'm trying to do an intense Jeremiah fight that I really don't know how to do. All right. Um, well, this place where you can run around in circles. I mean, lots of places here. I might go down this way. I pulled Jeremiah in a little bit, I think. Bring the ice beast. Uh, so they try here. He's going for me, which means my ice beast gets to go for him. And of course, it fails. Um, I'm kind of low on health. I might drink a healing potion or something if he does anything to me. I have my javelins on me, which is a shame. Why is he distracted? What's going on there? He is uh, not watching me. He must be going for my Ice Beast. Um, I didn't quite manage to take him out, which is a bit of a shame. I got him really close, though. Yeah, that's the kind of how this fight is going. It's like, oh, he gets really close, but he doesn't die. And I don't have regen, so he heals up just as fast as me. And I'm getting kind of drained. Oh, it's this guy again. I still don't have, a, like, a fire resist. Um... Uh, it'd be nice if I could hurt. Okay. <laughs> I guess the answer to that is... Oh, no. I'm gonna step, but... Oh, no, the steam's still around. Drink a healing potion? This is bad. I just drink another healing potion. Um... Wow, that, uh, that went very horribly. <sighs> it's... Just... Still kind of healthy. I'm going to try hit it, but... Ow. 
dead, but that took both of my healing potions to kill. Uh, it's got a steam dragon armor. I don't know if I want steam dragon armor, but maybe. All right, at least I can identify some stuff. So I can identify some blinking. I can identify some revelations. I can identify some ambrosia. Well, I was going to buy another blinky anyway and get that identified, so that's kind of a little bit of a shame. Oh, well. There's level six of the dungeon has been probably the character's worst level so far. Trying to get through. Oh, there's another dude to burn me. Still no fire resist though, so not much I can do about that. Wait, is that my second, like, shiny one holder? I'm pretty sure it is. Alright, well, let's just go downstairs and hopefully I can just leave Jeremiah be and never come back to fight him, or at least come back a lot later on when he's not tough anymore. If I do ever come back for him. Uh... Alright, it's Codrage, like, eyes for the ice, uh, other one. Or just fine, I guess. How far away am I from a power frost eruption? I'm ages away, right? Am I good at ice, though? I've got, oh, uh, Earth. I'm pretty sure I am, right? Let's see, where's Earth? Plus one aptitude. Yeah, I mean, plus one aptitude sounds pretty good. So we've got Sublation of Blood, Curse of Agony, Rhyme Blight. Oh, Rhyme Blight's another spell one. Ice Necromancy, but I think I was going to have to wait a little while. That's on, like, my approved spell list as well, which is kind of neat. So, uh, it's one of the ones i got to get, okay. Get some more intelligence, finally. Help with these spells just a little bit. So I got some sort of wand as well, which I've definitely been missing one. So it's a warping wand, which is definitely kind of nice. Because that can damage things with, I think, an irresistible kind of damage. What's up with this guy? Wand flame? Alright. Well, that's not too bad, but I'm still going to go down somewhere else because I don't get surrounded by yaks immediately. Got a mind burst wand. All right, that doesn't sound too bad. Uh, next yak. Oh, sure, I guess I can... No, I don't even know why I'm trying to hit it with a uh, tail saw. It doesn't really seem to be doing anything. I can't the time I so the other time it misses. Uh, oh, more blinking. Excellent. Maracuda. Ooh. It's going to split up, but I'll get, let it get a little bit closer. At least both me and my ice beast are working on it. There we go. Because those love to absolutely surround you if you give them a chance. you got to kill them quick. Well, that dungeon level 7 was a lot easier than dungeon level 6. Oh, no. Hmm. Go to have the bees of whopping because it gets through their evasion. Uh, unfortunately, the ice blast does not really cut. Oh, the um, ice hail storm did it eventually. In theory, I'm getting some Civ piety. We'll see. Uh, it's currently just sitting on like zero pips though. My ISPs can't see this guy, can it? I got confused. Um, I don't think the ISPs bite too much if I end up cleaving it, right? Like, you'll just disappear and won't get angry at me or anything. There we go, go rid of the guy. Oh, uh, that's, that's a laugh. I want to go to the lab. Let's check out the rig, though. It's a rig of protection. Got a protection from cold on. I think I might for now just put on the protection. I think I do need the extra magic points. I'm not sure. I'll eventually need them once I get some better spells. Uh. Oh, my ice piece not helping out. Can I make this dude visible? I'm not sure I can. What's the Sky Beast willpower, anyway? That's not something I can remember off the top of my head. Not that much. It's got like one pip or something. I might try hitting it with the wand. Something's mind is blasted. Alright. 
Nothing appears to happen. Oh, it's resisting quite a bit. Nothing being happened again. There we go. This mine was blasted. So it seems to be around 50%. We've got lightning spire, sank discharge, air strike. That's all the air spells, which I'm not planning on really using. I've got ring of ice. I've already got the cold resist one. It's a fire resist one that I was struggling with, unfortunately. Okay, slowly try and hit this guy with some ice. There we go. Bring it dead. It's got just poison darts for me, but I got an identify here that I can use on the scroll. Ooh, a scroll of poison. Uh, it's full on troll. Mm. Never mind. Uh, hey, there we go. Kill the troll. Got the ice to 10, so... I think the next thing to get actually is the Earth. If I get the Earth to like 12 or something, that hopefully will be enough to get the Power Frost eruption going. It's like 99% right now, which is still definitely a very long way away. Oh, oh, okay. Hey, Joseph. Um, fancy meeting you here? He's got some willpower, right? No, he doesn't. If I just hit him with a vulnerability and then just take him out with a mind burst, that might be the thing to do. Ooh, that didn't actually make him as vulnerable as I'd like. It's still working, I think. It's the wrong hand fancy hat. Oh, that means I don't get Wiglav, right? But oh well. At least I can get... Oh, uh, he doesn't even have a hat? What do you mean you don't even have a hat, Joseph? I thought at least have a plus zero hat for me, but no, he doesn't even have a hat. Apparently I blew his hat up, and I blew his head up. I'm not going to hang cannon. Uh, not the right character for that one. That is a shame about the hat, though, but yeah, you're right. If I get uh, Joseph, I don't get Jeremiah right. No, Wigglaf. Wigglaf is a radon hat delivery service. Yeah, because he's always got all that one, like plus two to plus four radon hat or something. It always seems pretty good. All right, that's the wrong staircase. What did I not get the? I guess my power frost rupture got interrupted, but it's like ninety five percent failure, so no hurry on getting that one or something. I got good old brand weapon, yeah. Why not? It sounds like you're gonna chart up like an artifact weapon, which is why I've really charted my weapon just yet. Oh, an extra protection, but. I don't know. It might be worth just doing it. Oh, I can put on the face. What is this one? It's seven for minus willpower, minus confidence this face. Oh man, uh, minus confidence. I can't really, can I? Seven inch though. Nah, that's just a terrible faith tablet. I don't think I can make that one work, unfortunately. Oh, yo, yours was plus three with fire resist and poison resist. Ooh, man, I would love one of those right now, but no. I don't think it's going to happen, uh, I already got Jeremiah. Uh, tried it, these guys with some ice. That seems to be working-ish. Oh, a Catablepus. I was going to turn my dude to a stone. What do I do to a Catablepus? Does that have willpower? It does. I thought so. Uh, I can't permafrost it. I can hailstorm it. That doesn't feel very effective. <laughs> because my dude instantly petrifies himself, which is also not very good. Uh, I'm going to net it up. Doesn't seem to stop it uh, petrifying me, but anyway. It's trying to petrify me. I just trying to keep it and my creature, like me and my creature, in different directions so it can only petrify one of us at a time. And it was like not quite working, but half working, so I guess that's good enough. Oh, I still have no fire resistance. This is a problem. Do I have a scroll of poison? Um, but I don't have any poison with this. So I can't just step back into it. 
killed this possibility. Okay. Um. Oh, hopefully Gastrook will deliver. I guess Gastrook, yeah, Gastrook can definitely deliver hat sometimes. Hopefully an artifact one, because that's what I'm looking for in the end. Go do a haste potion, because I don't like the look of this guy at all. Um. Well, I died trivially at that time, but there was definitely no guarantee of that. Yeah, last time I fought one of those, that absolutely steamed me to death. So, okay, let's go down. Uh, can I channel magic? I can. He said, not really. Ooh, it's uh, Marcus is my best, sure. Is that invisible, dude? Uh, it's not Mars. No, no, I don't like that. I'm fine with that if that was Mars, but um. Hmm, I might go up the staircase as well. I'm fine with fighting that organ. It's not running it that close to that sort of corridor. That's maybe a bit better. Where's that even gone? I mean, I guess that's fine. If it just wanders off, there we go. Um. Think, there we go. Got the dude. Bring one of these up, but that means that staircase is not so good anymore. I'm gonna have to check out my other staircases. That one's the one with the unknown invisible guy in Morris, and this one sounds fine. I've got a scroll there or something. I'm gonna have to check out see what that is. There's the invisible guy again. Uh Yeah, right. I don't know what it does. But anyway, where's this go? That looks fine. Hopefully it's just like an unseen horror or something. Um, whatever it is, I've got a trapped in here. I just, uh... I'm not killing it. Must be an unseen horror? Yeah, it must be. I don't have a way of making it a uh, scene horror, do I? Uh, but I don't think I got like any Kalos or anything here that could help. I mean, I guess if it's an unseen horror, you can like scroll poison it. Um. Oh, the ice piece freezes something. Okay. That might be fine, because I guess the ice beam might be trying to go for it. Uh, no, it's not. I think my best choice here is to scroll the poison up. My ice piece probably won't last too long, else on the wrong side of me anyway. Because I can't save that poison myself, while there's a rust devil? Wow, sure. Uh, that's fine. I just gotta be behind my little ice beast here. Oh, whoops. No, I think I might have cast the wrong spell there. I'm running out of magic points, which is a bit of a problem. Um, oh. I think I gotta do a teleport, because, uh... A little bit corroded. I don't know. Don't sure if I had to do a teleport, but I think it was probably the thing to do. So got a whole bunch of yaks there, which is fine. I can take them. Oh wait, that's Morris, but I think I can take them back this way. Yaks, you following? Uh, that dude is with a wand of light. Man, I got five blinks. Yeah, I got a good lot of blinks, which is nice. Can I? Can't do much against this guy. There we go. Now I've got a wand of light. It's got a demon trident of pain. That's a pretty impressive weapon. I'm not sure I'm uh, really skilled with any of these weapons or anything, but it's yeah, it's definitely on the impressive side there. Oh, it's gonna kill my dude again, isn't it? Nope, it might have missed. 
I have no um Hiraris. Hold up, this is not working very well. I could just like roll the points this dude, but then it won't move towards me, will it? I might just go upstairs, but what now? Um Got this dude again, okay. Hopefully I should be able to kill it now, but I'm just worried that oh what something else is gonna come along while I'm trying to fight it. Oh, that's not doing much. I still can't do any of my other spells or anything. Nope, that didn't work. All right, well, where can I go down? I got uh, this staircase, I guess. It's a fun floor. To, uh, just a scary floor. Hey, Grub. Is that bold to be doing again? I still don't have a way of dealing with one of those, do I? Um... Oh no. I brought out the ball to beetle. Uh d -d 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 what can I do about that one? Nothing right now, although maybe I might be able to get a wand of light in here. Um whatever. Okay. Oh. Started rolling already. Oh, no, it didn't work. I thought I might be able to get in a better spot, but that's not what I want to see at all. Um, do I have fear? I do not have fear. Man, this is bad. Uh, what's the one with 21 charges? That's my wand of warping, which is uh, it's a pretty good one. So you, like, hit a creature with it. Like, it's a bit like an ice blast sort of pattern. Like, it's that sort of pattern. And then it's got a 30% chance of warping it away from you, but it also does, like, damage. But I'm in a really bad spot here. Um, I've stuffed up. Oh, uh, I don't know what to do. Um, I'm out of like the healing good stuff and it's about to do like all my death all my health. But it could do more than all my health. Um but it's rolling is gonna keep on rolling even if I blink, right? I think I've still got up blink, but this is really bad. Um but this is like the furthest I can get away, but it's like, yeah, it's still rolling at me. If well, I was going to roll at me, it might as well roll through all the poison. Um, I didn't get my dude in the right space. I thought I'd be get in there to stop this dude rolling at me. Okay. Kind of just want to hit it with the warping and make it walk through all the warping. Uh, wait. Walk through all the poison again. I mean, it does mean it's going to roll up to me again, but I guess that's probably fine. Um... I don't have any nets anymore, do I? Don't think I do, unfortunately. Is it worth hitting it with a warping or not? Um, not sure if it's gonna hit my ice piece or not. Okay, it did. That's fine. Good, it's finally dead. Or rolled it at zero damage. Well, that was kind of lucky for me. <laughs> I don't think I could have. If it did full damage on that roll, I think it uh, would have killed me, unfortunately. But yeah, that kind of worked. Uh, very sketchy. Um, left down here, not much. I think I can go down the staircase again. All right, so I can go look at whatever this is. Brilliant potion, nice. Oh, another identify. Do another scroll. Fear. Hey, that's kind of nice. I was kind of wanting one of those. I gonna try? No, I don't try a permafrost just yet. Finally got rid of the rust devil. All right. Uh, guy can swoop up to me, but I think it's gonna just focus on the ice beast for a little while. There we go. Another guy down. Oh, border beetles were your bane early in this challenge. Yeah, I mean, they're not from where they used to be, but they're still really nasty. Oh, hey, Ice Devil. 
But I hope they can find Ice Devil. Um, not an Ice Beast by the looks of things. Oh, it's like full health still. Hailstorm won't do much. I mean, I can try a permafrost eruption. Nope, I did more damage to myself. I don't know if I got anything to kill an ice death or do have a ring of um, ice. That's something, right? Uh, there it is again. I mean, I might be able to just like my bust it or something. Let's see. Oh, 16%. Mm. Whatever, I'll try. Not great chance. 50% with the, uh... The vulnerability on, alright. There we go, blew it up, so, uh, okay. Oh, I might just go heal up and then try this more, because I got the vulnerability on, so... I'm giving him extra tense effectively with his mind burst. Which I think he had mind burst, right? Yeah, he did. And he's got his minus one halberd. Okay, we're going to do his mind burst. I don't know exactly where he is, but I just got to run away from him because that was not quite working, unfortunately. There he is back again. That's a more mind busting action, unfortunately. He's almost dead. There we go. He does have an animal skin. Oh, he gives all my stuff back. Gives me some mind burst again, which I guess is something. Am I... I'm not wearing gloves. Why not? Is it because Mars stole them off me, or... Was I, did I just never put them on? I might have just never put them on or something. Uh, this is all ideal. Can I just mind burst this guy? Vaguely, there we go. Trying to head someone that's like invisible is painful. Uh, but I'm also like out of magic points or something. Anyway, that destroyed that shadow guy. So what have we got next? Got some orange demons. Are they fast? I thought they were normal speed. Normal speed, okay. Uh, screeching at me apparently. Sure. They, oh, are they fast? <laughs> sure. I'm pretty sure they're normal speed. And just random energy up to me. Hmm. No, that's not gonna work, is it? I gotta have way too poison sticky around there. Can I afford to buy some of that ring mail at least? It does make my spells hard to cast, which I'm not sure about actually, because I'm already on 50% on the permafrost eruption. Oh, another one of these dudes? Okay. Uh, that clearly didn't work. Um, we got two more like uh, attempts there, and then this dude right there. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Just gotta get it with the warping, I think. Oh, nope, apparently didn't work. Come on, warping. There we go. Might just be able to, like, finish someone off with either a wand of light or a wand of warping or something. I don't know if I want it right now, but I could, potentially. Uh, this level feels like a lot of running around the circles. All right, let's try this again. So, got some like a few dudes here that can at least definitely kill these ones. I don't know. And what they got at the end there? Something that I don't have any immolation to take out. That would be perfect for an immolation, wouldn't it? Uh, can I at least get it with some light or something? Nope. <laughs> um. I'm gonna try a permafrost eruption. Oh, it actually succeeded. Why 
Well, like, succeed on doing the power frost just to do enough damage to kill this guy. Sure. I see how it is. Um... Uh, what's my other staircase? At least I might be able to go kill something here. There we go, one less enemy. So my earth magic's doing pretty well. So, actually, I probably just want to get more earth magic. I want to get that up to, like, 16 or something. Um, I can probably get the spell casting up to around 8 by now. And then I can get the ice magic up to, like... 14. Hopefully that should do the trick. Get the permafrost eruption finally online. Uh, hopefully. Alright, let's just go get my magic points back. What else do I have to fight here? We've got... And these are just like poison darts and stuff. They're so nothing too fancy. Orange demons. Those are the ones that do like barbs or something, right? I don't know, even a red devil, but uh, the, the, they're the ones that do the bombs, I do believe. The orange devils just do, like, a reach poison attack. Got a scroll of Dar Amniopsu. <laughs> I just thought it was going to fight as a scroll of Da. Uh, oh, whoops, I lost my little ice beast. I think it's time to probably back up a bit and maybe even go all the way upstairs, I think, at this point. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Uh, let's go upstairs again, I guess. I was not expecting to go upstairs to a pack of yaks, so that... Okay, when I leave the yaks, let's get rid of those yaks. That's kind of dangerous. An orange demon don't deliver your demon tridents. Whereas the uh, red ones do, I guess. Yeah, I've already actually got a demon trident delivered to me, didn't I? It's kind of funny. Scared I wasn't trying for a demon trident, but I got one delivered. Alright. Makes that escape hatch a little bit safer, I think. The Ross Devils don't deliver anything either. They just come and long and corrode you up at the worst possible time. Also, running me out of magic points. Uh, maybe something I can kill it with. Maybe the warping. There we go. There you go, rid of it. There's an Oof Tubus in there, so I might just bring this guy back. We'll do Oof Tubus, the other one, you're Noxidil. Some of these demons have such funny names, but it makes sense for demons to have funny names. Because they're not exactly from this plane or whatever. Uh, let's see, get Noxidil. I might try and bring that one around the corner, maybe. Uh, I guess try like Iron Shot me, which is fine. I wonder if I could ever cast like Bombard or anything. I've got 38% failure on the uh, Power Frost Eruption. Right, I see. I could buy the ring mail. I'm not sure I quite want to get that one, though. I'll do one more level of dungeon, but I gotta end up going to my orcish mine soon. Ooh. I'm gonna try pump frost this dude. It actually worked? With that much failure? Oh, then there's the uh, orange demon, which... Uh... Yeah, actually, that is kind of weird now that I think about that. Like, that one's not an orange demon, but it's the one that's orange. I guess the orange demon is, like, orange as well, right? Uh... I try to buy the rings or anything. I could buy a vial of floods. I don't know. A new spell means you can do a lot of earth and never train conjuration, which is cool. That's kind of the plan. I'm not sure if I'll train conjuration or not, but I kind of want to get a lot of earth. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure, like, the final set of spells that this character will get or anything, but at the moment, it does seem Earth is definitely on the plan. Try to get a Hellfire Mortar, and I eventually might, I don't know, get into some other stuff, but we'll see. Hmm. There we go, got the troll finished off. I really, I don't know, I really don't have a very good chance though with that, uh... 
you know, permafrost. Oh, you have permafrost, hellfire, LRD, and shatter. I mean, that sounds like a pretty decent list. I might go for a pretty similar list here, I guess. Although, I've got to get another one right. I've got to get, um... Because i got to have, like, two spells off the approved list of spells for this character. And I can't remember what the other one was. Only have animated armor, of course. I wouldn't mind some animated armor. I could probably cast it, because I did actually get a reason about a summoning at the start. I think, like, six summoning or something. Just to uh, get that ice beast going, because that really did help quite a bit. Well, it does help quite a bit, because I'm still using it. What's this? Amnesia? All right. So I got a tiny little buckler. I'm not even sure if I got any shield skill, but hey. I guess that's fine. Uh, it that does something for me. What is it, like, four shield value? Alright, 34% fail. I'm gonna try and blow this guy up. Oh, with the extra magic points, it helps a bit as well. Uh, oh, so much for that ice beast. Nah, that's not gonna work. It's a bit of overkill trying to, like, uh, power bros rub to that dude as well. It's just like a basic organ should take it out of melee. Ooh, that one's a bit tougher. Let's kill the priest, maybe, and then I'll back up. Oh, it has a bow. I better just back up fully. Otherwise, they're going to be in trouble there. Yeah, that's definitely uh, not what I wanted to see. Uh, good, that's all right. So it's got a, it's got a plate armor and a flaming orb bow, which is one intended for, but quite long when I was retreating up there. A right blade of Folsom are kind of hard to get into. Right blade, maybe for this character, because they've already got some ice. Um, but yeah, the Folsom fuse blade is like alchemy, what? Alchemy conjuration, which is not really spell schools that I'm getting. So yeah, that could be a little bit hard to get for this character as well. Uh, I guess if you get good necker, you can do right blade. Yeah, exactly. So that's an option. I've got Folsom Prism. Oh, formative prism, I mean. Magic dart searing ray. Not, mm, not really. Ooh, who's that? Is it ghost? Someone's ghost. Agululu's ghost. It got scorched and fox fire. I don't even have fire resist. Uh, 90 health. Oh, Fana. Fana, okay. Fana's fine. Let's put on cold resist instead of uh, protection. Definitely. He percent failed the pub for us eruption. Fanta does so much like cold damage. It's not quite right. I'm just gonna zap them with the lightning rod. Um oh. Hey, there we go. So they got their stuff of air, the their cold this rope. Okay, I might just put the protection back on though. Um I don't need any of that stuff right now, I don't believe. Someone's gonna kill anyone that wants the orb, or the ghosts trying to kill anyone that wants the orb. Shame for them that they're trapped in like a little box, so uh, yeah, they're not gonna have the easiest time. Anyway, I think it's time for the lair, because I done dodge level 11. Oh, hey there, Komodo Dragon. Can I just hit that one with a uh, permafrost? And I leveled up nice, that's what I like to see. Did I quit rob the permafrost eruption, even if it's like 26% uh, failure? Uh, I don't know about killing all those plants. They're actually kind of good for forming choke points, but hey, they're dead now. Um, yes. Try and put a frost and rub to those guys. There we go. Oh, I'm going to get surrounded. That's probably fine. Uh... Still probably fine. I still do anywhere near as much as it used to because I haven't trained it and the creatures are getting healthier. Oh, come on, Permafrost. You know you want to do something. There we go. I don't even think I've got willpower right now. I'm pretty sure I didn't buy anything of willpower. And yeah, looks like it. Because I'm beginning to petrify there. Bubba Frost Rupture is kind of noisy, which is not ideal, uh, but hey. Whew. 
I just slowed for a little while, which I'm actually kind of uh, hoping that it slowed again. Hold on, can I just... And it was a bit of warping. And if it doesn't get anyone does kill it. If it didn't kill it, though, it might have warped it away. Which is going to be nice. So we've got uh, two human stars, dimensional bullseye, mystic blast. Oh, perfect for us to rupture got nerfed. It did get a, like, 20% damage reduction, unless there's been a further one. I feel strong, but not unreasonable now. Yeah, yeah, definitely did get a little bit of a nerf. Um, but it's still, still good. Oh, it's just not, uh, not that effective just yet until I get that failure down a bit. All right. Oh, five nets. Really? Five nets? Um. Oh, got me. Got me again. That's uh, two out of five. Actually, it's almost dead. If I could just hit it with a permafrost, I might be able to run back to that staircase before this mark absolutely destroys me. Uh, I think I can still get back to the staircase. Okay. Ooh, I'm going up. Uh... What do I do to this dude here? Yeah, so I'm currently just sort of like high by my own little dude. Can I get out of the... Can I just hit it? No, I can't hit it with the warping. I see. I might just hide. There we go. Going back down is the problem though, right? Because that staircase is now surrounded by absolutely everything. And I didn't quite kill those guys. They got a five dead tower. They certainly do this time round. Oh no. There's no way that works. I've done my fear. Um, I think I teleport as well, actually. Yeah, because I it got too many guys around that staircase. It's going to be a problem. Uh, wow. Uh huh. Is that gonna take this guy out? No, it's not. But I do have a lightning rod still, which is probably just as noisy as what I'm doing. Alright, uh, I'm gonna try channel magic just in case, which is not very reliable, because I haven't got to spank into that one yet. Oh, never mind about channel magic. And so I'm gonna have to hope I can heal up normally, because it's not happening with the channel magic. I like how he tries to target the biggest group. Oh, the no, oh, the permafrost tries to target the biggest group. Yeah, it's really, really good how it, like actually is good with his default target instead of just going for like closest or something. Um, oh, it definitely makes it kind of nice. Do. Get back and actually make sure I fully explored this area. Because I might not have. Um, that looks fully explored enough. Oh, really? It's gonna dump me right next to this guy. I can't even get away from it very easily. There we go, flattened them both with a power frost rupture, down to 19% failure, which is still pretty bad. But it's making progress with way down. He's way down. Alright, where's another way down? That was pretty clear, but I did make a lot of noise, so I'm just gonna try and, uh, swap between a few staircases, but it needs to be one closer, I think. That didn't quite work. You know what? I might just go back to this one. Um. Ring of Evasion. I'm wearing the protection ring. I might just stick with that one. I don't feel any particular reason why the, uh, do anything to swap them around. They both kind of similar in terms of how much they give. I mean, I guess the evasion one is slightly more evasion, so it could work. Come on, kill the guy. Uh, at what point do I get the channel magic? Let's say I'm 70% failure. I should start thinking about that right now, because I got a plus three aptitude. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Ah, uh, this is a bit of a shame. I'll put on the cold resist. Um, I don't think I can get this guy away from me very well. I'm just gonna have to fight it. 
I suppose with the code this all isn't too bad, right? At least. Also, the ice, the uh, beast immune to ice. Why is it warning? Because the permafrost is like 50% physical, right? Um. I like how these guys are going to set off their love trap. <laughs> so it should still do some damage, even if it's not like full damage. Oh, they didn't set it off. Craziness. Anyway, let's go up. Yeah, my magic points back. Yeah, I thought they were for sure they were going to set it off. So it doesn't seem to mind too much when I hit it with the permafrost eruption there. Maybe it doesn't really care that much. Or oh, it's physical to Santa Roley. Wait, the is physical is only the Santa? Huh. I didn't even realize that because I guess that makes sense. It explained why like, when I tried doing ice skates when it was even less effective than I thought it would be. Which means it shouldn't be wanting the ice beast, should it? Is it really only physical in the center? Right. No. No, that, that wouldn't make any sense. That would also explain why I didn't actually see to do any damage to my ice piece that didn't disappear or anything. Yeah, it doesn't damage it. Did it say anything? The ice beast completely resists. Oh, okay. That seems like a, a bug then, I guess, that it's warning. Huh. Oh. Smiley annoying. <laughs> when using them together. Oh, that's what the description says. I'm sure I must have read the description at some stage, but I certainly don't remember what it says. That's the thing. Sometimes it pays to, like, reread some of the descriptions. Make sure you actually remember exactly what they said. No, I, I can look at that description. Whoops, wrong thing. Calls on the ancient ice lurking within the earth to emerge violently. The, the force of its emergent blast rock from the ceiling smashing into the target with unavoidable force. The cold itself is brief but unbearably bitter, bypassing armor entirely as it freezes the target and their neighbors. Oh, it does too. Huh. It does say that only that the ice blasts like the neighbors and the other one uh, blasts the target. No, it does. Oh, hey, Hydra. I'm definitely not ready for that Hydra right now, so I can go I go up, but which staircase do I go down? I'm going to go down the... Yeah, that one. That one looks good. The furthest away one, so it's less likely that I just end up right next to the Hydra. Because otherwise, I'm totally just going to go down the staircase and end up right next to the Hydra, right? Where is the Hydra? Um, I want to leave a Hydra lying around to this level. That's kind of spooky. Uh, I guess I'm just leaving a hydra. There it is. There we go. Um, uh, so I can go identify this lignification. That's probably useful against sky shots because I don't think my hydras can. Not my hydras. I say I love to have hydras. I don't think my little ice beast could do uh send the berserk because they don't have any blood. They just have like ice or whatever they're made out of. Ooh, hey, it's a hydra again. Uh that's actually rather close. Yeah, okay, too close. Um obviously not gonna be able to kill it over the miscaster there anyway. Oh the funny thing is it doesn't want for hellfire mortar. So you uh, absolutely burn up your own stuff with Hellfire Mortar with no, no warning? That is actually kind of funny. Well, the warning seems slightly wrong with those spells. Oh, hopefully I can uh, get a Hellfire Mortar so I can test it out. That is the plan. So we've got a character to try to modify for the Summoner Forest. I probably can't do those. Let's see. Yeah, it's like 70% failure, 90%, no, 80% failure, I mean, no, 70%, um, 95% failure, the character's job it makes sense, because I haven't gone to those for a long time, I don't think I'll worry too much about those, in fact, I'm still trying to get my permafrost going, that's, uh, most of the way there, 30% failure. Yeah, so that's, uh, 
No. That's fine. There we go. That's one of those guys to group up a little bit. Get around magic points. It's probably fine. Oh, maybe it's not so fine. Um, Actually, hold up a second here. Uh, I still don't have poison resistance, which is a bit of a problem. What can I do to these guys? Because they're so fast. I mean, I guess I just got to lightning rod them, right? Start with the top of the group. Work my way down. Unfortunately, that does mean zapping my own guy, but I think it's probably worth it. They go back to the top of the group. All right, these guys I can run away from at least, because these are just, uh, you're an average yak, which is not particularly fast or anything. I don't want to go straight direct down that second. It's got to find another one. This one looks good. They haven't exploded before. Oh, blasting the mortar doesn't really matter much. Oh, so tanky. Oh, so it doesn't want you to, like, try to hit your own model. That's actually kind of... Uh, good. Uh, you should really get some info. I'm getting a little bit, but I haven't got that much. I got enough that I'm like 24% failure on my ma channel magic, but yeah, definitely getting some info is not a bad idea. Ooh, that doesn't really help getting the ice beast down to appear in the wrong area. I'm just gonna have to hit it with some warping, I guess. Oh, we're gonna have to hit it with some more warping because that did not. Get it anywhere? Oh, I don't like this at all. Could get it with a power frost. There we go. <laughs> yeah, no, the amplification's really cheap on a mountain dwarf because you got like plus three up or something. Uh, once for the LRD, but not power frost eruption. Huh. <laughs> I mean, actually, what are the resists like on a Hellfire model? Like, Charlie's got some pretty good resists, right? It might even be... I mean, I guess it still takes the physical. Well, still think it would take the physical like it does for the Ice Beast. Interesting. Uh... Oh, even though the cannon is not ice immune, yep. Yeah, kind of weird. Like, it's like, yeah, it's like, don't, don't damage your ice pieces. Even though it is ice immune, and then you. We got a little bot, which is not. It's like, oh, that's fine. It's just a water. Um, I'm going up. This is. Not the worst, but there's a dude there that can put me to sleep. And as a dwarf, I can definitely go to sleep. Uh. Alright. There's another staircase. This is all going alright so far. Kinda like those plants getting in the way. See, I think my permafrost rush is like, uh, smite targeted. So I can just kinda sit behind the plants and enjoy smiting all these guys with frost. I can have to go up very soon now. Alright. Can I be behind this dude? At least I'm like a little bit away from it so I can do the power frost eruption. So I got the shoals. What was my other branch? It was the spider's nest. Not my favorite branches ever, I'll say that, but shoals should be good, I think, with this character. We'll see what it, like, exactly what I get by the time we get there, but it looks like it should be good. I've got a sound scroll. Not the most useful. I got a 132 HP bunch of AC immune to everything except cold and resist uh resist electric. Right, so I guess uh, the Hellfire Modern itself is not dying in any sort of hurry. Maybe the hit point scale is spell power or something, you don't know. Yeah, I mean, it does probably doesn't really matter to huge amounts when it's that sort of height. I mean, it may be later game. But it looks like it's not exactly designed to be easy to destroy. Can no longer call upon Sif Mana. Oh, for Divine Exegesis, sure. Because I waited around too long. Yeah, this character does a decent amount of waiting around because they don't have a magic region or anything. In fact, I maybe should have put on that face, but ah, whatever. 
I kind of presumed I'd find like some other amulet and then I didn't <laughs> find the other amulets, so. I don't know. But I'm kind of still presuming I'll find some other amulet. What's behind that door? I only got peek on the door. Is it a dragon or something else? I like how we can just see a Thomas nail there. Wait, there was something else for a second, wasn't there? Sure, there was something that wasn't a top sale for a second. All right. Uh, these are not going to die. So I guess next staircase. I'll still die since they've been bumped into an enemy. <laughs> I mean, I guess it kind of gets used up, right, if it bumps into an enemy. Yeah, the, I really do need to get the Hellfire monitor going because I don't know exactly how it works. Uh... Oh, didn't follow, which is probably fine. Probably even a good thing. Let me go downstairs uh, with my magic points back. Character needs like a radiate or something for dealing creatures next to me, but I don't have that just yet. Oh, a cloak? Yeah, I'll take one of those. So I need a cloak, I need a hat. What else do I need with this character? Wait, what? Not? Wait, I got a cloak. Don't I know it's boots? Okay. Never mind. It's kind of the same sort of brown color. Okay, so I got a cloak. I'm missing a hat and I'm missing an amulet and I'm also missing a way to resist, but hey. Um. Alright, this is top snail. Uh let's just go down the any one of these staircases is probably fine. Oh, small guys here? There's no way I can actually kill this guy with all the magic points I got. Well, uh, my lack of magic points that I've got. Yeah, just shoot the guy. It doesn't matter if my ice beast is there. Oh, whoops. I just had this guy. Uh... This is going to be one of those kind of nasty endings. One of the ones, uh, the lake ones, isn't it? That's fine. Uh, but I'll just try and go around the other side. At least it looked like it, but judging by the fact that when I went down there, I saw a lake. That's uh, kind of what I'm basing that opinion off. So these ones love to swarm you. I mean, it's already swarming me. Yeah, look at that. And even like a shark and everything. So definitely not go back down that same staircase in a hurry. Um, I'm not getting behind my dude, am I? <sighs> Alright. So, god, that one's bad. That one's, like, being down after a check if it's bad, though. That's what gets me marked, right. I mean, that's probably gonna clear this one back out. Just stick, stick around here, marked for a little while. Hmm. Nah. I uh, could have moved to it, got next to me and berserked up and stuff, so I was like, nah, probably not. I don't know. Okay, good. I almost killed it, but not quite. Couldn't quite. Yeah, anyway, um, I think the stack is okay. Yeah, it might still be okay to go down on the classic fraud frog pod. Ooh. It's only the classic frog pond ending with all the well the, all the everything actually and it's what can I go down this one now? I think this one's probably fine, right? Right? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. I might just go back down this one again. I'm just worried that this one's gonna end up surrounded or something. Um but I just might did pull everything to like the other side of the level at least. Alright. Okay, back upstairs. Uh, I don't have full spell power, but this is probably five world magic points I've made. Ooh, this was almost fine. 
I'll pull out a wand of light, I think. There we go. I uh, almost needed to channel some magic or something, but the problem with channeling magic is it would have taken a little while to do. I needed to kill that guy very quick before I berserked or anything. Is this just like a frog bond with like not actually the center of the level? I don't know. I feel like this is actually my ending. But there is like a separate vault that's just like a bunch of swamp creatures, right? Uh... Hey, Orug. Please tell me you're not wearing a core resist or something. Does it look like it? I think I'm running out of magic points, though. You know, I still killed Orug. Am I actually channeling some magic here? Because I feel like uh, going up and leaving these guys to move next to the staircase is probably a bad idea. Alright. What's next? There's more creatures now. Um... Whoa, okay, I might just go up, but then still fine. Oh, that's not good at all. I think I can just drink a little bit of cure. Oh, no. How's my health going? I think I've got a... I don't have to feel work. I think I've got to blink back. Bit sketchy. And they've got to cure this before I die. Um, that's kind of a shame, though. But I think I can just go and hit for the permafrost eruption from there. Right, well, that staircase is definitely uh, bad by now, which means going down the other side. Yeah, I knew it was just a matter of time before that I'd end up getting surrounded, but I didn't know exactly when. I think this is my best bet. All right. Level 14. Good, good. Uh, should have blow up. There we go. The Komodo Dragon before I worry about fighting this guy. Uh, okay. It had to be something that was definitely reminding me that I have no poison for this, but I don't, there's no thing there's anything I can do about that. I can quickly check for resist poison, but there's nothing, no. I mean, there's magnification, but there's nothing really. It's a good thing I found plenty of blinking, though, because I have had to use a couple in this game. Uh, let's check out the rig. It's a rig of willpower. Ooh. We'll put that on right now. Um, I feel like there's probably places where that makes more sense than protection. Where am I going? This could be bad. I got a shallow magic because I don't trust this not to be go really bad if I don't. Uh, oh, whoops. Ah, that was a mistake. I accidentally wasted a few magic points there. All right, so Ice has reached a tiger, but I still need to get this permafrost a bit better. Uh, the Earth is actually slightly cheaper, so I'm going to get that to like 18 or something. Spellcasting is probably fine. They might just get fighting up to like age 12 of the invocations, which should be plenty for anything I want to do. Shields could get to like 8 as well, which should probably be plenty because I've already got a little buckler. Uh... That's alright. Gonna have to channel a lot of magic though, unfortunately.
All right. Oh, still, still not getting a nice little bit of quiet uh, rest up, but that's fine, I guess. Yeah, mm, some more magic. There we go. I don't think I've been given a gift by Sif Marty yet because I've been exploring too slowly, I think, for that. Oh, some potions. I've got lots of longbows and stuff. Maces, flails. I'll keep my demon trident, but I'm not sure about that one. I've got the... You know what? I think I use my staff of cold now because I haven't really been using my weapon. And I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to use that according to this challenge. Like, I'm allowed to use any sort of weapon. So as I eventually get, like, an artifact one to charge up, it's just that hatch that I have to be careful with my helmet slot. Um, yeah, I mean, I haven't found the armor or weapons artifact ones, which is a problem because I'm going to get an all artifacts. And these are just the things that I got to eventually work towards in this challenge, getting the spells. It looks like everything's on track. We've got Mercury Vapors, Leader's Liquefaction, and Sticky Flame to add to my list of spells. All right. It's also means I've got a little bit of cold resist right now. How's my spell power doing? 30%, so not that good. There's a Glaive here, which is too hard to... That, um... If I need to enchant a weapon up to plus 9, it's already plus 8, so I mean, that's pretty easy. <laughs> It's also too hazard, which means if I wanted to win with it, I don't have to have an artifact shield. Uh, right, where do I need to go? Dungeon level 12, I think, at this point. I was thinking the challenge is only relevant when you win. Yeah, pretty much, I think. Yeah. Which means, I mean, I've got to work towards the stuff, but I don't have to... Follow any specific conducts getting towards that point. I mean, I guess the god, uh, like the god you choose, is relevant all game, right? But I mean, I've already chosen Sif Mana because that was an allowed god in this challenge. Oh, relevant if you die as well. I guess that's true. Yeah, like if you um, have to. I don't know. You have to get the spells going. I guess yeah, if you don't get it go by the time you die, then it doesn't count. Uh, I might just go down somewhere else. I feel like those guys are going to be... Oh, whoops, whoops. Wrong staircase. I mean, it was basically the same staircase. Uh, whatever. It's probably fine. There's only like a priest coming along. Seems silly, like, ice blasting just a single orc, but what else am I going to use against it? It's not like I've really got a very large list of spells that I know. I know, permafrost eruption, summon ice beast. I'm sure there was another one in there. Oh, hailstorm, right. I haven't used that one for a little while because it's not that good. So am I still carrying around like some tiny little pebbles? I think I might be. <laughs> kind of funny. I might go drop my pebbles. Yeah, I got 134 pebbles on me for some reason. What's an elf doing here? It doesn't really matter. It's just an elf archer. I'm gonna try and dodge the... My spells all at once. Oh, I've got to channel magic, don't I? Because I can't exactly outrun that guy. Well, I got barbs on. Not the barbs actually lasted that long, so I probably could have run away or something. It's, that's the thing about barbs. You, like, never know how long it's going to last exactly. Ooh. Centaur with a rig of resist electric magic points, resist corrosion, minus cold resist. Um, also a cyclops. That might be worth wearing. I would lose my corpses, but... Maybe. Let's, let me go take a look at it at some stage. Oh, got Pile Driver? That's, a, that's one of the allowed spells. There's Bombard, Chain Lightning, Momentum Strike, Battle Sphere. Any of these, like, vaguely doable? Maybe a Bombard, but that's called Duration. Uh... Sublish Blood Interesting. I think the Rhyme Blight was what I was probably going to get. I kind of want some other spells like, uh, what's it called? The Cannon one. Hellfire Cannonade or whatever it is. Uh, Hellfire something might just be called Hellfire, I'm not sure. Right, if I put talk with my magic power, but I can't resist current, resist negative, but I swap around, uh, it's probably worth it. Yeah, instead of my magic point one, let's do it. That's an artifact as well, which is good because I need an artifact ring. Do I have two artifact rings? No, I've got an artifact Ablo, which is good, because I need an artifact Ablo at the end of the game for my all artifact set. Um, I 
I mean, I feel like the things like gloves and boots and stuff are going to be some of the harder artifacts to get. Because those could definitely be pretty rare. I probably don't need my weapons anymore. All right. Yeah, because I got the weapon covered. I've got my rings and amulets covered. No, one of my rings, not both of them. Okay, so I've still got a bit to go with these artifacts. I've still got plenty of game to go or something. Oh, mortar, the Hellfire Mortar. That's what it's called. It's a Horfrost Cannonade, the Hellfire Mortar. Right. I'll eventually learn these names of the new spells, I'm sure. Uh oh. There we go. That backed me up a little bit. Um, I did get a Curari. And I missed. Challenge of magic because I feel like this bold veto could be a bit of a problem. Otherwise, yeah, I definitely wouldn't have had enough magic without the channel magic. Plus two gloves or hurling. I mean, they're better than my plus zero gloves. They're not artifacts, but I'll take them. All right, dungeon level 12 done. I might go check out the Orcish Mine, see if they got some. I don't know what sort of spells they could have that would be useful, but hopefully they got something for me. We'll see. Might have some... Some mortars, some hellfire mortars, who knows. Because I am cosplaying as Wiglaf, so I'd really love to get the hellfire mortar, because that really fits. Because Wiglaf has that one himself, right? Um, I don't know if he's got any other spells these days, because he used to have, like, Case and Mind or something, but, like, Donald... But I think his spells were given to Donald at some stage. Uh, do I like the blinking spell or something? I don't know if I... No, I don't think I've seen it. It just could be good, but I don't really have any way of offending creatures next to me apart from trying to get away with an ice beast or something, which is not always the most effective, depending where the creature is exactly. Alright, time to go up. Oh, that ogre might end up next to me. No, not quite. Well, I'll dead, but... <laughs> Ogres aren't too bad anymore, at least. I mean, they can still do decent damage, but they're pretty easy to take out. Not like fighting an orc uh, warlord or something. Those could be a lot tougher. I, oh, I got a channel magic. Otherwise, that dude is going to end up, like, healthy and next to me, which is going to be really annoying. Ooh, wizardry? I don't need that right now, but I think I'll pick it up. Um, do I still need two rings of ice? Well, obviously not, because I got like a ring of cold in there, or... I mean, it's not quite as obvious, actually, now that I actually, uh... use an ice spell, but probably not. We've got a robe of coldness. Any other good items on the ground? Robes, robes, robes. There's still that chainmail I could go buy. Hmm. I'll take a look at the next of the Orcish Mines, because the Orcish Mines can have some decent armor sometimes. Hey, Flying Gladius? What you playing? I'm playing some more Dungeon Crawl, trying to do the... Wiglaf Challenge, which requires me to play a Mountain Dwarf Fighter. You could either do Okwara or Sif Mana, and I went to Sif Mana. And I haven't really... I'm not really doing fightery things. I'm blasting people with... Permafrost eruptions, which need to be doing the trick. Hey, look at the spell book shop. It's trying to sell me a oh, book of blood. So some hydric knight poison I don't really need. Blaze heart gobs. That's basic something I don't really need. There's uh, starburst, plasma, and fox fire. That's, that's not the fire spell I want. There's all the other fire spells. Uh, I've got plasma, rise electric charge, eye jolt, no thanks. Blink, maybe. It's a permafrost rupture, leaves rub deconstruct, liquefaction, okay, I've got those ones. Seismophytic cloud, uh, dowsing flash, that's, hmm, hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll buy the blank, but like, apart from that, I'm not really seeing things I really need. Alright, well, I'll get back to the staircase so I go memorize my blink, I think. Also, well, I'm a mountain dwarf wizard, it's a build you want to do soon. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely not bad. I like doing the Mountain Dwarves in Heavy Armor. They're definitely fun. Um, right, the Blink's of course not reliable until I get 
France or Cage. So I kind of got a lot of skills trading right now, but I guess I can still get some. I would say those are near the targets, but they kind of... Mm, I guess some of those are getting close. What do we got? Brightly glowing spear. I mean, I don't really need a sad stick so much anymore now that I've got like this uh, stuff of ice. In fact, I kind of need that stuff ice on because I got a minus cold resist ring on at the moment, which, um, yeah, I don't want to be running around with negative cold resist or something silly. That would be a bad idea. I don't want my getting that positive by the time we get into shoals, but oh well. If it doesn't get positive, I guess that's probably fine too. Uh, it's gonna hurt. Wrong one. I see. Yeah, it's the problem with the summon creatures. Uh, the Rhyme Blight, not the Rhyme Blight, the Pope Frost will go for it. Oh, Potion of Magic. It's a Ring Mail, of course. Oh, it's a Plate Armor. Plus seven plate armor that gives four edge. So if I put this on, I gain like 11 armor class, I lose three evasion. Um, That's kind of worth it, honestly. I'll take a look around like a bit more, but like that honestly doesn't look terrible. I think the it's worth it for the defenses. Yeah, just being carefully armored. I mean, Jordan's a little bit heavier, but with my reduced spellcasting penalties from the armor, I can probably still cast my uh, Power Frost Rupture, I reckon. Oh, Cinderacolite is probably the best background for it. Because you start with the Scorch spell. Maybe. I'm not sure what I'd actually say the best background would be. I mean, that would... Hmm. I often just saw the mountain draws like, I think I did like an Earth Elementalist and a uh, Summoner. Those have both worked fairly well, but I don't know if I've had a bad uh, mountain dwarf so far. Oh, right. Paralysis. Um, I've had a character die in the Orcish Mines recently to Paralysis. And it was from one of those dudes as well. It's just annoying. Can't use the shield yet, but I'll pick it up. At least, especially if I go with an armor. So there's more plate armor in here, which I probably can't afford if I grab the other armor. Steaming ring mail and masterwork scale mail. Um. Alright. I don't know. I don't think I tried for the random one. I think the plus 7 one is like above average. But, well, definitely above average. So a random one would probably be worse. Oh, hey, my first gift. So it's Bronze Barreling Bolt, a Flame Wave, Freezing Cloud, Manifold Sword, Mephitic Cloud. I might be able to do a Freezing Cloud, but I haven't got any air or conjuration. I really don't have the skills for it. Oh, a cheap scroll? Yes, please. Maybe in a job with, but probably not. There's also a Brilliance here. Okay, I might grab that one as well. Um, also not giving me the cheap scroll, whatever that one was. All right. I still don't know if I should be wearing that face or not. I kind of feel like I should be, but also I'm not entirely sure. Uh, oh, it's a helmet. Come on. I don't want a helmet. Dress dressingly furry helmet. I need a hat. An artifact hat even. Uh, I've got a scarf. What am I wearing? Just a basic cloak or something? Alright. You know what? Give the scarf a try, I think. Shadows, never mind. Let's get the plate up. Let's just go get that, I think. You also buy the magic potion. There we go. All right, just try this on, which of course I can't carry it. To try it on, I can probably drop. I've got the resist electric. I'll drop the stuff there. Huh? I gotta carry that. I don't know what just happened there. Anyway, apparently I can't carry it. Draw the. Boom, uh, javelins, I think. I try to put this on. It does drain when I take it off. That's probably fine. Let's put it on. Um, don't keep on disrobing. Kill this dude first, of course. Okay, so on. I've got more armor class. 7%. Okay, I get barely affected by spellcasting, so I think I can definitely keep on wearing this one. This plate armor cold resist, which could have been nice, but uh, hey, it's uh, definitely not anymore. So what we've got resist fire as a ring here, which is interesting. Resist poison is also interesting. 
I don't think the other things are that interesting. I've got the resist corrosion already going right now, so no. Um, fear's interesting. Cancellation. Oh, I might just grab the cancellation. Gee, maybe not. Well, that book is an everybody encyclopedia, sure. Anyway, I might just want the regen amulet. It's not quite as good as magic regen, but I'll take a regen amulet if it's on offer. Oh, I picked up a potion. Yeah, I picked up the, um, whatever it was, brilliance or something. Not brilliance, the intelligence one. Not intelligence. Ah, uh, what is it? Magic points one. Let's get some intelligence. Up, down, of course. All right. Well, this is just more money. It's the reason I'm doing these errors, trying to save up for that amulet. I think it's better than putting on... I don't even know if it's better than putting on a face. Maybe I should have just put on the face. I had a face for so long, I just didn't put it on because I thought I'd get some magic regen, which was silly of me. Because the cards are not going to get the magic regen. I was like, I don't know. I mean, any specific amulet is kind of rare. Um, I can actually go buy the regen right now. I've got just enough money. Yeah, I gotta go with regen, because it's easy enough to swap, and it's actually not too bad. Alright, there we go. It's not, uh, not an artifact, but I do have an artifact for that. I'm actually gonna go, uh, go drop some stuff off at the exit. <laughs> uh, might be a bit silly, but, uh, oh, I'll put it right on the exit. Because what I want to get out of here, if I don't manage to charge some other weapon up, I'm gonna charge up this weapon. There's my enchant, because I gotta have an enchanted weapon before I leave. Um, I'll leave an amulet here. If I don't manage another amulet, then I've got an artifact amulet there. So there we go, that'll do. Let's go to dungeon level 13, I think, now. Oh, another shop. I've got so much stuff to buy, don't I? So we've got a poison resist, intelligence, oh, it's tallies, but it's not even a ring or something. Intelligence ring, cold resist ring. Got a cold resist one already. What's my ring right now? It's tension. And the other one's uh, lots of resist, but minus cold resist, I see. Oh, that won't just kill everyone as soon as they get close. Um, should have it silk. There we go. I knew I could still hit the invisible guys. Whoops, I stuffed it up. I accidentally uh, shot, but there was no one in range. But I knew I could get the invisible guys with the permafrost eruption. And it's actually pretty good at hitting them because it doesn't really care that they're invisible at all. Um, like, it doesn't matter if they uh, a little bit harder to hit because the permafrost auto kits. That doesn't look right. Almost killed it. I've got a... Uh, I think I might just use a lightning rod. There we go. I haven't actually spanked it to the... Inv you know, the evocations at all. Because I haven't... I mean, I've got a decent lot of things. But I kind of need it to focus on things. Like, my permafrost still not 100% reliable. <laughs> Maybe because I'm wearing some heavier armor now. But, uh... Yeah, i got to keep it going. The skills are going. Oh, hey, Snog. I might just channel some magic. I think she's at a good distance. Oh, she was way easier than I thought. I didn't really need to channel the magic. Yes, she's got no cold resist. I was totally expecting her to take quite a few permafrost ruptures. Like, oh, it's fine. You got plenty of distance on her. But no, I wasn't expecting her to just die to a couple of them. Uh, food, let's see. What can I eat? Get some cured hellham hawk. Cured hell out hell hell talk. I just thought your name trying to say that it's really hard. Is there anything on this level? Guess there's not a lot on this level anymore. I guess they tried to all the staircases. Ooh. Uh well I know exactly where that Minotaur is. It's actually still fairly close, even after the teleport. Just try and sneak my way across. This guy is still exactly where it was before. Crazy how useful an ice piece is, given uh, how much progress since I first saw one of those. I don't need the wizardry currently. I can get back if I need it. Same with the evasion. Though, to be fair, evasion might be better than the protection right now. 
Hmm. Yeah, it probably is. Because I got plenty of armor class. I kind of want to balance them out just a little bit. All right, that'll do. Um, let's go and find a Minotaur. Uh, I think five space is plenty. Okay, top snail with lots of fast dudes around it. Lots of the wolves or whatever they are. Uh, just a... Oh, is that, is that how much? No, oh, come on. Give me a hat. Got an artifact ring, though. That might be something. He's got a death drake there. At, um... I still have no points for this. I do have fog. It's not perfect. I don't know. Potion of might with some sort of unknown scarf. I knew it was a scarf that once I know if it was worthwhile or not. It's like basic equation of resistance. Uh, it's just some sort of rig. What's the spell book in here? Dimensional balls. I cool kind of familiar dimensional binding. Okay. All uh, right. Was uh, metabolic glaciation leaders liquefaction and petrify? Sure. All right. I can see what all the creatures are, so I've got a choice of three of these areas. I don't really like the look at that one. Oh, that was the top of that one. Interesting. Oh, do you have Shatter? I don't think Sif's given me that one yet. So I don't think I can just divide Exit Units through this place. No, it doesn't look like it. Um, Kind of like to look at that artifact rig, but that would require me to fight through here. Yeah. Probably fine. All right. Worried about things getting next to me because I don't have a lot of attacks for things next to me, which is a bit of a worry in this one. That's why I was mainly worried about this. All right, because I gotta go that way, right? If I want to fight through here, yeah, I do. Um, probably fine. Let's go. Yeah, but they're not getting next to me as quick as I thought they would, which makes that way better than I thought. I got to enchant some sort of armor. I was hoping for some artifact armor, but I don't think I've got... Oh, wait. You know, this artifact plate counts. So technically, I can just enchant whatever I like. Um, I might go do. I mean, I'd rather save this for artifacts, actually. I could enchant the plate itself. No, I don't know. I don't know what I want to use my enchant armor on. It's so hard to decide with these mounted dwarves because they can enchant so many things. All right. Oh, come on. Don't be there. Can I just... That's maybe a little bit better. Right, then I end up in here. What's this dude? Spectral Centaur Warrior. Let's see. Um, kind of out of magic points. Ah, uh, staff bash it with a friend. Friend's probably more effective than me. There we go. Now we can get another shot up, but it's also a ring of resist cold five magic points. That's not bad. Resist Corrode is kind of superfluous with this one, but... Do I take off the evasion? I... Hmm, maybe. Maybe not against the Minotaur, but I think in general that might be a good idea just for, like, having the Resist Cold. Alright, so... Just gotta go next! Start the channel magic just in case. So it's got a ring of five to this, two to this negative for this code in six days, but it randomly slows you. Play number of five to this, the staff of us, I see. And it's dead. Well, it wasn't as scary as I thought. Um, do I need a scarf of us? I'll pick it up. Can't carry everything so far, so there's uh, it's more healing potions and stuff. It's a hat! Give me the hat, it's not an artifact, but it's an it's a hat. Uh 
Let's put up a bigger shield. Tempts have failed the power of frost eruptions. I think that's probably fine. Um, I don't really care about this chain mail here. It's just two strength, four decks. I don't really care about the storm tallies, but I do definitely care about the hatch. All right, what else was there on the ground? The staff of earth I haven't picked up yet, so I can drop. Uh. Something and pick that one up. I guess I got so many brilliance on this character. Do I want to drop something? I kind of vaguely want to pick it up. I'm gonna drop one of these rings of ice. I think I've probably got plenty of things for cold resist. And I, you know, I know that they help with my spells, but I don't think so. Uh, all right, let's get out of here. Just, uh, my, I'm probably gonna end up with more uh, spells and uh, ice spells eventually. I can't even get to these, can I? No. I'd think so. Just get out of here, I think. I'm ready to go. So I'll leave the other stuff on the ground, but I'm probably going to come back for it. The hat is obtained. Not an artifact one, but yeah, but the hat has been obtained. I don't know if I really need to bring that plate out. Um, Okay, I was going to swap on this ring. I lose a bit of evasion. Hopefully that's fine. Positive energy. I don't think so. I've got, yeah, I've got something for that. The one that's hard to swap because it's magic points, but mm, uh huh. That's probably fine for now. I don't believe I got a fire resist, but I do have a cold resist. I got a basically everything else resist. I don't have a poison resist, but I got good resist for the shoals at least. Um, what's my other branch? Spies this, I think. I'm looking decent for the spies this. No poison resist though, which is a little bit of a shame. So we've got Vile Clutch, Arrigus Notches Bog, sure. Whoa. Then we got Random of Freed next to me. There's a corner of Freed. So what do we go? We got some more enchant. I still don't know what to enchant though. Yeah, There's gotta be something I can enchant. I'm just hoping for some, like, artifact armor so I can go and chart that up, because I gotta end the game with artifact armor on, in, like, every slot. Uh, it's faster than me, right? Might just be able to, like, Ice Beast and run. I think I can. Yeah, because the ice piece there just gets distracted for quite some time. So we got Maxwell's Capacitor Cavalry, which is actually not bad with that simple mana, because I can, like, uh, divide eggs to Jesus in. Maybe. 12% fail on that one. And we've also got Magnifold, which I don't think I need. Also, I'm going to set off this Lob Trap. That's... Whatever is around this corner, I can attract it. Well, there's definitely a few guys that Volt Guard. I might even need to challenge the magic. Oh, where did that dude come from? Hmm. <laughs> you probably just make it back to the staircase and just want to go down somewhere else. Right, I got a manual of rage weapons and got the entrance of vault. So I know so many guys around there. It's probably a good thing I didn't just leave that, because I was definitely considering just leaving that, but it's good to know where my vaults are. Um, Where did I leave that scandal guy? I left it around here somewhere, right? Oh, I don't know, even know where it is. Maybe I'll find it someday, but for now, I'll just leave it. I look kind of cool with this hat on. Like, it uh, definitely looks like, like how Wiglaf should look with a hat on. I haven't actually got the Wiglaf sprite. I could have done that, but I, I don't know. I just go with whatever sprite generally. I got the heavy armor. Just Wiglaf, he has heavy armor in the sprite, right? I don't actually know what sort of armor he usually wears. Uh... Oh. Try to blink away from this guy, maybe. I mean, it's better than nothing. I can do... What was blinking again? I always forget. It's D. 
Apparently, it no longer uh, reveals invisible creatures, which is uh, well, which is good, I guess. I don't think it was ever meant to reveal the invisible creatures. Yeah, like it used to be a few cards that uh, would like show a space that it couldn't blink you to where the invisible creatures were, which caused would totally give away the position. All right, what have we got? Leather armor. Nah, I don't need that. I've got body armor as an artifact already. Condense evade. I don't even have any skill to make that would work. And it's just way too patchy. I've got mutation. Okay. It's way too patchy if you don't have the skill to make it work. Oh, no, not another fire dragon. I think I can kind of hide behind that pillar. All right. How much willpower do I? Can I drink any? No. This guy is a self reflecting injuries. Oh, is this multiple them? And I miscasting? I mean, I guess I got 9% miscast. Uh, I love trap might get set off. We'll see. Got it out of view for now. Okay, I might just head all the way back to the staircase because I definitely can. Do I bring one of these guys up? Maybe. Hopefully that was not a bad idea. It was probably a fine idea though. Gonna get my magic back before I kill it. There we go. Should be no problems. I'll definitely go down a different staircase to the one I went down before. So is that the one I... That's probably the same one. Let's just go to the one over this corner. That should definitely be different, at least. Yeah, it's probably just worth killing those guys when they're reflecting the injuries from my character because otherwise they're just going to get um them to do their what's-it-called thing. They're... I don't even know what it's called, actually. Think the target's willpower, though. Like, Torment think the target's willpower, that one. Um... A chance of magic. I don't know. Fortunately, this, uh, this guy's kind of... Bit of a problem. He's got to take the teleport. Oh, that didn't take me very far. But I guess it gets me wandering back in the right direction. Ah, uh, 27% of the patch fry. Can I just kill the dude? Not perfectly, but I got it at the end. Oh, there's a dude here. All right. There we go. Earth magic is looking pretty good, but I still got quite a failure on the power frost function. You know what I really need? I need some armor. I need like 10 armor skills or something. Because I'm actually wearing armor now. I probably uh, I could get more fighting, but I'll get the armor first. Definitely. I think that's more important. I can probably get some shields as well at some stage. Oh, whoops, I think that might have actually been the same staircase as I initially brought those dudes to, so I should actually go down the other uh, one here. Ooh, that shield looks fancy. It's not an artifact, but it's still worth using. Uh... Oh, I'm out of magic points. What can I do to this guy? I probably just got like a lightning rod or something that I can take it out with. I mean, yeah, sure. I got another identify for. I mean, I got tons of potions. I might as well do a potion cancellation. I thought I bought some of those. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> Must have not had enough money. So it's a reflected shield. Free, free reflected is always nice. I'll take some of that. So that's dungeon level 15. I got decided on a lamp branch. It was a shoals, right? Oh, shadow just doesn't hurt your mortar at all? Oh, is the mortar immune to, like, friendly fire? Maybe that's why it doesn't warn you at all when uh, you hit it with other spells. Probably, yeah, it's probably just immune to friendly fire. Uh, definitely go to the shoals here. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. Now these guys are going to trap me in here, right? 
Uh, subs are going to go up. What's the willpower of these dudes like? Got a bet. I think I got to hit these guys with fear. Uh oh, I got the wrong ones. Oh no, that's I don't know if I can get back in there. That's the reason I tried to fear is like if I leave them like that, like oh it's Francis now as well. I mean maybe you could pop a teleport and go in there, but that's just oh man, that's not it. That's not where I can go. Oh the piercing cold hits your hellfire mortar, your hellfire mortar resists. Your Hellfire Mortar is lightly damaged, where you can hit it with some stuff, just not Shatter. I just remember the fear of the null if you attack them, yeah. Yeah, it does. I... I could have maybe given them a few turns, but I wanted to try and take out both the Snapping Turtles, but I only got one of them, I think. Alright, well, I've got to do a little bit of Spider, but I feel like Spider's going to be worse. Uh, what do I have for sales? Blink. Haste. Probably some of the stuff I can delete from this list now. I can take off the Twisted Summitar, Chainmail, Willpower, I think. Um, probably that Rigmail Slag as well. It's gonna have vile floods on here. There's another fear. You know what? I might go grab that other fear. I feel like that could be pretty useful. There's the cancellation I didn't end up buying yet. Um. I don't have invisibility. Hey, it's a good old Jeremiah. Let's go teach Jeremiah a lesson. As a. Not to go and mess with a high level character there. Okay. Well, else? Was there anything else here? There's a cheap type one. I might grab it. Uh, why is it Torment so expensive? Sure. I might grab the identifiers because they're pretty cheap. I can go get some of these scrolls. I got Immolation, Torment, and an Experience. Oh, an Experience is good. I'm almost up a level, but I don't know if I can get that very easily. All right. Well, I got to try for the shoals again. Now to get there, I probably excluded it off because I probably didn't like the look of it at all. This looks pretty good. All right, took quite a chunk of damage. I didn't quite level up either. Um, I just teleport. Oh uh, yeah, not teleport. Blink away from that guy. Same sort of thing. Okay, what else have we got? I mean, this is looking terrifying. Oh, did I not buy my? Oh no, I can't quite afford the vile floods anymore. Um, fine, I guess. Oh, Mio Glottal, that's not the unique I was expecting. <laughs> um, I was expecting the other one there. Uh, this feels kind of bad. I might start a teleport. Yeah, because he's really hard to hit. It's just trying to hit all the wrong guys here. Okay. How do I get my spells to hit the right guy when I'm fighting him? I need to get him there on staircase, I think. Where is he? Um. Oh, he's really fast, isn't he? That's going to make it impossible to get him there on staircase. Is he really cold with this as well? Oh, he is cold resist. He's got his cause fear and his corrupt. Only I can paralyze more. I don't think they're upset. 
Uh, did, can I divide X with Jesus something on his head? I mean, he does something. So I can't do a yard. Uh, all the yards. He can pass a couple of girls like very effectively. Um, can I kill Rari? I'm pretty sure he's part of this, right? Yeah, he is. I have a lot of spells. <laughs> Gotta dump some more frost on his head. That's not what I want to see. I can teleport again, but. Hmm. Didn't hit him with that one. Okay. Well, at least one of those would hit him. He's severely wounded, I see. But by the time I'm healed up, he's probably got his health back again. This is a bit of a problem. Where is he? Where is he holding up? Should be right outside the troll somewhere. Yeah, this is a bit scary. I don't know where he is. Um, I gotta... What is it? Uh, that the unexplored level. Yeah, the staircase is... I might go to the staircase. Uh... Right next to me, which is a problem. What can I even do? What are these things to me? Warping him, I guess. Oh, right, he pushes. Try warping him again, I think. Um, oh, I'm certainly warped him somewhere. If not, somewhere useful. Okay. Wrong dude. Miscast. There we go. Finally got him. Excellent. Yeah, getting him to a staircase made a bit of a difference. I contributed a re-explosive. So I can't even remember the commanders, though. Should say it here somewhere. Um, where does it say? That's all about traveling to various places. Uh, control U, apparently, is what you use to restore the map. There we go. But Shoals is still guarded by some really nasty stuff, but I still think it's time to head back in. Oh, wait, no, it's time to drink my experience potions. Try get armor skill or whatever. Okay, um, let's drink another one. Some more armor skill is good. <sighs> Fighting to 12, um, that's oh, like 22. Spellcasting is like 12, I guess. You go with the ice, I might. There we go. So I'm level 18, which is definitely going to be more of a help. There's Francis. Some stuff down. Let's go down again. See what we get. Poked by one of these dudes' tridents. Um, I didn't do too much to getting rid of Francis or anything. These are sticking together in groups. I mean, I guess if they don't have a total lot of choices with how many of them there are up here, do I want to move with Bob's? Yes. I just want to get up the staircase so I can heal up again. Whoa. Oh, the alligator snap turtle bit me twice. Ow. Fortunately, it's not going to follow up. It's just going to sit back there. Um. Francis has got, what, haste, iron shot, throw ice, cool. She can be kind of dangerous. Whew. I don't even have many butterflies or anything, do I? I don't think so. Okay. I'm not sure I 
make it up that staircase um that's my main fear here this is super sketchy but i think i've got to actually blink back um he's moving kind of fast as well which is unfortunate there we go got her because there's still these little dudes around Get out of there. Okay, I was the expensive entrance, but finally I think I might have maybe cleared out the entrance to Shoals. Yeah, it cost me a blinking and a... Hmm. Yeah, we got some identified. I think it caused the fear as well. Got some visibility. All right. What is that? Ooh, an artifact hat. It's Warpower 3 Intelligence, but it randomly slows. Um, do I put that on right now? I mean, that's the sort of hat that uh, Wigglef would wear. Let's see. I do need the willpower to here. I might try it on. It's a bit questionable with the slowing, but it's definitely a Wigglef approved hat because it's a rad dart that's at least plus two. It's what Wigglef likes to wear. I mean, that'll be good at the end of the game, no matter whether I keep on wearing it or not. I think I'll wear it for now because I need the willpower. Um, blinking away from a hobby seems kind of silly because it's so fast, but should I move away from me at some point in time? Usually they blink around, or, well, not blink around, like dart around all over the place like bats, but that one didn't want to. Wow, that's a lot of dudes that set me on fire. Like it's slowed, but I can walk into the water. That's now been slowed, but like. It does stop me being on fire. At least. Uh, I question whether I should wear this hat. I might just go back to the other hat. I feel like, I don't know. The one power is good though. Uh huh. I hope this makes sense, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read a little bit of fog and then do a blink. Yeah, it did not put me where I wanted to. Um did berserk out, but that's probably fine. Or maybe not. Um <laughs> Okay, it is fine. I was hoping with the fog out there, the blink would put me in the right direction. It didn't quite, but I guess it's fine. I'll just channel some magic. This guy should be fine, I think. There we go. I can hide behind someone at least, which will make it a lot easier than if I had no one to hide behind at all. That's all the fiery dudes again. It's probably fine. I don't think I have any fire in this right now, which is why I'm a bit scared of all the fiery dudes, especially those. Uh, I mean, I can kill them really fast, but I can't, yeah, I'm definitely scared of those guys. Um, whoa. Okay. From one of these upstairs. Um, Oh, hey, get off my grits. Oh, uh, subscribed again for three months now. Wow, thank you. Subscribe there with a Prime sub. I always appreciate those Prime ones. You can Prime, I should like get Amazon Prime myself for like a month so I can watch the new Fallout show. Well, I guess it's not entirely new anymore, but I, I definitely should. I definitely appreciate that one. Hey, they all grouped up perfectly. They can freeze them all. I really love when they group up properly like that. Because no, I kind of just a uh, one trick pony here with my spells. I just a uh, permafrost eruption. If it doesn't work, I do it again. Oh no. Uh, okay, gotta teleport away from this guy. Got a mask in my eyes, beast, unfortunately. But at least that's very. I think it might even be vulnerable to the fire, so. I think it dies very quick, not that by the ice, so it dies very quickly to be frozen to death. 
But I, oh, pleasure from fire. I won't put that on right now, but it could be handy in certain situations. Actually, on this level where I'm taking lots of fire damage, but also later on when I'm taking damage from like Ace to her and stuff. If I meet Ace to her or Marjorie or what's another unique that does fire damage? I feel like there's a number of them. Mainly in the vaults, too. Uh. I should probably challenge magic. I don't know. There's only like that one dude left, but I don't think I, I could exactly run away from it. It was quite, quite a lot faster than me. Although with this water around, probably a lot of things are faster than me in here. What have we got? Monstrous Menagerie if I want to summon some guys. I don't have that much summoning skill. I've got like six or something. And I think that's where I stopped. Just enough to get some nice beast. Um... I let these skills go up, but I actually no, I might turn on the shields as well, get it up to like 14 or something. It's just I do have a uh, kite shield here, so it's probably worth it. Where's the catapleepus? There it is. Hmm. It's fine having it next to me. I'll channel some magic though, I think. Ooh, that's way too much stuff. Look what we got here. We got Ill Shriek coming along. Um, I think I saw the teleport. Ooh, too many guys doing water strike. Can I get a fog up? Okay, that got me a bit of distance. Am I still- I'm not telling magic. Right, so this is all the magic points I got to work with unless I can do something else. Um, I can't fly above this water. It's danger, danger, danger. This is very much danger, danger, danger here. Um, it's one danger to another danger. Okay, I'm gonna blow up some of these guys. They'll get up to me really quick, though, which is a problem. Uh, well, that shooting me was like a shard of ice, but it did no damage, thankfully. Okay, am I still challenging magic? I am still challenging magic, although I just finished challenging my magic. How do I stop that dude engulfing me? Do I just zap it with like a wand of light or something? Okay, I guess a wand of light was the solution to that guy uh, golfing me. Uh, wait, what? Why is my? Oh, I guess that guy's not quite a range of the permafrost eruption, is it? Ow! Steaming me to death. I should be the one uh, getting people with clouds here, not that guy. That one doesn't look quite right, like it's not graying out properly, I feel like, um, when I can't target it. Yeah, like, look at that, it grays out the walls, but not the dude, I don't understand why. Oh man, there's even more guys across, because I'm kind of noisy, oh. I'm gonna try a healing potion, but I'm kind of worried about this. Healing potion is keeping me healthy for now. Challenge more magic because obviously there's going to be more dudes, or maybe not. There we go. Finally got a uh, bit of a breather. More rapiers of speed, sure. Heavy tridents, all the sort of merfolk weapons. I don't, don't really think of rapiers of speed as merfolk weapons, but I guess today they are. I think you finally got every book since you're getting Sif Max Piety now. Sally Rodas, that's definitely nice getting that Sif Max party. Yeah, I feel like often you have to go like through a decent amount of extended. How many runes have you got so far? I know it can take quite some time to get the anywhere near Sif Max party because you just stop at five pips with all the gifts. All right, well, I'm stopping staircases. Which one? Or not. Apparently I'm fighting this dude. Try this one. Uh, that's all right. Maybe I should have just stayed at the one where I was alarmed, though, because that's a lot of creatures around here. Uh, 
Uh oh, I'm in a net. How many times is it going to take me to get out of this net? Um, I think it's worth trying to get out. And I think it's worth going up there because there's quite a few creatures. Yeah, it's definitely worth getting out of that net slow. Okay, there we go. There's the old screen, but she doesn't have uh, like everything with her right now. I did miscast. There we go. There's no like it, which we. She's fine on her own, but when she's got like everything with her, I don't think she's fine. Uh. Oh, you did Pandemonium 2, but just started on Hell. Right, so I guess you'd have what, like 10, 11 runes or something. So a decent chunk of runes. Yeah, you're definitely a good way into the game. And I know that, like, uh, well, maybe not so much Pandemonium, but I know the Hells are definitely a good source of piety. Because they're, they're like small levels with a bunch of creatures on them, so you don't lose too much of piety, like, uh, waiting around. You get a ton for killing all the creatures on the levels. So I guess they're really tough creatures. Oh, hey, Roxanne. Um, I don't think I have a creature to kill Roxanne. If I did, I could Lignify. Does she still have a spell book with our spells in it? I think I actually kill her. Whoa, not that close. Okay, oh, said, could you be a darling and pick up the talisman for me? I don't think so, Roxanne. Right, range five. What's the range of a bag but bolt? Uh one, two, three, four. Iron shot. One, two, three, four. Okay, I think I'm good. I really hope I'm good at this range. Let's just lignify. I'm going to have a channel magic. She is kind of resistant to all this cold I'm doing to her. I mean, I guess she has a statue, right? I shouldn't expect her to be too vulnerable to freezing or anything. Um... There we go. No, she might just have a uh, talisman. She used to have a book like a long time ago, but I don't think she does anymore. Shame, I wouldn't mind some earth spells off her, but hey, I'll take what I get. What is this ending? Please don't be holy. I don't know, these balls are freaking me out. Um, I think it's not holy, but... <laughs> you never know when you see, like, fancy-looking balls, like, mm, could be holy. Alright, well, the spell book here, so it's got Frozen, Ramparts, and Shadow. Shadow's good. For whenever I want to divide Exegesus into a spot. I don't know if there's any spots I can think of right now that I need to divide X and GSN into, but it's still pretty good. Uh, can be very good at, like, Kazan stuff if you need to break through one of the walls and that sort of thing. Oh, I guess you're doing instead of this, Sally, to try and find, like, artifact armor for this challenge, are you? Because you're also doing the Wiglaf challenge, right? So, no, that would make sense. Uh, still this dude, although I guess it got left downstairs. This does not look holy at all. I think this is just the one with the little rooms. So like you can see these. I think this is just like a little square room with some treasure inside it. We've got a spell book. Let me go check that out. See what it's got to offer. I'll try and get my magic points back first. I might even go all the way back to the staircase to get them back. Because I seem to still be attracting tons of creatures with all the noise of my spells. Right, looks like it's got, oh, just a cool imp. I mean, there's nothing wrong with cool imp. The actual new cool imp is a pretty good spell. It's a second level spell, but it's also it's only second level, so it doesn't scale so well anymore. Right, this guy's probably still faster than me in the water, despite being slowed. Oh, I'm not getting away from it. Come on. I know I can eventually get away from it. There we go. That's better. Oh, you actually have all... They have all in a three rune, but you just wanted to extend it with the orange crystal plate armor. I mean, I guess that's fair enough. Because uh, how often do you actually get to be a caster in orange crystal plate armor, right? I hate that 30% of banishment. Uh... Mm. Not much I can do about that. I mean, I can drink an invisibility, but she can still... Uh, I mean, she can't see me anymore, but she can still banish me. 
I think it might like maybe reduce the chance of tying me with or something, but it's not perfect. There's a bigger shield if I want one. Uh, I won't go to a bigger shield just yet. I'm surprised I haven't found the enlightenment. Do I have any of my shopping lists? Because now would be a good time to go buy one. No, I don't. Okay. I think I bought all the um, identifiers that I had earlier on as well. So no point in uh, looking for some more of those. Oh, there's a Horfrost Cannonade. What's the spell scores on one of those? Is it like Earth Ice or something? Probably not. Oh, Ice Alchemy. Sure. I don't know. Uh, apparently it's been improved since I last used it, so I want to give it another try, see if it's any good. And it's that's on the approved spells, right? They gotta cast it like ten times, which doesn't sound very hard at all. And you know what? Let's give it a try right now. It doesn't even have to be like in combat as well, so. Uh Yeah, I mean, that's going to be pretty trivial. What's my cannonade again? It's E. E for cannons. I don't know if those sliders quite work. This is the easiest to remember abbreviation. Oh, it's a magic regen fire resist resist electric amulet. Um, yeah, what am I wearing? It's like regen or something. I think I'm going to swap those. It's an artifact as well, which is great. I love my artifacts. So I think I'm artifact jewelry now. What else have I got? So I got all my auxiliary armor. That's going to be the hard part is getting all the auxiliary armor. I can't do an artifact weapon, which will also fill up my shield slot. Uh, but yeah, it's all the, all the artifact armor. All the auxiliary artifact armor is going to be really tough to get, I think, with this character. But no, I'm glad I found that amulet. It looks great. Uh, can, do I want to swap out this or anything? It's my resist corrosion resist negative magic points. He said it's already resist negative minus cold resist magic points. Um, I think I would just spot that out. Hold up. Maybe some willpower. Do I still need the magic points? We'll see. I got like another ring of magic points sitting somewhere if I need to go do more magic points or something, but I'll give this one a try. See how it works. It looks pretty good. How are the cannons? Oh, I'm not sure yet. Uh, said no one. But... Oh, that's not it. Let's give them more of a try. With my spell being like, uh, smite targeted, it could be a lot better. I know when the enemies use them, they're pretty good. It's hard to get a grasp of how much of the damage is from my cannons. Anyway, where do you want to go? I think I want to go to vaults. Do I give it a try? Uh, oh, wrong thing again. And apparently, if you stick around long enough, they like blow up or something. I don't know if they quite blow up, but they like do something special. Do they do like an AOE attack or something? It's their last attack before they disappear. Oh, those are doing decent damage as I'm walking back there. Yeah, I think the cannons are pretty good. And they distract enemies as well. Like, I'm not sure I'd bother with my only spell, but when I'm combining them with another spell, they don't seem too bad at all. I haven't got that much power on them just yet. Um, and it gives me something to do against the guys that are like right next to me. Uh, oh, I might just back up. I mean, these guys are the same speed as me, so nothing stopped me just running away till I got my magic points back. Yep, they're definitely killing things. I don't know. They're never living long enough to uh, get their like AOE attack off, but I guess that's fine. Oh, and apparently their um, body is no longer blocked staircases because they leave behind little puddles when they die. Are, are these, like, immune to cold? Surely they are. Yeah, they are. And again, it's warning me. It's like, do you really want to attack your cold immune cannons with a cold damage attack? The answer is obviously going to be yes. Oh, that one got its little attack off, I think. Um... Oops. 
kind of funny as well. The ice spells they kind of work together, but also the it's a little bit awkward when they constantly wanting you. It's like, do you, do you really want to? Really, you sure you want to do some cold damage to your cold immune guys? You really sure? Oh, you don't need it for the challenge, but uh, completeness? Oh, you're going to say you'd like an artifact shield, but if an artifact orb on two, three? Oh, yeah, I mean, I guess that does the trick. No, I definitely like to have an artifact shield as well. Just, uh, does Wiglaf use a shield? He does, right? I don't know, I just want to use whatever Wiglaf uses. I got Fireball, Conjurable, Lightning, Shark, sure. I was starting to count and see something. These guys are almost dead. Well, one of them was. Uh... Getting 10 casts of these cannons is no problem. So, the, like last time, I think I did. Because the last challenge was like get 100 casts of a spell. And this one is just like 10 casts of a number of spells. Because, I mean, if you can do it, like, if you can cast it a few times, you can probably get to 100 casts. Especially if it's something you can cast outside of combat. I keep the hat on me because I need that one at the end of the game. I think I'll drop some cold resistance and evasion. Uh. What could these three scrolls be? I mean, they could be acquirements, but I've got a doubt that I just found three acquirements on the ground. Um. Oh, it's definitely possible. Yeah, dude, was such a teal spam guy. Okay, we got tons of curing. There's water flame, water light. I mean, water light's fine. I think I got tons of curing at the moment. Um. If I get shot of them, I can come back for that. Like, if I get shot of them doing the spider nest, because I do have to do that at some stage. What are the other spells? I, I want a Hellfire model. That's on the approved list of spells that I got to get uh, one of. Um, should I just run away until I get all my magic points back? It should be relatively quick with my magic regen. Alright, well, I don't want to run. I mean, just any old circle will do, I guess. Oh, I feel about the sun hole being right next to me. Because on the one hand, that means it can't zap me. But on the other hand, it means I can't get it with a, some frost. I guess the cannon's got it. So it's not too much of a big deal. Yeah, I definitely don't feel like I want the cannons with my only damage source. But they're definitely nice as like just a little bonus damage source while I'm already plink, uh, just plink things while I'm already damaging the enemies with all the spells. I wonder if they can see invisible. I'm pretty sure they can, right? Can't remember the exact rules. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I can still hit the invisible guys with a tall frost. Not a tall frost candidate, the other one. Um, my channels of magic. This is probably fine. I'm worried about this dude in the center, but I think it should probably die. There we go. Yeah, I mean, it does make you fragile and it hit you for a ton of damage or like a crystal spear or something. Oh, the spells are gels, pile driver, mortar, force of fusillade, and rhyme blade. So. Wait, were the cannons not one of the spells? I guess not. Huh, okay. Rhyme blade was what I was going to get, and hopefully, Hellfire Mod was the other one I was going to get. But if I need to, I can get Pile Driver because it's low level. Um, just to fill out the spell list. So I guess this was not one of the one, not one of the approved spells. What are these three scrolls? Oh, butterflies. Nice. The three scrolls I found all together were actually three nice scrolls. Those cannons actually last long enough to do their final shot there, which is kind of impressive. They often, uh, often either the enemies don't last long enough, or the cannons don't last long enough for them to get off their final shot. I'll just get my magic points back, I guess.
Uh, seems silly, but the little ice bee is still pulling its weight there. Uh, how many of those do I have? I got like pile driver, right? I do have pile driver. Oh, it's three percent, seven percent failure. Sure, I'll get a pile driver. Um, where's my ride light? Ninety nine percent failure. I'd have to spank heavily into necromancy. Sure. Uh. I don't like that. Can I just hit this dude with a wand of light? No! I cannot. Okay. Mm. What can this guy do to me? Polymorph, vitrify, sure, my bust. Um, all that didn't help. This is not, like, the worst spot. It's just I don't have the right spells for this. And the blinking spell is still calling down because it didn't take me in the right direction. Um... That seems mildly silly, but I think a whopping of myself is definitely survivable. Didn't make that situation much better. Alright, but at least I can cast the blink again. There we go. Uh, let's finish this guy off, I think, with the electricity. There we go. I really don't deal with being in corridors so very well. No, warping does, does a bit of damage, but it's not ridiculous damage. You can sometimes use it on yourself. I wonder how long do, do they, like, remove self-warping. It's got to happen eventually, right? Because it's actually kind of useful as, like, a random blink. Uh... Don't worry about my cannons. How many cannons can I have out at once? Like, can I get... No, I can just have two of them, which is also in a really bad spot right now. Um... That dude gonna die? I could just make sure of it. No, I can't really make sure of it. I guess the ult didn't die. It's fine. I'll just go... Where can I even go? I can just go around this way. There we go, and upstairs, that works for me. How was the wind lab challenge for Tommy? It's, um, it's working out. I'm still alive, so that's something. It's, yeah, it's making progress. You don't really know how progressed you are till near the end, though, so, because uh, there's a lot of, like, sort of RG finds and items type things that you've got to do, because you've got to have a set of um, artifact armor at the end. So, we'll see if I have to do, like, what I have to do in order to get that one. It sounds like some percentage of three rune games find all the artifacts that they need, but... Yeah, it's gonna be, gonna be a little rough. Getting some of those. Uh, can kind of use the, uh, like, cannons as a thing I can hide behind when I'm trying to get enemies away from me. Like, I can just do that. Get a little bit of space. I want to get more magic back, but let's go to the unexplored area. That dude's recalling. I just got a ladder recall. I don't think I can stop it properly, unfortunately. Although it might have stopped when it got out of sight. I'm not sure. Do I just have to challenge the magic? Oh, I'll just challenge the magic. It should make this work out. There we go. Uh... Ooh, we're going to give it a book with... Well, it's possible it's that blast. Never mind. Not quite what I'm after, but I guess it's something. I should actually pick up some alchemy skill. What's my alchemy skill sitting on? I mean, I got so many other skills on training. I'll just let those other skills do their thing, I guess. I don't think I set their target too much higher, right? 
Right? I don't know, actually. Maybe I did. How are you going over, Tomic? Have you tried the Wiglef challenge? Because uh, it's been open, what, a few days? Because unfortunately, I got sick when it was, like, first open, so I wasn't able to try it immediately, which is what I did with the other challenge runs. So it looks like a number of people have managed to win, so... Not sure what this uh, tournament does if there's, like, uh, too many people that get the same points. I think that's what Rogue was worried about, like, too many people just getting the same points at the end. Because giving people a week is a reasonable amount of time to get most of the challenges, so if you, if you play consistently, you can often get uh, full stars, at least if you're... I don't know if you put way too many hours in the game like I have. Uh, I'll slow this guy around, but I don't think it's that fast. I haven't even tried it. I uh, fair enough. No, it's uh interesting. If you don't want to go for full stars, it probably isn't too bad, because you could just do like a um. I don't know if that's that helpful. You can always just do like a uh, Okawaru Dwarf Fighter, because that's the start of the Dwarf Fighter. You don't have to like do a switch up to Sif Mater and Spellcasting if you don't want to. Although, yeah, because uh, doing the spells is like a bonus star, I think, anyway. Um... So probably the you could just do it as a fairly normal Dwarf Fighter thing. Oh, what title should you go for, you think, Sally Roses? What are you? You're, uh, I mean, you're, oh, you're, I can't even have to think about that again. Do you have any Sith titles left? Because those are probably pretty easy to get as a Dwarf. Um, are you also out of the Sith titles? I mean, there's also, like, the Shield one, the Dwarven Barricade. Presuming you have a Shield, which probably do. What other things are there? I mean, there's not a lot to go with outside of God titles, unless you happen to know there's something you haven't gone for. Uh, but I reckon a Sif type would be really easy if you haven't got it. Ooh, what have we got? A light of it? I was, I was looking for those ones earlier. The game just didn't want to give me, like when I found, uh, what's the name, the, good, the person that banishes me on Roltro or something. No, not that one, the other one, Louise. Like, where's my enlightenment? Uh, that's the actual way down. I'm definitely making good progress through vaults. Ooh, crack of arcane energy. Oh, you could just, uh, you just want something that sounds cool. Something that sounds like a cool Dwarven title. What is a very Dwarven sounding title? Um, I don't honestly like how these guys are decided to surround me. Uh. Because his name is like a Gunner Dwarf, and I don't think you can get Gunner Dwarf as a title. Like, the, the actual unique, um... What does that leave you as a thing you could get? You could probably get, um... Have a revelations I do, I might just use that and try to get to this Wiz Lab. I don't know, I'm not sure about the cool standing titles, I'm more sure about how to just get a unique title that isn't one you've had before. Although, if you go with, like, field set of artifacts, maybe having some sort of... Is there, like, an artifice one you can get? Or oh, what are the... What are the artificing ones now? I can't even remember. Um... What is it? Is it something like title evocations? Does that work? No, that's the wrong one. It would be... I can't even remember how, uh, the evocation or evocations, now I can't even remember, I think it's evocation, right? 
I don't think the bot's very happy when I'm trying to get all my evocations with an ass it is. Uh... But not... Although that might find it anyway, let's see. I'll try evocations. There might be some cool sounding ones of those. I seem to remember some of those sounding pretty cool. Though I don't think they're specific to dwarves or anything, unfortunately. Uh, apparently if bot doesn't like me today, it should still be, it's definitely still in chat, I think it just doesn't like the command I was doing. Alright, so god, Sif Mana's spell work on how to use it. Um, apparently I need a how to use it guide according to Sif Mana, my magic must be that bad. All right. Oh, I lost my cannons. This dude can open doors, but I'll just delay it slightly, I guess. I don't even know if that delays it that much. But they can probably open doors pretty quickly. Brisk? I haven't even made that much progress. Um... All right, well, you know, I'm going to challenge the magic. Hopefully, I can, I can speed this up a little bit. But yeah, I'm kind of trying to get everything as I go across the level, which is not getting me to the whiz lab particularly fast. Oh, no. Three cancellation. I might do one. Um, I don't like the, side, uh, like the look of that guy because it means there's probably one of the other ones. What are they called? Uh, yeah, these dudes. One of those dudes around. They always need to go together. Um, I'll hide it here, but it's not perfect. I'll challenge some magic. Ooh. No, this is bad. Close the door and I'll start a teleport, I think. Because it may be fragile. I gotta try door dance with this guy for a little while until I get teleported out of there. Unfortunately, it's supposed to be a long way from where I need to be, and I'm a bit wounded. Which does not go very well with it either. Um, urgent crackle, man. That's not gonna work, is it? I mean, I can go back down to... Not that staircase. This one, right? Does set me back a bit, but I should have my health back. Urgent crackle again? Oof. This is rough. Uh, I haven't done spider this, uh, yeah, the spiders reminded me of it. Okay, that's a big dude. The cannons can hold it at bay, I should be able to take it out, because if I target it directly, it takes damage from the, uh, permafrost rush and frantic crackle. Okay. Ragic Crackle again. Hmm. There's definitely still hope. If I channel some magic in here, that I can get there on time. Oh, your animated crystal plate armor hits the ice feed. The animated crystal armor hits the ice feed. The ice feed dies. I mean, the ice feeds don't actually have much else. That's actually hilarious, though, because they're really scary. It just died to some animated crystal armor. No! Oh, the, okay, the one turn before I opened that door, it collapsed. I think it was like five turns short of getting into that. Oh, well. That's just how it goes sometimes. Uh, I bring the lich around the corner. Don't want to... Get hit by an orb of destruction. Also, I don't want to be like right next to it because I want to actually put a head with some stuff. Oh, it was really awkward with the targeting there, but I think that was about where I wanted it. Um, Aroma Folly, but look at all these hats. Are they going to be artifacts? Got a plus two hat, a hat of stealth. All right. Oh, wait, wait. Crowds count. Crowds count. 
There's a there's a message that says the crowds count um, over here. Yeah, the crowd, the mask, the hood of the assassin are all considered hats, artifact hats. So that's excellent. Plus three hat of two intelligence. I got the first electric from somewhere and it's see invisible. That's pretty good. It's better than uh, my hat I had before. A vault is the worst for bottles because it's kind of big and like broken up yet. Oh, the spell for Shovatar. I wonder if I can get that. I don't think I'll worry about a robe falling. I'm kind of going heavy armor anyway. I've got another artifact hat, but it's hard. But I don't think I can. I've got a crown. I think I want to have a crown on. This is Garrett. Uh, what's this scarf? Oh, it's rampage with a bit of a shame, but it's a uh, resistance scarf. It's expensive. I don't care about the poison resist versus corrosion helmet, although I too still need a poison resist from somewhere, as it turns out. But yeah, resistance sounds good. Um, probably have to take out that magic resist versus corrosion. But do I have another resist corrosion by now? I don't know if I do. That's a shame. I don't know. I might just get like a shield of poison resist. We'll see. They're reasonably common. I can't put it off that I might actually find one at least. Um, I got the hat fault. The hat fault is excellent. It makes up for not getting wig laugh. <laughs> well, truly. No, it even had good hats in because sometimes it's just got, I mean, any sort of hats would be fine, but sometimes it just has like junk hats, but all the time around it was like good hats. Artifact hats even. Crowns. All the good stuff. Dude should die soon. Come on, I got a little bit more magic points. Oh, whoa, where did these dudes come from? Uh, I'm gonna drop a condenser feed on to see if it does much. Not that much. Yeah, let's let's try. Yeah, I mean, with my lack of uh, evocation of course, the uh, condensed phase is not going to do much. I love how I'm just reflecting arrows back all those sandals. I haven't had too much problems with the ranged characters this time around. It's kind of been other things instead of being the issue. That should be fair. These things have nothing here has been too much of a problem that I can't deal with it. As long as I'm very careful, I should be fine. Hey, dire elephants. They're gonna kill that cannon, aren't they? Yup. I mean, it was only a matter of time with their both on. Ew, ow, either side of it. I think this is fine, but it did a big chunk of damage to them when it was pushing me around. I guess I'm pretty easy to hurt, right? If it got 11 shield value, I should probably work on that shield value at some stage, try and get it just a little bit higher. Um, in fact, I think I'm working on it right now. I'm working on way too many things. Oh, actually, not anymore. I think it's supposed to hit their targets. I'm working on earth and shields. Wasn't there something else that I'd be desperately wanting to work on for like ages, but I didn't because I was doing too many skills already? And I thought they were more important. I don't know. I forgot what it was. <laughs> it's always like that, though. You you want to do something and then you forget what it was that you're going to do. It's definitely a shape turtle. There's no way there's just a snapping turtle running around this level. Uh, how's my money anyway? I've got about a thousand and I need 1,300 something. Okay, that's not too bad. Not that much more expensive to buy this scarf than what I've got. Uh, where's my extra cold this coming from anyway? Because I got a couple, the one of them's on the rig, right? So that's why I was thinking of maybe swapping that rig off after I. Some things around because I was trying to get a poison resist or something. Uh, I can have either of these. Oh, well. Oh, hey, Donald. I'm going to have a chance of magic, I think. Thankfully, I ignored shield, but I'm blasting with cold, so. Should be fine, but how do I keep him away from me? Uh, probably bring out the good old warping. I haven't been fighting as much of that as I used to be fighting. There we go, he's dead. And he dropped a... Oh, chainmail, fire resistance armors. No, shield's nothing. I was hoping a shield might be something. Okay. 
There's more cannons. I don't need them. My other ones are looking a little bit dead already. Oh, nice. Spell book, of course. I'll see what it is later on. I think I'm still missing, like, super high level spells, but I'm not sure if I'll get those. This is, oh, Hellfire Mortar. That's something. Ugh, I can't even spell. I'm excited to see a Hellfire Mortar. So it's 71% uh, fail. I need some fire. But yes, I want a Hellfire Mortar. Um, did I ever use my portable pile drive? I should use that. I gotta use it like 10 times or something. I don't know. Like, not even that special. I just gotta use it for the for the thing. Um, fire magic. I, I think fire magic is the most important to get right now. Where is it? Plus two aptitude? I'm pretty good at it. I'll just get a sub 10, which is probably enough. And I can have some of my cannons out, and I can have a Hellfire Mortar. I can keep on- I can probably keep on adding things to Pumpfrost Rupture, because that's doing the trick. But I got, like, I'm gonna get more options for this character. Oh, and Teus got frenzied by your orb? I hope he's not heading straight towards you, and a frenzy and Teus sounds, um... Terrifying. And you can't even, like, teleport out, right? Because you're in the Hell, uh... Wait, Teus? Is that my Mosius? He's the one in the cold air, I guess you can teleport out. Let's just get some intelligence. Keep that going. Uh, I'll try pile drive with someone, but I'm not sure it helps me that much. Let's try pile drive with this dude. Right, so it pushes against the wall, which, but unfortunately, it doesn't get me away from it. But I guess that's all right. As one out of ten uses, I guess. Um, yeah, that one technically does have to be on an enemy, doesn't it? I think. <laughs> like you can just pile drive yourself or something. Oh no, there's gonna be what's his name in here. Uh. I could close the door, but... I can bring out the cannons. Um... There he is. I'm gonna start the shadow magic. He loves the drain magic, though, which is kind of sad. Um... Oh, so much for that, Blake. I hate that. No, that's not right. Oh, you want, uh... The one you killed their bodyguards, uh... Oh, we killed your bodyguards for the... the and Berserk and Teus with the killed bodyguards, so that makes sense, I guess. Man, I gotta... gotta whop these guys and myself. Um, okay. Well, that was not really it. At least one of these has gotta get whopped. Good. Blow him up. Blink away from this dude. Um, but there's two sharks. Okay, blow up the right one, and they blow up the other one. There we go. That's what I want to see in that fight. Uh, I noticed when I blew someone up with the what's it called? Not blow, uh, the pile driver. No longer does minus move, so it's not like entirely terrible like it used to be. I think. Oh, two of these dudes. That's way too many. They're normal speed though, right? Um, normal speed there, not keep it up, <laughs> should be keep it up, but whatever reason it's not, okay. Wait, are they actually normal speed? I thought it feels slow. I, I thought it was when I checked it, oh well, never mind. Uh, can I get a Hellfire Mortar out, please? <laughs> hey, look at that. Oh, look at all that steam from all the water that was down there as well. And then my Hellfire Mortar just runs along. Alright. Uh, oh, that doesn't travel massively far, does it? Whoops, what am I doing? I'm doing that wrong. I definitely feel a lot more like Wiglaf now, though. Uh, I want to tell. Oh, wait, that's not the right way to do a Hellfire Mortar. I'll get used to targeting it eventually, but that was a pretty silly way to shoot it out. Oh, hey, Ruger! How's this going? 
Oh, otherwise it would have been scary there selling roses with the end test. No, definitely. It would have been like teleport type of situation otherwise. Um, oh wait, Wolfpack's looking way better than it used to be. But anyway, can I afford that scarf? No. But I can go to the spider's nest again, I think. Hopefully the entrance isn't too bad. I seem to remember leaving that and not the best state ever. Oh, Tears falls to lava and Tears is incinerated. Wait, how did you get him to fall to lava? Did you like, uh... Wait, and then he shakes off his lethargy after falling into lava? What? I'm confused. Anyway, uh... What did you do with these guys? I'm gonna hit them with... What a frost. What? Oh, I miscast the die. Can I hit myself with like a... Oh, I'm confused. With a Telfire mod? I hope not. Um... Like if I teleport, if I play like blink in front of it, what happens? And I'm convinced that's good, and I don't know if I want to find out. Okay. Blink away first. Do the Telfire Mortar. And then freeze some dudes, I think. Well, that actually does need to be doing some pretty good damage as it runs along, but it does need to make sense to throw it at the enemies. It seems to make a sense to, like, throw it <laughs> just, like, on a sideways path so it can scooch past them, shooting them with fire the whole time. Oh, we got confused by a malign gateway and fell to the mortar fire, but... Well, those messages at the end about him getting frenzied. Yeah, those definitely feel like the wrong order. Like, after he's dead, he surely shouldn't get frenzied. You're mad after dying? <laughs> he just mad at you for killing him? I don't know. Not, uh, not confusion. Oh, did I not have the poison resist? Um, that might not be ideal. Nah. That was freezing. I like how many guys there are here. Um, come on, shoot that last guy. I think I was might have been in the way there for some of that path. Uh, I don't think I had the poison resist, so hold up. Um, that's just a basic rig. It costs money. Hmm. Got it right. Yeah, well, it makes the scarf resistance slightly further away, which is a little bit of a shame, but oh well. I thought he threw a mortar at this dude. Oh, dodged it and didn't want to get hit by the mortar. <laughs> it's interesting how much damage it does when it hits the guy. All right, but I might grab this ring because unfortunately I'm going to drop uh, drop the old hat. That was the right way a little, mm, for a little while, but it wasn't that great. Why do I have a spirit guardian? I feel like I've always never used that one anyway. Let's take off. Am I wearing a basic willpower? Oh, because it became less useful than before. Um, I might actually swap out the basic willpower. Here we go. That's the poison resist. That's helpful with going to the spider's nest. How's your artifacts coming? Um, yeah, making some progress. Progress. So I've got, I got a, I've got a crown, got some plate armor, and I've got my rings and amulets. But, well, I do have another ring somewhere. I'm not wearing it right now. Um, I think I also have an artifact two-handed weapon that I can use, but I don't have the auxiliary armor, which I feel like is going to be the slow part, getting that stuff. Um, uh, we'll see how long it takes me to get my auxiliary armor. I was doing good. Yeah, it's uh, definitely coming along. The the stuff there. All right, let's blink back again. Freeze these guys while I can, but... Man, that fire does some good damage. I'm loving that. Okay. Can I get a mortar in here? Oh, nope. <laughs> Apparently not. No, oh, I'll bring them upstairs. I'm all about fire and ice, so all this character. It's actually a good combination. I feel like most things don't resist both, but maybe some of the golems and stuff, but not a lot of creatures. Alright, get Bud Spider. There we go.
Ooh, this moss brass. I might channel some magic because I feel like this could go horribly wrong or it could be completely fine. Um, I might get some more fire magic as well. I might get that up to like 15, I think. I've got a good aptitude for it. My hellfire mod still needs a little bit of work. Yeah, that could be bad if this guy got berserked up. I look quite as bad anymore. One of these guys got berserked, but I think that's fine. Good, everyone's burning to death. Excellent. I hate these unnecessary warnings, but apart from that, everything seems to be going just fine. How much health does that have? It has a, oh, it's about 108, so it must depend on spell power, because I think Sally's Roses one added like a little bit more. Oh, good. Splays Heart Golem and Cause Elimination. Sure, all the good stuff. Also, do I still want to be using stuff of um, Cold? Don't I have a stuff of Earth somewhere that I could be using? Uh, I'd lose a Cold resist, but it's mm, probably still fine. I'm going to try to hit this guy with the water, see how much damage it does. Although it looks like it might have dodged my water. <laughs> As presumably, it does something good when it hits an enemy. I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever hit an enemy before with a mod. Uh, right, so I've still got like 400 gold to save up there. Wait, no, I will get this up first. I know I have one. Instead of... Uh, I mean, that's an okay fire resist ring, but I don't think I need it anymore. I think I used that one stage where I already saw, so I should still have one cold resist. Yeah, I mean, it's lower in cold resist, but it's still one. And now uh, my... Um... Mort should do more damage. It's a wave of frost. I'll try and get to this in time. I was going to identify that I could probably use on one of these potions. I could probably also drop the torment, not the crown, the torment. Um... I think I would have charged. I'm missing the artifact armor. As soon as I get some artifact armor, I would have charged up. But it's not unlikely that I'm going to find one in a hurry. All right, well, I was going to do some revelations. So I need to go down. It's pretty obvious. It's right there with the ice walls. I tried target this guy. <laughs> Can I have two of these? No. No, I have one more for the time, I see. Uh... Ooh, both these guys are next to me. Uh... That looks fine. Freeze one of these guys, and the last one should get taken out by the mortar. Wait, the lava sticks around longer than the mortar itself, but not by a lot. It seems to disappear in a particular order as well. And often my, the creatures seem to chase out of the mortar as well, which is kind of cool. Alright, well I have one cold resist. I should probably put the cold resist back on in the ice cave. Um, that rig's not that useful anymore, though. Does, uh, I'll keep it around. It's an artifact. Uh, flaming is probably not that good. I've got three slots. I kind of want a little bit more. Three slots is fine. Could I leave the amnesia outside? Do I have any might or something that's not too useful anymore? No, I don't think so. All right, that'll do. Let's just go in and see what there is in here. Oh, hey, Dennis. You got a vine silk wizard home with Oshke. Or three runes with... Four wait, eight runes with four pandemonium. <laughs> I always read it three runes with four pandemonium. Like, what? How does that work? No, that's nice. Um So I guess with Oshkeo you were going not really the wizardry, but more like trying to stab people. Wait, how do I tell if it's gonna turn the whole area into a, a whole wall to fire or stop at a wall? I was slightly confused about that. Wait, so if I target that, like it goes a really long way. I don't know how this works. <laughs> Apparently, I can't even cast it to test it out. 
I thought there was a bit of a reveal what's behind these walls just by shooting out uh, mortars. I want to try and hit a dude with a mortar, see what it does. Again, I didn't manage to actually hit a dude with a mortar, did I? Uh... The mortar is destroyed. Did it do any? Oh, did it not do any damage when it got destroyed? I don't know if it did. It didn't seem to do a lot. Maybe it had to uh, charge up for longer, or maybe I just did that wrong. Wait, that definitely went through a long way with the wall. Is it if it shows the wall is highlighted, it means it's gonna go a long way into the wall? I'm not entirely sure how this works yet. Oh, no, you were, uh, you were quite the caster with Oshkeo. Spell damage builds piety, so you stab the survivors while they're paralyzed. And if the fight still could bite for more magic points as the cycle repeats. Oh, I see how that works. Yeah, but I guess that makes sense. I haven't done many casts of KO. In fact, I haven't done any. I know, I know I've done like something that wasn't really a stabber, but it still worked anyway. And um, with KO. Might have just been a ba basic archer or something. I don't know. No, let's check out. Oh, Buckler of Cold Resist. I think even in here, it's probably worth just using the biggest shield. Oh, now I know what it's like. Wait, that rule that used to only be on one mortar out of time, that didn't used to be a rule, did that? Because I know I saw someone like doing a mortar. No, they did a mortar. They flew over the lava. Then they did like another mortar. And then the paths like collapsed in on them. And they uh, couldn't get shoved back when the path collapsed or something. I know that someone did that and it like caused the game to crash or something. I can't remember exactly how they did it anymore though. No, you probably could still do that. Because I think the lava sticks around for slightly longer. But care about helmets. I'm not about that helmet life, I'm about that hat life, as Wiglaf should be. I got my fancy hat as well, so I'm really, uh, really happy with that one. Oh yeah, Norm Destruction Online and uh, scale by Midway Through Pandemonium, and Goon Trolls Level 9 Ishkendron's Undoing with Brilliance. I might know that one. In scale is a weird typo. What does that mean? And uh, I guess online type thing. And it going. I don't think of like what word it was meant to be. I guess it could be anything. It's auto created to in scale. I should know what the Shkendron's undoing does. It sounds like the one that shoots all the strikes in all directions, but I could be entirely wrong. Oh, in scale mail. Right, 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 right. That makes sense. Huh. You weren't even a dwarf and you were casting in scale mail. You're a vine stalker. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Scale mail's not that heavy. Are you still don't think that the crown is a, is a hat? But you were convinced that it was classified as a DCSS hat? I mean, the game classifies as a hat, but I'm not sure it's a... Uh, what even is, like, a real... I don't know if a crowd quite counts a hat. I mean, it fulfills the same sort of, like, role, right? Like, it's not protective. Uh, my channels are magic. I'm not sure about this. But... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure, personally, whether a hat is a crowd or not. It's crazy how many of the edits of these challenges have actually mattered, because last game, I think the melting armor one ended up mattering, because I used, like, a potion of lignification or something. Um, I'm trying to remember which other ones. I'm sure there was more. I don't know if the, about the first challenge, whether something mattered for that one or not. Am I just done? I think I'm just done. I don't care about helmets. I'm not about helmet life. Uh, leather arm resistance? Nah. Let's just get out of here.
So I'll go back to my stuff. Uh, so was there something else I wanted to swap? Not really, but I can drop the buckler because I'm definitely gonna, I'm not going to need it. I don't know if my guy can protect me from all the destruction. Nope, it cannot. <laughs> it probably could have, like, uh, got lucky, but it did not. Uh, wait, uh... Decent stats since the old brilliance that reduces spell failure, but you'll still go a lot of training. You must have contributions for... Only as many cards as you can find potions, right. Right, I know the old brilliance, you know, the one that makes spell casting just a little bit easier. I never really use it a lot, but it did actually make it actually quite a lot easier, so I guess it's sometimes useful. Oh, what? I can't... I can't say the dude through these walls? They're just too thick? Oh, well. Yes, that's fine. We've got Crystal Spear. Ooh, a Force of Fusillade. Can I? I probably can't. <sighs> no, it's 100% failure because I don't even really have the alchemy. And I, uh, I might be a little bit of alchemy. I don't know if I do. And I certainly don't have the Conjuration. So maybe later, but certainly not now. It doesn't get it as a spell. Hmm. I'll think about it. But... Also, I need to go pile drive with some dude, so I might go try pile drive with this dude. Alright. <laughs> it's kind of silly, but I, I gotta to pile drive it ten times, and you can only use it on enemies, so, like, I gotta do it. Come on. Pile drive with the guy, and then get out the actual real damage sources here. I've been using a different review of the final draft each week, and there's still stuff that needs to be edited after the start of the challenge. Yeah, I imagine that, like, reviewing them is... I mean, some of them are probably, like, really easy to, like, review, but uh, some of the challenges, um, it would feel like it would be a lot harder to actually check whether someone has actually done it or not. Uh... Do that, I guess. Well, the guy up. How many walls here? I just can't burn up or anything. Uh... I don't know where to shoot this guy. I guess that way. Somewhere where it's got like a little bit of a lifetime to it. Um... Alright, these other guys are pretty well grouped up. I think this is fine. Oh, the most uh, ironic part is that uh, me and team reviewed week one. And he's the one that ended up doing the most levels of pandemonium for the Power Dragons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, no, he did like a crazy number. Was it like 60 odd levels or something? I can't remember exactly how many it was, but I know it was a crazy number of pandemonium levels just to try and get a pearl dragon. I don't know, at that stage it always feels better doing a ziggurat, but if you don't have a character that's like spade down to do a ziggurat, then I guess you don't really have a big choice. You're doing pandemonium whether you want it or not. Okay. Can I? Oh. I want to not be next to this guy, please. Ow. It's probably fine, though. I can probably just blow it up. Oh, not quite. Uh, let's see. 60 something damage. Oh, the VNT has had the worst luck this uh, week. What are they doing with the current one? Like, is something going wrong with that one? I might do a healing potion, but I'm not sure it's a great idea. Can't really pile drive. I can. Ow. That might be worth a blink. 
I know this guy's about to die, but like, fear's not gonna work. I think. I think I'm gonna have to burn a blink. That's such a shame. Yeah, didn't quite kill it quick enough. Oh man, those are radiants. I'm really doing some damage. Are you thinking of posting the challenge an hour before it starts so the edits get flushed out before the start? What do you think? I mean, I think just give it. Definitely give it like a little bit of time, but maybe not like an entire hour. That does seem like quite a lot. Um. But no, I definitely give it like a little bit of time. Like at least 10 minutes for people like to like, go through it. Before the challenge opens up, I think it would be kind of nice just to uh, try and figure out exactly what it means and ask questions in the Discord and stuff. I don't know, but it doesn't really make a huge difference either way. Um. Oh, he died in pandemonium looking for one max auxiliary armor. Oh, I think I heard about that one. Yeah, no, that was, uh, that's kind of bad. What am I after? In terms of skills. I want to see if he's got a little bit more fighting. A little bit more shields. Uh, I think he was more armor. Get the defensive stuff, I guess. All right, got a statue. Uh, can I hit that from outside of sc off screen? Like, if I just sit here and do. No, nah, I'm not sure that works. All right, sure. Maybe it does. I don't know. Anyway, it's easy enough to take out properly. <laughs> While I've got the Hellfire Monitor going, so what have we got? Oh, Berserk Rage, that's an easy enough drop. So we've got the Acquirement Noise and Resistance missing. I mean, Resistance is actually kind of important, but I think everything else is just kind of whatever. I mean, Acquirement actually could be good. It might give me some Artifact Armor. <laughs> that would certainly be nice. I'm definitely missing some Artifact Armor. Yeah, I don't know. This character could be doing quite a lot to try and get their artifact armor. I might die in pandemonium too, looking for artifact armor. What is my cloak? A zero? I'm mean, gonna replace that pretty soon, but might as well put on the plus one cloak for now. I don't think decks are that useful. That's not an artifact even. Oh, and then, uh... Wait, he did a full zig and didn't get the last bit, and then died in pad, probably someone tilted. Yeah, I can imagine after doing an entire zig around not getting, um... What was he missing, like, boots or something? Was it boots, or was that someone else that was missing boots? I don't know, I know someone was saying they didn't have boots in the Discord. Oh god, leader's, uh... Rapid deconstruction. I don't think I'll take that one. Are you compromised 15 minutes before the start? You'll just have to have enough time to do an edit for or two before the start. Yeah, that sounds like a, sounds like a good idea. But that seems to be about what it usually takes is like an edit or two. It's not usually too much. Um... I'm gonna step back there, but I think I just fried all those guys. They can't even get to me because there's lava in the way. Repulsion? I haven't been having problems with missiles. I mean, I, I guess I got the whole reflection shield, so... I don't know. I still don't know why I'm not having problems with missiles. Oops. That was a slightly suboptimal way to walk around there. I didn't have to walk into the spider's web. I could have just walked around it like a normal person, but no, I decided to walk through it. Oh, interesting. The guy decided to walk around because he can't walk through a lava, which means my... Wait, does that mean once I get the Hellfire Mortar out, then it's not going to really hit creatures much? Because of the lava? It probably does. Oh. Yeah, I think it's just the initial trail that can't include creatures, because otherwise it would, I guess it would burn them in the lava. It's probably not... Well, you don't really want to get the players in the way of insta-killing. Okay, can it see invisible? I hope so. It can, nice. Good, because that was kind of the only thing I had that could actually kill that moth before it absolutely drained my every last magic point I had.
Or does a spell to generate lava now? And it kind of is, uh, Senovi? Kind of. The max, uh, not the max, but the hellfire is water. Yeah, because it, um, it does like a trail of lava that follows down, and it shoots things and it goes down, so it seems to work pretty well. Or regarding week two, DCSS itself has removed benches of slavery. I think it does. Like the one of slavery was turned to one of charming, right? And Pico, I mean, Pico has uh, Lemias now. It's like, yeah, I don't know. Oh. Is that? That's too many dudes. I'm going up. All right. I can't even remember what the edits were exactly in week two. I know I think there were like a couple of them, but I know one of them was allowed been allowed to have your gear melded, right? Uh I should just go up, but that's not too bad. The creatures are going for that staircase, which means they might have cleared out the initial one, but I'll definitely take the third one here. Ah, confusion. I still got a... Uh, Seven, well, six now, Keurig. Um, maybe I should have stepped off my staircase. That might not be the smartest plan ever, but I'll get back on it, I guess. Oh, I'm webbed. I'm going to try. I think I can get out of the web. There we go. So now I've got to deal with this guy. Um, I think a Hellfire mod is my best bet. There we go. I've got to distract it and it's got it dead. And I can probably just go down my initial staircase, which... I mean, that was actually probably the best one because it's the uh, furthest away from the one I was currently on. Right, of course, there's lots of creatures still, which makes sense. Uh... No, I won't go down that one again. I'll go down. Where is it? Is this the initial one I went down? I think I'll go down this one for a little while because it's, yeah, there's hardly anything here. I mean, as soon as they hear me, permafrost eruption things, they're just going to come dashing onto screen. Look, there's the guy. Uh... It's actually not dashing on that fast. I was expecting to get here a bit faster. Oh, uh, maybe also missing something obvious, but you th uh, but which week has the artifact auxiliary armor for? It's for the current week. Um, so let me go to. It's not like super required if you don't want everything, but it's for the all in here. So it's wear all artifacts and win the game. Even your amulets and rings need to be artifacts. And by the way, good luck finding an artifact hat. Artifact hat was one of the few things I found like multiple of. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, there was the other thing. It's possible to win with two hat and no shield. But you've got to have all your slots. Um, and if you get mutated, you have to unmutate yourself to get the slots back. Yeah, so that's uh, it's the extra bonus point on this one that requires it. That everyone's going for. Because that's kind of the big uh, distinguisher in this tournament. Can you get all the bonus points? Oh, next week is Blocular, Vampire of Bjorg. Ooh. That's... I mean, that makes sense, actually, because Blocular is definitely new, new, unique here. Um... Whoa. I would try to miss me, but I think that was fine. So, hmm, Blocular. What would Blocular be the closest to? Like, he turns into bads. I mean, I mean, I guess a vampire could do that anyway, but I can't think of anyone that represent that. I mean, I could definitely see it being cool challenges there. We're trying to get a handful of different colors of spells, right? Or there were a handful of uh, commits related to Bjorg Apostles earlier today. So you're going to have to see if it's, like, still appropriate and see if anything has changed with the Apostles. But actually, I should check what the changes were. Uh, ooh, a Radiate. Oh, I don't know if I've got the right set of spells for that, do I? Nah, I don't even have the Conjuration Alchemy. <laughs> I go go. I'm not doing my normal spells this time around, but I'm having fun with the spells I d do have. 
Go up snow. Uh, I accidentally moved when I meant to cast, of course. Okay. Maybe get more distractions. Maybe not. Okay, I already have a Hellfire Motto. There we go. Uh, I don't want to actually die to moving when I'm meant to be casting because you can't recast the Hellfire Motto when it's already out. And I was like trying to like aim it up with the movement keys. It's like, no, I've actually moved myself there. Are you looking at the Tavern 2.0 and you see weeks two and three, but not this one? I can send you a link there, Dennis. Um, yeah, because it's definitely up. I mean, I guess you could just look at the normal page, but I'll definitely send through a link. Oh, it looks like uh, Rogue beat me to it, but hey. There's another one. Oh, that's just a, that's a main tournament page of ours, a specific one. Both get you there. Even if they're slightly different. Oh, if you're allowed to use Gozag, it's not too bad. Well, who would Blockula worship? I mean... I can't think of a very Blockula-specific god. Is there a god that particularly likes different colors of... Wait... What is Blockula's description again? Uh, okay, it says with colors. The missionary of Bjorg, of course. Right, of course they're with Bjorg. Because they're an orc. Vampire orc, but still an orc. Right, so it's very obvious what the god will be. Oh, is Bjorg a strong god? The challenges seem rough, but you've never tried it. They, they're good with a good character, because, uh, well, they're decent with a good character. But if you're a weak character, then you can't really keep your apostles alive. And then you end up basically being an atheist. And that's not good if you're a weak character, obviously. So, I don't know. They're definitely better than the old um, old one. But I'd rather only play them on strong characters. I don't consider vampires particularly strong, but probably still doable. Well, definitely still doable, but maybe not uh, quite the optimal god. Oh, whoops, I didn't target that properly. It doesn't really matter. It died anyway. No. Again, targeting something that's out of sight. Oh, well. Uh... How much money do I have? Oh, 200 so short of being able to buy that scarf. Because I did spend some money, so that was just a uh, scarf of shadows. Scarf of visibility. Hey, there's my rune. Um, I love to have that scarf. Okay. But I might just put on a willpower instead of a poison resistance and go into the elven halls, I think. Because that gives me three willpower, which is acceptable for fighting some elves, I think. Uh -huh. oh, your impression was it uh, seemed like a god you take out of desperation versus an orc priest yeah I mean that's true you can definitely take the Bjorg as desperation but an orc priest got you on like 10 hit points it's about to smite you again like uh, I better oh right the uh, little fire dude can't Go through doors, it can only go through walls, that's kind of funny. I don't think of walls like, you know, doors is massively impressive, but they're good enough to stop a entire mortar. Um, also, did my thing again where I... Accidentally tried, well, I accidentally moved after trying to cast the mortar, which of course doesn't work. Uh... Man, these guys are so resistant to all my elemental attacks. Um, I got a chance of magic. Uh, it'll get there. Okay. Kind of spread out. Um.
Ah, not channeling anymore. All right, got to keep it channeling here, though, I think. Got enough magic that would one shot near to a crystal spear there. But I don't have much, not magic health, I don't have much more health than that. Oh, I better channel again. These guys are just forcing me to channel. Um... Whoa. More dudes. There's dudes everywhere. I mean, I guess I made a lot of noise. I should expect a bunch of dudes. Um, how do I even kill this dude? I want to kill that. There we go. Kill the guy that summoned it. If I could find the guy. Oh, then they got... Wait. I oh, remember the... Uh... Oh, the commencement of buff or apostles. Um, wait, those are the dudes you had to fight, right? Actually, I do remember there being some slight changes to those dudes to do with uh, some of the spells they could get or something. But they'd be buffed as... I'm not sure if that's like a bad thing or a good thing, because you have to fight them. They can sometimes be pretty impossible to fight. But also, once you do fight them, they join your side, right? So... I'm not sure if that's a buff or like a nerf. As it turns out. Oh well. I remember the Bjorg being pretty uh, decent in the Korean meta for a while, but then they got nerfed. There was a Korean player pleading their case to please not nerf Bjorg, but it got to have it anyway. I don't know if I uh, worshipped them after they got nerfed or before. Aww. I kind of worshipped them at like various stages. But it'd be interesting having, like, a Bjorg be a god that people actually wanted to take quite a bit of the time. Because I don't feel like they've had much play being a god that you had to play on orcs previously. Um, you know what, it's so overpowered that everyone takes it, but it'd be interesting to kind of shuffle up the god meta a little bit. Okay, I think I'm done exploring this area. It was a little bit hard to tell sometimes. Do I have a trove? Or am I have a trove? But hopefully it's like an artifact armor trove with all the auxiliary armor. Are there auxiliary armor troves? The latest body armor. I mean, <laughs> either way I'll take it, but what I need is auxiliary armor. Otherwise I'm in trouble. What do you want, trove? Fast four fire dragon scales? I can probably do that. I've got... Okay, it's four shot armor. Uh... Sure. Sure, I'll give it a try. See what happens. Um. Oh, wallets with uh, with something with something extended. Wait, apparently they're meant to get more resist, but I'm not sure if that happened yet. Uh. There's one commit to not allow an apostle challenge before dungeon level six. That makes does that make sense? That's reasonably early. I wonder whether you'd be able to fight one well back then, but having it getting an orc that early would be kinda nice, I guess. Um Oh, the Korean meta is a lot different from the normal meta. But the Korean meta doesn't that do like extended half the time anyway. I feel like it is uh, quite a bit of different. Um I don't think I need these attraction. Oh wait, know what I should be doing is I should be dropping all of those things. Unfortunately, that's probably gonna take them off auto pick up. Um anyway, I need to go. Unfortunately I have to use the enchant armor on the dragon arm, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, it's plus two, plus three, plus four. Um, let's try to get it. Good. At least I enchant the right sort of armor. Uh, it's one of the mixed ones, isn't it? So we got some potions here, which is fine, I guess. Books. Okay. I don't know if there's anything. There was refrigeration there, which could be good. There's silence, anguish, toxic radiance. 
Polar Vortex Freeze. I might better get a fridge, let's see. That's not how you spell refrigerate. Um Lab percent, yeah, let's get it. Alright. I got two of my chart numbers back. That's not too bad. Uh, what else have we got? So, Reflection, Magic Regen, Spirit Guardian. That's a shame. We don't really need the Amulets here. Um, sure, it was reasonably cheap to get it. It did give Auxiliary Armor, so I'm disappointed. I would have loved some Auxiliary Armor there, but anyway. Sure, those can be dropped. What else did I get? Oh, no. All my things are off auto pickup now, aren't they? So, I need to do. Uh, switch the potions and the scrolls around. There we go. That should put most of these things back in order to pick up. Because I got the like take things off order to pick up, and they um, I dropped them. What I carry two more things that and shot weapon. Hmm, I don't know. That was whatever. Just the body, I guess. Oh, Sally's an extended right now on this run, trying to make it through, hopefully finding some artifacts. Oh, I definitely hope Sally gets all the artifacts. Oh, you're not playing right now, but you are an extended, right? You're still uh, showing up on the results for the command. I mean, I guess that's, uh, that's slightly out of date sometimes, though, right? A lot of the commands are... Oh, what? Oh, I guess this can't... Oh, it can't damage this guy, can it? No can. Then why was they letting me cast? Without me having to specifically do like a capital Z to cast it. I don't understand. Sometimes. I don't need a rapier right? No, I don't think I need that. It was like minus N, so it's not right for this character either. How good am I a refrigerator? Lemons and failure. I better get that better. Um... These dudes are like perfect for some refrigeration. Oh, it was me about trying to refrigerate my modder. Not that my modder really cares that much. Um. Uh. Oh, the recent milestone you just saw 15 minutes ago? I guess is that how it tracks like. Who is playing? It's based on like milestones and stuff. I guess it would be. Uh, what do I want to do here? That will give me a way that I could just permafrost eruption it. Uh, don't end up too close to me. I think that guy's sort of keeping away from me. Oh no, not another one of these dudes. I, I barely dealt with the last one. I really struggle against those thermic dynamos. I mean, I guess they're not too bad. They just don't take a lot of damage when I hit them with things. Uh, I don't see a certain one, so that's because I haven't stepped into view yet. They were about to step into view. That can be slightly annoying warning me about not seeing any susceptible things, but I guess... Does that actually make sense for the fire monitor, to, the hellfire monitor to warn you about not being able to see things? Because you can use it to like peek through walls and everything. It's got like a lot of uses outside of just shooting it at an enemy. I don't know. Maybe it makes sense to warn. I'm just not sure it does make any sense at all. Uh, it's no reason for me to do a haul of blades, right? I think I just gotta go down, I think. What? Oh, you're trying to see what artifacts Sally is missing? Yeah, I'm curious as well what uh, the artifacts are missing there. It's gotta be the one of the... Wait, did someone say they had all the artifacts? Wait, wasn't that Sally that had all the artifacts? But was uh, doing standard for fun or something? That's like wrong. Uh... Oh, you're doing standard because you have the orange crystal plate armor. That's right. That was the reason why it was a good idea to do standard because you've got some really fun armor. That's right. Um... Oh, 
oh, I gotta get away from this guy. There we go. I mean, it would blink away from me eventually on its own, but I, I don't think it would be the first one to blink away there. Well, uh, it could take a few turns. In fact, it could try some crystal spears before I decide to blink away and everything like that. Uh, that's probably the only way to center, so I might just go explore some more of the outside area here before I go and... Oh, yeah, no creatures, anyway. Uh, what? I'll exclude. Explore. Right, lava, I see. <laughs> I mean, it didn't turn out I didn't need to exclude it after all, because my... <laughs> my little dude, uh, my lava dude, uh, Hellfire, did the trick. Oh, I ah, actually step back into a cannon. Um, quite what I meant to do. I can actually bring out my own cannons. I've been using them for a little while. You know what? Sure. Cannons versus cannons. That does make it really hard for me to target my spells when there's all these cannons around, though. Um, oh, whoops. Should have done that. I can accidentally hit the cannons and stuff. Uh, I might need to get out of here soon. I mean, this is fine so far. Back up and let's call it just a little bit. There we go. I was still getting explore. There must still be more lava in here. Man, it makes sense. It's a good spot to throw the cannon down. Oh, well, mortar down, I guess. What's the difference between a mortar and a cannon? I'm not entirely sure on that. Um... I was super satisfied with, uh, when you get to cast serious spells on it. It's happened to me once. And it's even more like uh, likely you can actually do that as a dwarf, right? Cast serious spells in crystal plate armor because they're reduced armor penalty. So it's definitely the right character to be running around casting spells in crystal plate armor. I wouldn't mind some orange crystal plate armor if this game wants to give some to me. But if it doesn't, I'm fine with that too. Dude's just gonna stand back and shoot me, isn't it? I think I'll just a little bit closer so they can hit it with the power frost. Should be careful with bringing out those cannons there because I don't want to block the um the retreat. That's fine. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to hit that guy with it, I think, because it was kind of next to me. It's, a, it's always a problem for this character. Ooh, that needs to be dealt with very quickly. Uh... Wait, I can just hold those guys in place with the... Like... Lava, that's pretty cool. And then just sit back and uh, do whatever. I'm going to step back a little bit. It's following me, but I should be able to get a little bit of magic points. Alright, so got Worms Tooth, which is again just a weapon. It's not some auxiliary armor. Oh, Glaive, I mean, that's just a weapon as well. Two-handed, but I've got a two-handed weapon. Um, Alright, then. Oh, setting the cannons, I might just tree back. Oddly enough, uh, that was you, but on a mountain dwarf with no encumbrance, uh, redundant because a lot of the old mountain dwarfs. I know I've got Crystal Plate Army go before, I'm just trying to think of like what sort of character it was that I had it. I don't think it was a mountain dwarf. No, it wouldn't be, because I think that was uh, between mountain ex dwarves existing when I pl uh, played it. Now, it's probably just like some Ziggurat character used it for a while. In fact, I've definitely used it on a Ziggurat character, but I might have used it on another character as well. Just trying to think. Oh, mortar implies indirect fire, you think, which makes sense for the um cannon, I guess. I mean, it's kind of shooting directly at creatures, but it's also just kind of zooming across indirectly damaging stuff. 
So I'd be like, nah. I think I just referred to this guy. Because I, I don't want to blink like further and then have there be a whole bunch of creatures around or something. So god, uh, Mata is now no thanks. <laughs> Good luck getting to me now. <laughs> All that uh, lava in there. I love how I can just block doors ways of lava. It feels so good. All right. What do we got on the ground? Oh, there's no, no artifact or auxiliary arm and something here. Body to the weapon again. <laughs> okay. It's fine. I'm sure the armor exists. Somewhere out there. Uh... Oh, you got Crystal Plate Armor and Worm made from the same elf on Elf 3. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty kid and out elf. And I need some elves like that. Although, to be fair, that's a way. I mean, Crystal Plate Armor, uh, Orange Crystal Plate Armor would be useful, but not the slots I'd be looking for. Nor near that Locoborax. Uh. Oh, you just know that Elf is sat at the keyboard going, Damn, player so overpowered, ruined your great fun. Yeah, imagine, like, actually getting that as a, as a player. Like, uh. I mean, I guess Sally did, but, like... And then having, like, some just random person barge into the game, like, for this multiplayer to steal your stuff. Be so disappointing. A great sword. I don't really care about a two-handed weapon. Kite shield, fire resist? Um... Maybe. Mine's reflection, but, like... Not terrible. Check out the plate. It's plus zero plate of willpower. Nah. I got a digging here. Okay. Sure, I'll take a digging. What else have we got? Halberds. What's up with the weapons? Come on. I want something that's not a weapon. There's a weapon again. The stuff of earth ice. I mean, the stuff of earth ice is something, I guess. In fact, the stuff of earth ice is kind of perfect. <laughs> Given the spells I use, right? Like, I use the, uh, uh, where is it? The Power of Frost Rupture, which is Earth Ice, so I can't complain about that one. That was pretty amazing. I don't want minus 30 points chain armor. Okay. Yeah, this character is probably gonna have to do a ziggurat with this sort of luck. <laughs> um. Alright, well, I'm done with here at least. Oh, what made us funny for the challenge? Well, I guess I, I. Definitely enchant this thing to plus 18 using the Mount Dwarf special abilities. I mean, does this thing specifically a Randard or can you enchant any artifact? I think it has to be a Randard, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> but you technically enchant it up, even though it's not a Randard. That is kind of funny. The last time you saw an elf with something special was wearing the armor of Telos? Leave you going, damn it, I bug. Is that Vanilla's old bug or is it mine? <laughs> Wait, elves aren't meant to wear that armor. What does that armor do? I don't recognize it. A sling of fire and cold resist. Okay. Ring of dex, but it's uh, cold resist minus fire resist an AC. That's not you blink. Also, weapons. Endless weapons. Small weapons. Okay. What else have we got here? Uh, I want to check out that rig. Am I still wearing, like, the AC one? I'm not sure. Right, I gotta drop something. Drop is the stuff. Cold, the stuff cold doesn't get cold resist, unlike my current stuff. Just, uh, despite the hunting cold doesn't get resist to it. They got the willpower on. They got the, right, that one. Um, so I'd lose fire resist and I gain some AC and lose magic points again, Dex. I don't know. Nothing too special. Nah. Well, that sounds sick. It's this sounds excellent, Sally Roses, for what I'm trying to do anyway. I definitely like it. Oh, it's a very old unread, a high plus plate that's ogre sized. Oh, ogre plate mail. Nice. I guess that makes sense why it just makes sense for an elf to wear it. Huh. It only fits ogre. Okay. Uh...
What do I want to do? Go to the depths, I guess? If it's Ogre Side controls also wear it, or is it just like specifically only fits Ogres? Because that would be kind of interesting. What's the power of this? This feels really good. It's. 67%, which is bound by other spells at least. Alright. I can't even fly. I gotta walk around the long way. <laughs> like a normal person. Hey, it's Saint Roka. I don't think Saint Roka's gonna last too long, but there is Mara, so I'm gonna have to channel magic. I don't think Mara will last too long either, but. Both of them is going to require me to channel magic, right? There's no way I can just take out both of them. Stats after the three days you're taking, there's 11 winners so far. Ah, uh, yeah, that doesn't sound too bad. How many people have played? 100 players. Perfectly 100 players according to the stats. And a helmet, not a helmet. Don't give me a helmet. I could have had it anyway. Got a crowd, but hey, it counts. Got a spear, got some armor. Don't care about the buckler of harm. That's a shame. Although, if I wanted to, like, actually do a shield, which, you know, I might want to actually do a shield. It's probably ridiculously expensive as it goes. Like, uh, I might not be able to afford that. Actually, let's go check if there's an artifact shield around. Nah. It's just, I wouldn't mind, like, doing an actual artifact shield so I can add with as many artifacts as possible, even if I don't technically have to. Um, uh, this might refrigerate. All right, now it's just this dude, which should die to the water, I think. Good luck following now with that lava. I mean, I guess the fire dragon would follow a bit better than some of the other guys. And they can just swim over, well, not swim, fly over the lava. I mean, I guess, would a fire dragon be able to swim in lava, or is that too hot for even a fire dragon? It's probably too hot for even a fire dragon, because I think they're already double resistant or something. A fire's electric charge? That was an improved spell. Uh, the mortar is though, and I've definitely cast that enough. The one I got, I cast more of the max spells. Um, final max spells, this dude. Actually, I should just mortar this dude. I could have survived me bud very well. Okay. I'm gonna pull this guy around. Okay, and then I can maximize this guy as well. It seems so silly, but I've only got to do it 10 times, and I've probably got pretty close by now. Alright. Oh, wait, they actually they had a way around. They found out all the not just get trapped behind that lava forever. I guess that makes sense. Uh, this spell for Hellfire Modifier is really good. I wasn't expecting it to feel quite as good, but no, it does feel great. Oh, we did 86 players last week after seven days, and now we have 100 by the end of day three. Yeah, actually, could get, certainly could get some more by the end as well. Well, that's nice. But I think, like, I feel like Mountain Dwarves would be fairly popular, right? Like, Mountain, Mountain Dwarves are definitely a great race. Um, and if you're not going for full stars, there aren't actually a huge amount of restrictions on this challenge. Brilliance? There's Foul Flavored and Umbra. It's not, there's nowhere near what my thing does for me in terms of my spellcasting, so I'm just going to leave it on the ground, I think. Am I getting armor or something? I am, too, because I noticed my armor class went up a little bit. Wait, that's not the right one. And I technically do enhance the water because I got the fire, the deep, not the fire, earth enhancer. Um, can I finally afford the... I should actually go buy the scarf, shouldn't I? I know it's got Rampage, which is a little annoying, but it's got a little bit of int, and it's got some fire core resist. I think it's probably worth it to use that one. Let's just... Oh, I could drop something, don't I? Uh, old cloak, whatever. And it's an artifact, so... It's another artifact slot filled, which is nice. Um... What do I... I can't fill so many things, though. I gotta do boots. I gotta do... 
Wait. Wait, it's actually less loss than I needed, uh, thought, because the shield, oh, I got the gloves. Boots and gloves, is that it? Um, it might be. Should not keep that shield. Yeah, I think it, I think that's it. But it's still no, like, guarantee that I'll find those. Could easily go the entire game without, um... Do the cost they round to the water, didn't they? Uh, I'll try to refrigerate them because I don't really have much else that can actually affect them. I guess actually they were far enough away I could have dropped some. Uh, I could have just pumped from them like everyone else, I suppose. With that sort of distance. Oh, this guy needs to be a little bit closer or shapeshift. That's when elephants is better, I think. Oh, you saw week three now? The RG did just, uh, just had you a uh, Mountain Dwarf Elemental, so do you think a Mountain Dwarf fighter might be a bit more straightforward? Yeah, Mountain, oh yeah, because the Mountain Dwarf Elemental, they're not good with air magic, right? So you probably have to pivot into just, like, whatever you can find with, uh, other spells, maybe. What's up with that scroll? Um... Probably an acquirement. It's off auto pickup because I messed up my auto pickup when I, uh... Went to the trove. Because I'm trying out the option to like uh take things off auto pick up when I drop them, but it really messes up every time I go into trove, which is honestly not that often, but I don't know how worthwhile it is as an option. I might just have to take it off. It's really good when it does work, because it means I don't know. What's challenge of magic? There's too many guys can be along. He's you know, often don't have to worry about taking things off auto pick up or anything that just happened. Um <laughs> that, that that troll's not gonna have a pleasant time. I love how I can just put out the water and it's like goodbye trap. <laughs> well, temporarily goodbye trap, which is definitely great. When there's like an alarm trap, something you don't want to get set off. Oh, give me some magic points, I guess. I don't even know what spells I'm trying to get off Sif Mata. Probably some Ziggurat ones at this point. Um, which would be, what is the Ziggurat spell? I mean, uh, Ignition? I think that there's somewhere that's selling that. I don't know what else I need to get. This is not the right sort of shop. It's got maximum stomach energy, which is nice, but not what I'm after, unfortunately. It's uh, just another weapon, which I have plenty of. Wait, can these dudes get out of here? This is like a part of a Zach dude and we're an angry human. Someone's been experimenting on these people. A mal mutated one, a blind one. Sure, and all the dead ones. Guess what they, that's what they get for messing with potions of mutation. Apparently, just permanently berserk. Imagine if you could get a mutation that said you permanently berserk. Like, would that be really, really bad, or would that be okay? It would really be really bad on the spellcast, so. Let me go... Uh... I feel like a Mountain Dwarf Fighter Rogue Warrior might be catching people who never did the... Oh, never did the tournament. Right, right. No, that's probably true, actually. No, that's a really good point. No, I feel like a Mountain Dwarf... Yeah, Mountain Dwarf Rogue Warrior is totally just something that people would play. <laughs> a Mountain Dwarf Fighter Rogue Warrior. Uh, I think... I retreat. Blow that one up. There we go. I wish you got a good fire just now. What am I missing? Like, resist poison. Sure. Oh, brr, I got myself marked. I could have avoided that. I could probably be putting a uh, mortar over the top of the trap, but I did not. So I was going to have to go down another staircase, which is no big deal. Uh, I want to bring this guy upstairs for the sole purpose of heading in with a 
Fuck. <laughs> um, what's it called? Uh, pile driver of Nova. I'm gonna actually quickly check. Can I just dump my character file? I'm gonna check like how many times I cast that pile driver because I might be done with it. Um. Uh, I would check. Shouldn't it have? Ah, I'll probably just scroll down here. No. Well, I thought abilities had how many times you'd use them. Is that summed or something else here? What's it under? Oh, it's uh, just got it cut off. Cut it perfectly ten times. Good. Okay, that's all I had to do, right? I'm pretty sure. So it says, uh, cast... No, at least two of the following spells. Mortar, pile driver. Um, I cast him at least ten times. Good. So I've done that. Was I going down the staircase? Or was this a staircase of trap? I think I was going down this one. <laughs> Another hand, see invisible. I've got tons of see invisible. Man, doesn't my character block give see invisible? It does too. It also gives a couple of intelligence. So it's just clearly better. Uh, air freeze those guys, refrigerate these guys, mortar again. I think I got a refrigerate near my mortar, unfortunately, but okay, good. Blow them up. Does it shoot like every single creature? Because I've noticed like a lot of times it's not just shooting one dude, it's shooting like multiple dudes. I feel like it does, it's really nice. <laughs> Uh, hey, okay. I refrigerate these guys, of course. Yeah, for refrigerating Spriggans always works really well. In fact, I got lots of things that work well in Spriggans. They do get up to you fast, which is why the power frost eruption doesn't always work perfectly. I'll take quick blades here. <laughs> it makes sense, all the Spriggans. Did I pick up something? I picked up Haunt. Mm. That was okay. I can blow these guys up with ice. I don't think it makes sense to try and mortar some guys that are literally made out of fire. I know it does, like, probably some physical damage or something, but it doesn't seem to make the most sense. Unlike mortaring this guy, who's made of... Well, it's not made of ice. It's just a giant that's freezing, but still not resistant to the fire, I don't believe. Uh, I don't like the look of that. Like, there's this guy that could crystal spear me. I could maybe make it through if this was a good book, which is not. So, no need to look at that. Oh, you can't change weapons or armor while berserk. So, you'd want to get permanent berserk quite late? True. That would make things really difficult, wouldn't it? I feel like permanent berserk would just be, like, really bad. Like, even despite the fact you don't have to worry about it wearing off. And I don't know. You can't do like throwing or anything, so you kind of run out of range attacks if you're a pump of Zerk as well. Um, I mean, I guess you'd move a lot faster, and if you're a pump of Zerk, you wouldn't have to worry about it like wearing off when you moved, so I guess that's something. Oh, ice is 20? What do I want? I get a bit more fire magic. I don't have ignition yet. I think I saw like a book somewhere with ignition in it. Um, ever burning encyclopedia, that would be the one. Yeah, it's definitely not the book of blood. Okay. I'm sure these guys, that looks fine. I got like all the resists I need. Yep, no problems. Oh, Puma, Zack, and Meat Sprint would be fine. If you're allowed to worship Matt Clem and pick up the axe first. Oh, because you'd have to equip the axe, right. Although, if it was Purple Berserk, as soon as you started worshipping Matt Clem, that could be interesting. It meets Sprint. It wouldn't work with the... It would actually stop the genie strategy as well. That would be interesting. Um, we just, like, get a genie whopper and then go... 
head everyone of Mana Fall Assault while holding the axe. Are you gonna make it to level four, but that's like kill one dude, you're level four, right? Uh Kaiju of Protection just seems better than Reflection, I think, at this point. All right. Probably bound the fire resist too, because I think my fire resist is just fine right now. Unless I specifically need to get some more fire resist or something. Oh, hey, gold dragon. Uh, where's my poison resist instead of willpower pet? That's probably the right thing to be wearing in here in general, anyway. Uh, yeah, I mean, that just works. Just freeze them all. Don't, don't leave anyone behind. Just freeze them all. Ooh, shrikes. Um, I have a resist corrosion, right? In fact, well, look at those resists. Where did the resist negative come from? Where? Oh, my scarf of resistance. So one of those are looking so amazing. I just put on the poison resist, which is the one I was missing. Um... She freeze the strikes, right? Too many of them, though. I need some way to get away from these guys. I'm gonna do a teleport. I think that's probably fine. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they're just swarming me. They're not even in a corridor or anything where I can find them properly. Um... Oh. Okay. Mod is still active, but what now? Uh, one of them might move next to me, which is kind of a bit of a worry, but I don't know. I've got to have my mortar out there. What else? What have I got that I can actually damage these guys with? I mean, the. Uh, I probably don't have much skill with the condenser van. I don't know if the lightning rod would do that much. Maybe try to zap them with a bit of light. Okay, some of them are blind, just not the one next to me. Um, got that one mirrored. I might zap them with just a little bit more light. Um, yeah, maybe a little bit more light. Oh, you can corrode a caustic strike? What? Okay. Apparently, apparently they corrode up just fine. Sure. You would have thought of them being like all about corrosion themselves. They might have a bit of resist, but I guess not. Um, I'll try and freeze it, but they like really packed together, which is... Oh, wait, don't get my own one. Actually, I think I'll just stick with the one to light. It's doing the trick. Honestly. Yeah, I mean, if it works, there's no point in changing up what I'm doing, I guess. Uh, well, I might freeze the last one, though. Oh, shops, so... No, oh, it's not, a, not an armor shop. There's one game where I might want an armor shop. Wait, is that minus cover resist, minus fire resist? It's nine into wizardry and poison resist. <laughs> Technically, I could take a minus fire cover resist and still have one left. Um... For nine into the wizardry? I mean, if I was really trying to get spells castable, maybe? What is this? Fire resist, willpower... Couple of the minus decks. I want to do it right now. I did a little bit of trouble with willpower, but... Wait, how have I read every single one of those books? Sif Mata, I guess. Now I've got a few gifts, but that's still kind of crazy. <laughs> uh... Oh, you can totally can corrode a caustic strike. It's very satisfying, like draining magic points for a ghost moth. See how you like it? Yeah, man. No, I don't think they were very happy with being corroded. Although I actually corroded by like mimicking them up, right? With the phantom or whatever it was. Um, it's really weird. It's showing like unexplored. I think I might have hell fire mortared through the middle of one of those areas. All right. 
So I've got to choose a third route, don't I? I don't think I got a death ties, but do I? All right. Um. My spells are kind of noisy. Do I do vaults five? I reckon I do both vault sides and slime. Unless I get really lucky and I find lots of artifacts in one of them. It's definitely both. So I gotta read a teleport. I gotta also read a brilliance, which I got like 16 of, so I shouldn't run too low on magic. Uh oh, do a little bit of refrigerate, but I'm just gonna teleport out anyway. There we go, that gets me into a bit of a better spot. That's some lava to hide behind. I maybe should put on some willpower. I probably don't need the poison resistance here. Hold up. Did I bring a willpower? I did bring a willpower. Good. I do have like one cancellation, maybe. I don't think I got a lot. All right. Oh. I think I want to go down into the corner of the map because I do know where that is just because I know where like the center is so it kind of gives away the map a lot. Um, Ring of Corrosus resist corrosion and seven intelligence. Seven intelligence is probably better than five magic points. I can probably put that one on. Because magic points are just things I can channel in, whereas intelligence helps with my spell power, which will also reduce, like, how much, uh, magic points I'm using. So this guy's gonna... Demon Tron Distortion plus zero shield. Mm -hmm. Well, shame for it that I can't get... Oh, it can't get next to me now. <laughs> there was a little while I couldn't, uh... Oh man, so many of these little libraries everywhere. Uh, channel some more magic, because yeah, there's more guys, of course. Of course there is. Uh, I wonder what chance that guy's got of marking me. Let me just go, uh, I guess I'll just blow it up. Probably doesn't matter what the chance is exactly. As long as it's dead. Oh, there's more of these guys, of course, because they've all helped, heard me casting spells in here. Uh, oh, whoops, I might be out of magic points, and I might have accidentally moved, but I did not mean to, but that's probably going to kill this guy anyway. A plasma beam? I haven't used plasma beam in a little while, because I haven't done really any damage, it's what I end up usually using it on, I think. Oh, just, just, just go put a drug, I gotta try a death drug character then, I guess. So week five will be Zack of Death. Cause there's wait, there's Which weeks do we have left? We've got like Zack? We've got Oh, there was another one you mentioned. I can't remember what it was. Oh, Blockula as well. Um Who else is there to go? There was another one as well, right? I should know. Those are the ones that I can think of off the top of my head that have been changed or added. Exacts and you unique. Oh, the boots are not artifacts. Cause the boots are not artifacts. There's a decent number of artifacts sometimes in here. I do we have a thing to identify. Requirement is that last? Yeah, it's last thing to identify. All right. Well, I can uh, hopefully get an artifact of it. Come on, come on, come on. No, it's a scarf. I got one of those. So it's harm called the slaying, stuff of air, the book of confusing touch, fabric drinks, slow those aren't even that good. I'll get the money. Because I'm actually like somewhat short of money, I guess. 
could help me buy like an artifact shield just so I can end uh, with a fancy shield, if nothing else. But yeah, still boots and gloves, I do believe I've got to go. Uh, yeah. Oh, then there's a crazy tiebreaker week with insane conducts and bonuses for those who have 250 points of 10 stars. <laughs> Which I guess is like max points and stars, which... What how many people have that by the end? It's got to be a decent number, right? Basically, someone that hasn't missed any of the weeks at all would, uh... Yeah, would have that, I guess. Uh... Of course, I can't just kill these with the refrigerate. Oh, I'm trying to refrigerate them. That seems a little silly. This guy's gonna bring everyone back to life. That's what they do. Um, all right, there we go. That was a lich. The channels of magic. All right, lich. So I could do that. Whoops. Ah. I don't do that quite optimally, but it's fine. I, I just did a cast of my uh, Permafrost Rupture, but it wasn't in range. Do I just want more fire? I just want more fire. Um, I like 26 fire. I still haven't decided what title I want to go for, because I can go for pretty much anything. Um, except I can't go for a Sith Martyr title, because I've had that. How many Dwarven titles left? There's gotta be some Dwarven titles left. Uh, MD, right? For Mountain Dwarf. If I had the shield one, that might make it easy. I've had... Ring of Blasphemy, whatever. That was probably your deal, though. Balsas I was throwing. I've had shield. And a Quasal one. Another Quasal one. Mary says ranged. Rich, I think, is uh, Gozag. Shapeless, which is Talisman. A unifier. Uh, so there's probably there's still a few skills left there. Like, uh, actually, what is left there? Because I've already had the top tier ranged one. Shields one. <laughs> there's not a whole lot left, to be perfectly honest. Um, do Mountain Dwarves then get, like, any very special titles on the very special titles list? Or I might just have to not worry about a title here. That's fine. I'll just quickly check. Um, there any MDs in here? Lots of MEs! Well, the old Meteorans that don't exist anymore? No, it don't look like it. Okay, sure, whatever. I don't think I'm gonna worry about a title. I mean, I don't with a lot. I don't think I've worried about it for any of these challenge runs. I like, like I've checked before, and it'll be like, nah, I don't think I can. I might go on the tier map though. I'm not sure. Um. Well, there's a uh, four who haven't submitted yet this week at a hundred points and four stars so far. Right. So I guess I'd be one of those ones, right? They can submit, and then to be another three. So it sounds like. Could potentially get a lot. I don't really care about robes, honestly. I want something heavy. I've already got. I got like plate armor. I think you just get a little bit of it, but it's not bad. Okay, shapeshifter, sure. I don't really want to bring these guys behind the alarm trap, but that's fine. That's what the Hellfire mod is for. Oh, there's something here. No, oh, well, it's not, it's not a not a boots or a gloves. Unless it's the boots or a gloves, I don't think you're going to get too excited for an artifact anymore, unfortunately. Uh...
Where are these guys back? Oh. I might get this guy to move back for me. Oh, I guess I just channel magic. I'll move back anyway. Never mind. I probably could have run away, but uh, it doesn't really matter. A bit of channel magic's harmless. Um. Oh, large tag of order. What of light? Okay, that's fine. It's a dispersal something. They get a dispersal dot or something, which is probably a bit more worried than the other things it's wielding. You just go check on that. Uh, yeah, it was a dot of dispersal. They could have theory hit me with, but it chose not to for whatever reason. Also, potentially nine with perfect scores by this end of the week. That's kind of the upper limit on. So, there, wait, there's five at the moment. It can potentially go up to up, uh, up to nine by the end of the week. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's maybe whittled down a little bit from the first week, but it's probably the same people that often get like the really high scores in a lot of the games anyway. I mean, there's a bit of luck to it. So, sometimes if someone backs out on. First week, they wouldn't necessarily make sales next week. Well, and I mean, it's not exactly like you can just try again. <laughs> uh, I guess kind of the best sort of luck. What is that? It's a ring of fire this wizardry. I mean, I'll drop that to the old ring. I guess this is alright. I can pick it up. Fire this wizardry. What am I wearing? Willpower. There was... Did I have a resist corrosion one that was just, like, better? I saw, I'm sure I saw a dude with a resist... Uh, not that. There. That one. Left on the floor, apparently. But yeah, I mean, it's intelligence instead of uh, magic points, which at this point in the game is definitely better. Um, swap that one out. I still look fine. Still no poison resist on my main set of rings or anything, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, I should have lost the power now. The power frost rush is 80%. The hellfire one is uh, 68%. So yeah, definitely some improvements. Yeah, good old fog. Oh. I guess it's there with the body. You could choose, choose a path that's not like uh, the longest path. If for some reason you wanted it not to last too many turns, like if you wanted to be able to reuse it nice and quick or something, but I don't think that would happen very often that you'd ever want to do that. Um... Ooh, that's my rune, my third rune. No uh, like limit on how many runes you have to have or maximum number of runes or, or minimum number of runes. Stuff of fire, fire resist, willpower. No, I think my ice earth is currently really better. Uh, fire would help the Hellfire Mortar, but it wouldn't help much else that I'm doing right now. Like, maybe later on that stuff will be good. I don't know. Good old liches. Uh, I gotta start the Hellfire Mortar again, don't I? Try to trap them in there just a little bit with my Hellfire Mortar. I should back up, I think, because I don't think anything can follow me. I mean, this dude did, I guess. Um...
Hopefully I find death talisman here, but if I don't, it's probably fine. You can usually do your first ziggurat or whatever without one. Uh, this character is like mildly ziggurat orientated, not perfectly ziggurat orientated. They... I mean, they weren't using heavy armor, which is why you end up with the ziggurats in the end, but... Uh... Wait, why did it step there? I mean, that works for me, I guess. What they need to make the better is in... Well, I can probably actually get the ignition. I've got enough... Uh, skill in fire magic and imagined. I think it was just a book for for sale as well. All right, what have we got here? Not much. No artifact armor. Of course not. That's almost look like there might be some loot in here though, even if it's not the not the artifact armor I'm looking for. Uh alright. God. Oh, ignition. Well speaking of ignition, I can just get it the easy way from Sif Mana. It's two percent failure, so that's kinda nice if I'm going into a ziggurat. The other spell I wanted is Ziggurat is Shatter, which Oh. Oh, 41% failure. Well, I could probably amnesia just something. Let's see. Like the, the I don't know. Do no, I don't. I don't use a hailstorm. Is that enough? No, I need a couple more levels. Uh, keep the permafrost. Do I have to have the pile drive? I have to have it right at the end of the game. I'm gonna have something along that line. I don't know if I use the cannons much. I might just get rid of the cannons. They feel a little disappointing, to be honest. They're not as good as the hellfire bonus, that's for sure. I mean, they're a lower level, but they did feel kind of disappointing. All right. Well, um. What was I getting? Shatter. It wasn't like 100% raw. It was like 47% failure, but still. It wouldn't be too hard to get it going. In fact, it's probably, probably my next spell to get going, which means I'm actually pretty ziggurat ready. Not that I've done a ziggurat since like the last tournament. Um, <laughs> what was the 0.31 tournament? Something like that. My last ziggurat. <laughs> I did way too many of them, but they've been changed since then, the scaling apparently, so we'll see how much of a difference that makes. It probably does make a huge difference in the first cigarette. Okay, got some barding. Well, I don't need to wear barding, so that's not going to help me. Uh... Oh, it's nice to see Aragonazla back in DCSS land, incidentally. Yeah, I noticed he'd done, like, a number of the challenge runs. I think he didn't he get perfect score on... Was it lots of them? Some of them? At least some of them. I'm not... I haven't been keeping up with all the scores. I think he got perfect score on at least one of them. Oh, what have we got here? Robes. Oh, robes, okay. Oh, there's a dragon. Yeah, before I did this challenge, I predicted the auxiliary armor that I'd struggled with. I've actually done reasonably well the auxiliary armor. It's just uh, boots and gloves, of course, uh, being hard to get. I'm really surprised I've got like, multiple artifact helmets, so um, what's getting this? Ah, uh, my auto pickup's not right, so I just left it. Okay, I see how that is. Uh... Anyway, I probably will pick them up now that I've got it. Uh, where do I want to go? I want to go to... Actually, I want to fix that. Do 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 auto pick up on potion uh berserk's off it's good. My stuff like it should be resistance. There we go. Slime pits, that's where I've gotta go next, right? I've got plenty of mutation at least. Hey, it's uh Tech Man, how's it going? I'm up to a challenge run here. So far it hasn't been too bad. I'm still alive. Oh, that's not what I wanna see. I think I just take these dudes upstairs. Yeah, I can just refrigerate them or whatever. I got plenty of things I can do. I don't have a lot to have like a firestorm, do I? I probably couldn't cast it. I do. It's 100 percent failure, right? They got no uh conjuration. I have to go down here, don't I? Or can I just find I can't find another piece, can I? I didn't really like the look of that staircase. Let me just examine it again, see if it's worth throwing a dig or something. 
I think it's worth trying to dig, actually. Uh, but which direction? I might just revel to the dig. Yeah. Already three digging. Ooh. Whew. Not ideal. Also, that doesn't... Oh, all the three seconds are in the same spot. But it's a slight move. I'm not sure it was worthwhile. Okay, there's a lot of dudes here. Uh, What's the wing left challenge players a Mountain Dwarf fighter or be a Sif or uh, Okawaru? And there's a few other things you gotta do. I can, t I can take a look at it again. So... I mean, you've got to, you've got to get uh, a couple of these spells. Hellfire, Mortar, Portable Pile Drive, Gels, Gravat, Rye Blight, and Force and Fuse the Lard. What else do you do? How to do it? Charge a red art, red art artifact weapon, but apparently it, uh, or oh, red art weapon. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. But apparently it counts if you find it pre enchanted. You just got to get a plus nine. You got to either charge your body armor or a shield. Red art as well. Wear a hat. I've got a hat. What else I got to do? I'm going to get a full set of artifact gear. That's the hard part. Yes, that's the one I'm kind of working on right now. I don't like the look at this, but I think I just... I think I can get up, but I'm not 100% sure. Because sometimes I can, you can get grabbed. Uh... <laughs> Oh, that didn't go as far as I thought. I think it hit the edge of the map or something. All right. I just got to go between my two staircases, but it's not not a great entrance in here. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, I think a lot of people like accidentally starting the right thing for the challenge as well. Because uh, you can see lots of people just play like Mountain Dwarfs anyway, like Mountain Dwarf Fighters of Oakwire anyway. They just don't do the challenge run specific things. Uh, I wish that shadow was a little bit easier. I'm gonna divide exegesis myself a shadow. Yeah, that's better. Dude's like draining my magic points and everything. Um, <laughs> sure. Yep, that's not right. Map view instead of bringing out this dude, which... Oh, it just fires and fire at these guys. Okay. Well, I finally made it down to the second level, but that was a bit of a challenge with all those staircase being in the same spot and everything. Uh... <laughs> what do I do? I guess I just refrigerate these guys. And get out another mortar. Oh, they're definitely dying. I'm just not sure what the most efficient way is of taking them out. Oh, so many different elemental spells. Yeah, this character's got quite a few. They used to also have the cannon aid one, but I didn't really like it, so... I didn't really keep the casting it. Got Fire, Earth, Ice, Nagro. Wait, what do I have? All those little new ones. I've got this character's got Earth with the shadow they can sometimes do. They got Ice. I guess it's Ice Earth. They got also Earth. Fire Earth. Fire Ice just on their own. I mean, it's kind of a theme going with my spells, but I need a sort of loose theme. Uh, I think I hit a creature there. It's kind of funny. Kind of shadow magic because I really don't want to get my staircase clogged up. Otherwise, I probably would. Um, what's good against this guy? I mean, apart from shadow, which I can't really cast reliably, what am I getting? A fire. Why stop the fire? Should be getting the earth. <sighs> eh, I'll just blink back and then just head it with some ice. I think that's probably better than my other options for taking it out. All right, so one more level. There should be a royal jelly on this level. I'm not sure what the plan is with the royal jelly exactly. I might be able to, like, emulate it or something. Or... Hold up. These walls aren't, like, diggable, right? Good. Just double check. I mean, I guess it makes sense that they wouldn't be diggable. It makes sense that the... Um... 
mortar could get through non-diggable walls, otherwise that would be kind of busted. What's... Oh, no don't capitals that there. It doesn't make any sense. Like, you can cast anyway, so... No reason to capitalize it. <laughs> Uh, why am I getting teleported here? All right. Refrigerate these dudes because they're spread out. They're not like next to each other taking cover or nothing. So we've got, I don't even know what that had. Jail's Gravon to spell. So Jail's Gravon is a, that's an allowed spell, right? Well, the Wiglav approved spells, I think. I mean, you're technically not any spell, it's just certain ones that uh, like, count towards one of the stars. Which, I actually, I've already got that star, so I don't actually care. Um, <laughs> I gotta kill this dude as fast as possible. There we go. Just dump some ice on his head. Mm. Fridge raid, then there we go. Dump some ice on his head. Oops, ah. I think I was out of magic points then when I tried to move. Well, I tried to cast, but I ended up moving. Ooh, royal jelly. Okay. So I'm like mirroring it up. Get out my cannon. It's not the MLH. Can I freeze these guys to cause them to burn? I think so. There's not that good when they're next to each other. Alright. These guys are immune to fire. I don't think I can throw in an emulation, right? Oh, they're not immune. They're very resistant. I think I divide the exegeus to shatter to clean this up. There we go. That massively cleaned that up. Huh? What am I doing? Personally, we're key, apparently, because it's not as bad as I thought. Um... Oh, it's funny, using Gravon to pull enemies there, tentacle. Oh, I haven't tried that before. I haven't even thought of that as an idea. No, it sounds like it could be a fun spell. I'm not sure if I'll get it. I wonder how useful it would be in a uh, Ziggurat. I kind of got a Ziggurat coming up, but that's about it. Oh, Glaive the Prune, sure. I don't think I saw any, like, boots in any of these, did I? Oh, gloves. I'll take either. Artifact, of course. Because I'm fancy like that, being Wigglaf. You only do artifacts around here. We don't care about the helmets. I'll see what it is anyway. It's a plus zero helmet. Nah. A random corrode of a couple of decks. I've definitely seen better helmets than even hats than that. Uh, oh, whoops. Of course that guy was out of range. I didn't target it properly. What have we got? Long sword I don't care about. Is that a dream shard necklace? I don't know. What am I wearing? I'm wearing a fire resist resist electric magic region one, which is actually not the worst thing ever. Um of that old resist corrosion rig. Oh the spirit guardian fire resist. No. I don't know about Dream Town. It's alright in a ziggurat. It gives you an extra turn after you would have died. Again, it's just weapons, more weapons, slings. I mean, it's a rune, of course, which I should probably get. I could be good for running to the stairs. Because it's got like the, um, whatever it is on it as well, the acrobat. Not seeing anything good here. Let's take another look through the list. These are uh, just weapons. No, let's get out of here. Alright. How about mutations? They survived, didn't they? So I should go to... I got four runes. So I just had the Zarch. That's a shatter. 20-something percent failure. 28%. percent go to the Zarch. Uh, God, I've obviously had the poison resistant here. Do I have a better one? I love a better one right now. I don't think I do. Because it'd be nice to put on like the fire this wizardry or something. Because the wizardry makes shadow usable. Um, 
Be kind of nice. Uh, can't imagine because I don't really know where I am on the slum. I just got randomly shoved into this corner here. I can ice draconia, but I still freeze it to death. I could magic map these levels if I want to. Should I? I mean, do I even need like magic mapping at this point? Oh. Um. Because, I mean, it could be good if I did extended. But I'm just kind of planning to go straight to a ziggurat. And hopefully that's not the wrong thing. I got the Dream Shard and Slime 5 too. It's hard not to use with Sif Mana giving you all the demand details and stuff. Uh... When, I mean, do I even have, like, uh, Death of Thor right now? I don't know if I do. Kind of missing that one, aren't I? But that was always a really nice spell to, like, divide X with Jesus in. Would it be terrible if I shattered these dudes? I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Maybe not the smartest plan ever. But hey, at least now I can see the entrance. Um, oh god, rid of all my magic. Of course it did. Okay. Uh... So let's do it next to me. I could just do a... Uh... That way, I guess. Uh, more to that way, but there wasn't really many directions for that model to be thrown in. It was, yeah, looking a little dire. Uh, I guess I'll just keep it freezing, although actually... I'm not entirely sure... <laughs> I don't care about the scroll noise. That's not going to help me out doing a... Uh... Oh, hey, overfire. It's not going to help me out doing a ziggurat. So I can definitely hit it with the uh, permafrost eruption until it gets next to me. And then things get a bit more difficult. I might be able to refrigerate it, but it's still not the best. Feel weaker. Oh, can I just the magic subdued? What are you doing to me, overfire? Spells are less powerful. I don't want that. Mm. Might try and reset these, but I could run into problems with the mutage bones. I actually got 16. That's not bad. So spells are weaker. My armor fits poorly. No, I don't think so. Uh, minus potions by clarity of mind. Um, I might reset it. Hopefully this gets better. Body something deteriorates. Fire does two AC large cloven feet. Still wear boots, so like that's fine. Fact, that's probably good overall, I think. Uh not all these Death gobs trying to get me. Alright. Hey, Josephine, I got resist negative, I got resist cold. Oh, uh, she's probably got, like, some resist cold as well, though. What can I dump on her? Can I just throw, her, like, a mortar at her? I can't really do much apart from, like, the ice spells, but hey, at least I've got a mortar hitting her and doing some bonus damage. Uh-oh. There's a toe. I think I better retreat. Toes are slow, so it should fall behind as well, which is nice. Um, I 
be kind of nice to be able to fly it so that I could like go after my Hellfire Mortar, but I don't know if anything's really offered the ability to do that so in a way that I would accept so far. Uh, no refrigerator's not going to work properly because it doesn't hurt this guy. I've been allowed to like lay to five. I've only got three though. Not many. Are they more for sale? I'm not sure there are. Uh no. Eh. Oh, I think I just lay to fire anyway, but it's gotta be a baby of a problem with uh ziggurat, because I was tend to need lignification, but it might supply me with a few. They don't tend to supply you that many. My heavy clothes barely changed. Alright, what do I want to do to this guy? Um, can't really drop the frost on it very effectively. Oh, there we go. I thought I had to clear out the mushrooms first. Are you going to deformed body by Captain because you also had robust? I mean, that's fair enough. If it comes to something positive enough, it could be worth keeping. Yeah, I don't know. It's a lot of AC. Really? Another room of fire? Okay. If you insist, game. Oh, we're the uncertain. That's a that's a straight up reset right there. Isn't it? Yeah, teleport nice monsters. Oh man. Alright, well, I still got it, so I gotta reset again. Uh still got it, okay. <laughs> do you not regenerate with monster invisible when I've got large cloven feet? Oh, I might do another reset, but I don't want to go through all my points of mutation. Large prop. Sharp fingernails or whatever, that's uh, fine. I think my gloves are still on. Not that they're not effect gloves yet anyway, so they don't really help me out right now. They don't count as my cap. On the sand and the crystal plate armor, though, to get the fond body, right? Because you lose like seven armor gloves or something, don't you? With the fond body and crystal plate armor. And it was a lot. Uh... Looks like an error just to keep it heading. There we go. The eruption. They all lined up perfectly for it. Also, I always did artifact scarf the one of like fire and cold resistance. Yeah, something I probably should keep on. Um. Uh. Turning into crocodile, they're gonna get out of here at some stage. But I guess I wasn't too much of a hurry. I could have always channeled more magic points if necessary to keep me going. I definitely noticing that my magic pool, point, pool is quite small, but it's not a problem with Sif Mana. It's just, uh. I don't know, it would have been a problem earlier on, but I was trying to get Piety to get gifted spells and stuff. Although I'm still after like Death Door, but hey, it's not really a problem at this point. This node is small, it's quite small, and it would be a problem if you couldn't channel in magic. Or you could count on the fingers of one foot the times you regretted killing off uh, malmutate guys. Yeah, I mean, sometimes they give you a positive mutation, but that's extremely rare. Occasionally, like, oh, hey, how, well, how about I remove this negative mutation off you? But not very often. Uh. I want a mortar, but this isn't perfect. Um, I think I just mirror it up. Oh, beat out the mirror. Um, I died to the, the my dude. I think I have to kill these guys. I don't think there's another option here, so I'm gonna do another mortar. Oh, how did it get next to me? Come on, it's fine. Let's try going up, says it won't necessarily work the first time, though. Oh, the thing is, it's a not very dangerous, but also intensely annoying, which is kind of how you expect Nakat to be not cruel with a Marmutate. Yeah, I mean, Marmutate's something that's kind of been there since the beginning. Um, 
And there used to be a lot more of that sort of thing, I think, in the game. It's just kind of stuck around. So, not another one of those death gobs. Not death gobs, death toes, curse toes. Okay, earth magic's good. I can, oh, I can't shatter a toe very effectively, but I can get more, a tiny bit more spellcasting, but I mainly just want, like, fighting, I think. Um, maybe a bigger shield. I was it failed to shatter, interesting. That's not perfectly there yet, but oh well. As a curse, though, again, it's probably the same one. I might just uh, go down totally new staircase, but probably didn't matter. I could probably could have gone down either of the other staircase and be completely fine. There it is. But at least it's lined up nicely to hit with a frost, which I don't think it's resistant to. So it dies pretty quick. Because I know it's like really resistant to fire. And I've had some characters that are doing like fire damage and having a really hard time trying to take it out and stuff. But no, this character just kills it. Um, although it can be a problem when it gets those guys around me and then my tank's starting the wrong thing. It's a bit of a shame. Oh, the stone soup mutate now gives temporary wretched star kind of mutations. Made them last longer, but uh, but it's by far larger. Okay, yeah, it's like how the like draining and stuff goes away when you get XP and stuff. Like a lot of things just go away when you go and fight, so they're kind of just a temporary thing to slow you down, but not absolutely destroy you or anything. Whereas now they don't even like if they're bad, they don't even really last like that long because you just straight up. Reset them after the fight. At least if you remember to, which is not always the case. But it's there everyone dying to like forgetting to do something. What's the best spell to use on this guy? Shadow works, but I think I might just try to blink back a little bit. Ugh. Fine, I'll shatter it. It's just really noisy shattering, guys, but whatever. This isn't the worst spot for fighting a curse toe. There we go. That's level three of Zod done, so I've still got another level Zod, but I'm not fighting my artifacts. Um yeah. Oh uh, well. Whoops, that's not it. I wonder how odd it will be just like opening up random walls with that um, hellfire mortar just to see what's behind them. Like when there weren't any creatures inside, it might be something that could be still a very worthwhile thing to do. It's not entirely sure. I feel like it'd be kind of tedious, so I'm not going to do it with this character, but it's definitely an option, I think. Um... Man, Draconian body looks kind of funny. Like, how often do you see a Draconian body? I feel like it's got to be super rare because they always hit, uh, hit them beneath the weapons that they use. Apart from, I guess, the uh, basic ones can have no weapons. I'm not sure. I know the green recording monks can go and try and unarm you. Maybe they can only leave bodies. I don't know. I think they have cloaks though a lot of the time. Yeah, I think I'm really thinking of one off the top of my head that would actually have a like body. So no wonder that those bodies are so rare. I guess, like, clearly you could go uh, pick up the weapon or something and then reveal the body underneath, but, I mean, by this point of the game, you don't really need basic weaponry. Is they occasionally the cloaks are useful, I guess? I got a channel, I think. Uh, can I slow this dude? Maybe not. No, it's cold resistant, that. Oh, it's a black one. I think those are cold resistant. Oh, they're definitely lighting resist. 
feel like they covered this as well. Uh, this guy's trying to get me with lava. I should be the one using lava here, not it. Uh, yeah, I do want to cast in my guy. Um. Got some teleports, good. What else is on the ground? We've got the, got the sword. Nothing that I need, though. I mean, teleports are alright, but you find, like, such excessive numbers in Ziggurats, I don't, don't think you really need, like, extras or anything. Uh... There's a curse over there. I might just go on the unexplored staircase. That's actually still kind of close, though. Well, the curse over was. Oh, ow. I might get my health back and then go find it, I think. Should come around the corner. There it goes. I want to spend my lignification. I don't think so. No, it's fine. I just kill him from the staircase. There we go. Usually I'd like have absolutely no problems with spending all those lignifications I ever wanted to. But like this character's got so few and I've got a um, trip into a ziggurat. Before you get a death talisman, which I haven't found one of those, then yeah, it definitely makes sense. I should actually be magic mapping this. Uh, you have a few lignification. Where's my magic map? I also got the enchant down, but I really don't know what I want to enchant right now. Um, I'm probably going to end up with like gold dragon armor or something equivalent. I could go with one of the ones that's on the ground. It's not artifacts, but that's probably fine. Um, minus fire versus AC. Pirates of, okay, I thought, I don't know, these are confusing me. I could probably just draw some polymorph. Um, I'm actually, I think it's probably worth putting on. Let's see how many armor classes. My armor class is 35. Shadows on like 8% failure though, so like, oh, uh, really move it, I get drained. I uh, hope this is worthwhile. Okay, so 40% failure in Shatter. Uh, I lose 3 armor class, but it will be fine once they charge it up. Alright, let's just do that. Yeah. Okay, resists are like there apart from the willpower. I can put on I can put on this one for like the decks and AC. That one I don't really need fire resist, but it's wizardry. Willpower, there's an option as well. Let me just look what I've got of willpower. Um any rings? I mean willpower, ice, there's lots of ice ones. Cloak of willpower? No, that doesn't make sense, I don't think. Not many of these are like rigs or anything. I mean, it's basic ones. I kind of... Oh, do I put this one on? I see how much, uh, like, my evasion and stuff changes if I put this on. See if it's worthwhile. Gain, like, two shield value. I gave four armor class. Fires is still fine. I don't know. I might go with that for a little while. Uh, I'll make some noise. Hopefully something, oh, I didn't pull anything back, that's fine. Anyway, I can go wherever I like, so there's traps there, there's traps both sides. Whoa, look at all those alarm traps. Oh, this side, net traps. Kind of feel like maybe I might go to the net trap side. I don't... Miss scars too much yet? Yeah? I'm slowly progressing towards where I need to be. Alright, there we go. Something is coming along. A moth of wrath, I, uh... I can just chatter this dude. I mean, it's a ledge. It's just gonna die to a single chatter or something. Uh... So much brilliance, I might pop one. Alright, last level's, uh... I think intelligence is the most sensible thing to get. You do kind of want a uh, decent stat spread. Oh, that needs a shatter, but I'm going to have to retreat back pretty soon. I uh, got enough for this negative that I could probably just tank whatever this dude does. 
So maybe we should get rid of the other guy with a bit of shadow. Yeah, well, if it's almost dead, I might as well finish it off. There we go. Now I can get my health back. Another roll of fire. Come on. Okay. I mean, obviously, I just dumped some coal on his head because shattering is not going to work very well. Nothing else is really going to work very well on it, but I guess that works. Uh... Cloud here somewhere. Does the cloud walk? I'm pretty sure a cloud like, walks around the ground. It does not need to fly, so if I shatter it, it takes a decent amount of damage. And I know those uh, death cops definitely walk around, so I can definitely shatter those. Liches just shatter absolutely really well. Maybe they made a bone, I'm not sure. It might just because they walk, honestly. Oh, well, shattering that guy's silly. Uh... Okay. I think I kill this guy and then get out of the net, but the nets can take a few turns to get out of leaving you rather defenseless. Also, I need a bigger shield, but then I wouldn't be able to shatter so well. So if they fail on the shadow, what am I getting? Spellcasting? Fighting? I should just get some shield skill. <sighs> I don't think else that helps getting these spells online, like shatter. I'll bring up the shatter like this to, I don't know. 26.9 on the earth as well. I think it's probably a good idea if I'm trying to get that shatter like as castable as possible. Because shatter is a is a good ziggurat spell with log with um ignition. Okay. But then uh well shatter gets uh, the whole screens, which is why it's good, but it doesn't do huge amount else. I want that dispersal trap. <laughs> I love how the Hellfire mod is so useful. It's like, oh, don't like that trap. Goodbye, trap. Why are they going in this way? It's not gonna... I think maybe if I shatter, it will have some ways it can explore in there, but... I don't know. I don't feel like there's gonna be too many ways that it can go explore this way. Uh, we'll shatter, but it won't take out one of these guys. It'll take out everyone else. There we go. And I don't want to pick up the orb right now, otherwise I'm doing an orb run ziggurat, which would be <laughs> maybe not the smartest plan ever. Um... <laughs> Wait, I'm pretty sure I can say that's not the smartest plan ever trying to do an all run cigarette. I don't know why I'm not just popping more of the brilliance, because I know they can be like somewhat useful in a cigarette, but I don't know, I don't feel like they're the most useful. Actually, no, they can be quite good. I think actually without good, I get to use a lot of brilliance so you uh freeze these guys what's well, something that affects the over fire that doesn't seem to be doing the most oh miscast my blink um <laughs> what to do to be vulnerable to cold i've still got three cold resist i should be just fine Yeah, fine. That was giving me a, like a little bit more distance between me and it to let me do a few things, like cast a few spells before it gets up to me. Permafrost uh, seems to deal with the clouds just fine. It was like two casts and it's dead, but if it's next to me, I can just shatter it, I guess. But yeah, otherwise it might just be worth power frosting them. Alright, well, looks like I might be done in here. Let me just shatter my way out, I think. And, um, Crypt. Crypt is next. 
It's got eight chances of some gloves and boots. In fact, let's just go look at the gloves and boots. So, oh, wait, boots. Boots exist. Um, okay. Gloves don't. Boots exist, though, because there's, uh, there's the ones that let you charge up. I don't know how good that is on a character that's not a, um, it might be worth using. On a character that's not like a meteorite or a human or whatever they are, these things would explore heals, but I usually like to use that on. Alright. I mean, these, some of these guys are quite resistant to shatter, but it's kind of generally killing things pretty well. Yeah, I'm seeing like a lot of spectral warriors and stuff trying to come along, but they'll die eventually to the shatter. Oh, you think you lost track around the time that they made Team Ant not an A? With like the glyphs here? Why not ads now? Like, you get the. I mean, that's a. I don't know if you find many ads. I don't even think those ad -like looking zombies are actually like ads here, though. <laughs> I think there's something else, right? Um. Oh. I'm currently slow. This is probably still fine. Yeah, this guy's barely damaging me. I can just staff bash it to death. I have a battle thing to just shattering all the guys. I mean, once there's one guy, obviously I do. I can just permafrost it or whatever. But shatter just seems so effective when there's so many guys around me. Oh, I might be able to get some of... Oh, that was the right thing for Chatham. It's like an ignition or something if they're packed enough. But also resistant. I don't know. That's definitely options. No, that's not doing much. Let's shatter it. He's like, you can always count on the shatter to get anything that's on the ground. Not flying around. I mean, I guess ghosts. I mean, most ghosts fly, right? Is he doing a dragons like flying non ghost things that are still a bit hard to shatter? Or rambling antidote time? And uh, surprisingly lethal net hack. And when we were still playing it, anytime someone died to an ant and the bots announced it, they'd go, Go ant team! <laughs> Every time an ant kills someone, yeah, it sounds like that. Wow, okay. I mean, it sounds like there like, might be, like, the early equivalent of Nada, like a poisonous early creature that kills you, right? <laughs> there were, like, workarounds that almost deserted Krogs, and I don't think they were ever that bad. Um, if I remember correctly. Oh, I felt like a workaround, like, somewhat recently, because I did the old version of Krog for a while. I don't know, I don't remember them being hugely bad. They were poisonous, though. A few net tag tournaments, we uh, tried to deal with this by having our clan maybe Team Ant. But then, wait, what happens if someone from Team Ant dies to an ant? That's not very Team Ant. Ants are like fighting their own. Ghost Unsubstantial, yeah, they are. There's lots of insubstantial creatures in here. I mean, this guy looks like an ant, but it's technically a bombardier beetle. Right, I see. I guess that sprite kind of checks out. Mm. Can this dude paralyze me or something? 6%, it actually can. Huh. I guess that's not the end of the world. Oh, so many ghosts. All right. That's yeah, probably not as essential. It's just a zombie, right? Although, I think to be. Oh, wait, it's a flying zombie. Ah. Whatever. I came on shattering it anyway. Uh. I mean. Things that I can't shatter properly is making me sad. But no, shatter still does a like good job in here. Not everything can be affected by it, right? So I've got oh, a costal strike. I met some real ones of those, so they were tough enough. 
Now we got them in the car and all the nice things to stop it. So we got some plus 10 Shadow Dragon Armor. I've kind of already enchanted on my Gold Dragon Armor. It's actually... Yeah, that's decent. It's what, plus 6? It's not an artifact, but I can swap to the artifact plate before I win. I can get some boots. Huh. So also a two handed so I don't have to worry about shields. Um, although I think there was one for sale, but I might not actually have the money by the time I bought the... Yeah, there's like the buckler there, by the time I bought the seven league boots, I don't know. I might still have money. Uh, channel a little bit of magic, I think. Wait, they really there? I don't know. I might, might be able to find those guys in melee or something. So, God. Slay. Got more, ooh, more child numbers. Good. Uh, do I need a face? I don't know. It's an I've got an artifact tablet. I don't think I need the face. I might just get rid of it. So, but I can use the enchant armor at least. I can charm my gold dragon armor again. There we go. Get that to a decent level. Um, that's the first level of Crypt. I doubt there's going to be gloves, but you know, never know. There might be gloves in here. I might get like, I don't know, what, what artifact gloves are there? There's like the really awful ones, the minus casting ones, the Mad Mages ones. But if I have to, I'll go with some Mad Mages gloves, because, I mean... You don't have to be able to cast spells at the end of the game, technically. So you just need artifact gloves? Yeah. So I can go buy some boots. Um, I can go get a shield. I can swap to the artifact plate. Uh, I go need to, I can go pick up an enchanted weapon that satisfies the enchanted condition. In fact, I could go and chop one up if I wanted to. Uh... And then I think that's, yeah, I think it's just the gloves. So I missed out one thing. Which seems to be quite common, just missing out one item, right? Once you get through, well, whatever, this is a four-rune game or something. And there's still the loot at the end of the crypt, but it doesn't usually have gloves. I think it's a relatively slim chance. Wait, this is a good excuse to go do a ziggurat, right? Because I haven't done one of those in ages. I don't even know if I have to do an entire ziggurat. Or multiple ziggurats. Or... I don't know. It could be anything. At least I'm not going for a specific artifact. Like any artifact would do. Hmm. It's just a harpy, right? It's going to back up. Because harpies hardly do any damage. They do fly though, so they're a little bit hard to take out. Got to have Death Star, no swiftness, alright. I feel like Death Star is like the only real spell that I need. Sith Martin is like an okay Ziggurat god, but they're not like a Mega Zig god. They're not like Gozeg or something. Because you can tell them like a little bit of magic, but I don't know. They don't do a lot. <laughs> In fact, I feel like even a human might be better, because you'd um, get magical kills, which is a lot of magical kills. Oh, I better shout out these dudes. I might even channel some magic, because I feel like I've been in the kind of an unknown spot of the level. Hey, Jory. Eh, I'm gonna type one out. That didn't really help. Uh, does this dude fly? Yeah. I see. How it's resist. It's got cold resist, no fire resist. Um... <coughs> uh... Uh, of oh, a human lets you cast ignition basically forever in a cigar. Yeah, until you just get down to a couple of dudes, and then that's when you can actually run out of magic points. Uh, I need to shadow these guys. Let's channel some more magic, but no, really. I guess I had to fly to with my shield or something, but it's not what I want to see. Um, yeah, what have we got here? We got a uh, manual of long blades. Not uh, really a helpful manual at all for this character. Oh, wait. Uh, I'm getting quite flayed here. I think this will be fine. 
Okay, let's just fly. Ooh, I feel dopey for the trap. The trap could be a problem, but I think uh, mm, maybe should have put a uh, what's it called on there, mortar. Although I don't try had the magic points. I think that's the reason I treated retreat back because they didn't have the magic points. Alright, we got a book with Bog Jaws Revivification and Infestation. I mean, I guess that's okay. I gotta actually get the invocations up a bit, like 15 or something, so I can reliably divide Exodus, because I'd hate to fail that one at a bad time. Uh, an Ambulance of the Air. It's gonna resist electric repel missiles, fly. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't need the points for this ring. I'm trying to think, like, what would make sense. I got the Pirates of Magic Regen one, but Magic Regen doesn't make that much sense. What was giving me minus five resistance? No, it's minus cold resistance mutation. Shout out something that was reducing my fire resistance from where it uh, could have been, and I didn't care about it. Oh, the ring, that ring, right. Which could easily be swapped with anything else, really. Uh, launching a wizard Ike's peril? Well, I better avoid it if I want to avoid my peril. Well, this is like a skull level. It's got this really wonky skull level because I kind of shattered it off and it's missing like an eye socket and stuff. Um, right. Well, I, it's probably, oh, I need to go, it's shopping time, of course. I even need invisibility, I guess. Uh, I guess I'll grab the Violet Floods. I'm just not sure how useful it's going to be. And a ziggurat, but anyway, let's grab all that stuff. Oh, of course, my inventory is full. I can drop. Flight. Uh, paralysis is probably not that useful anymore. Amnesia is probably not that good. I can just ask Sif if I need to. Oh, an acquirement. When did I get this? It's a weapon. It's a heavy triple crossbow. Uh, money, I guess. Money? Triple crossbow? I don't know. I'll get the triple crossbow. It's silly, but... <laughs> it could be a random sniper on the floor, I think. Okay, what else do I need? I need the seven league boots, which I guess I am going to wear this time around. Uh, hopefully not a mistake. Let's drop my old boots. Okay. So, let's look through my items. I got the body armor. Missing the gloves. Could get a shield. My rings are actually both artifacts right now, although I was thinking of swapping this one out. Uh, would a wizardry make sense? Dex and AC is not bad. Do I have anything else for like Dex plus in terms of rings? Dex plus three, Dex plus six. Not on that special. I was thinking if there's like anything to replace this ring with, but oh, I can't spell ring off. There we go. Uh, shows the basic ones. I'm just looking through the artifact ones. Resist negative, resist fire. It's got rather slowness. I don't want to resist corrosion, resist cold. We're okay. Sure, sure, whatever. Those are just sort of basic stuff. Okay, that's not that special. I could just put on more intelligence, but I think that one might be all right, even if it's losing me fire resist. I think in my current state, I'm ready to go to a ziggurat. Is it just gloves? Yeah, although... Just because I can, I'm going to go grab this shield. I might leave it outside the ziggurat, but it gives me an artifact shield for when I need it. In fact, you know what? Let's go to, go to dungeon level zero and drop off the shield. I'll probably find a better one in the ziggurat. I want to do another infestation run. Did you just get an infestation go on a character or something? Have fun with it. Oh, no, I left here an amulet. I don't really need that anymore. I don't think I need this amulet. Okay. I need the buckler. I might need the body armor as well. Those are all things that I can put on before I leave. But I'm going to have to do a ziggurat for the gloves. All right. Well, hopefully it's worth it for some gloves. Uh, I think I want to drop before I go. I've only got five slots, which doesn't feel huge. Silence, yes. Oh, I need to pick up javelins as well, don't I? 
Whopping light. Light's actually light. Might be work for, until javelins, maybe. Um, my willpower's pretty bad. Oh, lignification's gone up to six. Wouldn't that happen? Doesn't really matter, but it's good. Uh, brilliant's okay. I mean, that's... Uh, I probably don't need a box of bees. Right, let's go find some, hopefully, silver javelins. There's, uh, yeah. Like, seven of them or something. Maybe more? Nah, it's all of them. All right, well, uh... Let's go back to that ziggurat. I haven't got the throwing skill yet. Uh, invocations are going up, shields are going up, which makes sense. What even is my shield? It's like protection or something. Hold on, I need to try a bigger shield right now. What's the biggest shield we've got? A tower shield plus zero? Is that it? Alright then. So I got 16 shield value, which is okay. If I put this on, I've got uh, 20 something. If I lose 3 armor because it's probably fine with the shatter. Uh... Yes, probably. Probably an upgrade. I don't know. Um, probably if I want better. But anyway, I think I'm ready to go and I'll just uh, beat a while and some fun spells. You want to try it? Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Well, I'm going in. I don't think I'm worried about titles, am I? Let's just... Let's do this. Oh, hey. It's Pandemonium Lord. <laughs> What's this resist? Like, no core resist? Okay. Did it fly? No? Okay. Goodbye, Pandemonium Blood. So it's got a brand whip, which I don't think I care about. Some identifiers, which I certainly don't care about. Oh, another Pandemonium Blood. Fancy that. So this one does fly. It's got a co resist. Um, might still start with a bit of. No, nah, I might just start with some chatter. I don't know if that's going to work very well. I'm going to challenge some magic. I feel like shattering is like killing it. We I mean, got there in the end. It's just a little bit slow because it's quite resistant to things. We got dragon school. Um, I don't think I got all my macros set up for Mega Ziggy, but that's probably fine. I'm not with Gozak. Oh, that looks like a shatter. Insta shatter to get rid of the curse skull. So we've got armor manual, which is definitely good. Um, I get armor at some stage, definitely. Oh, you just looked back and you have never finished a game with all artifacts, which, yeah, you... Oh, you want to try to do it, but still curious? Right. No, I guess um, it's unlikely if you're not trying for it, right? Because usually, even if you do have an artifact, you might have something better anyway. Well, that doesn't quite work. <laughs> it's fine. Blinking's good. What else we got? Digging. Maybe not in here, but I mean, sure. I'll take some diggings. Yeah, whoops. Uh, where's my... Can I just quirrupt this ignition? That's what I like to see. Things blowing up, so I can charge up my body armor again. Not that it's going to be what I wear at the end of the game, but hey, it's so useful. Uh, is the experience not auto picking up anymore? It's probably not. Let me go fix that. That would have been broken with the trove as well. So it's uh, potions. I thought I turned it back on. Maybe no, it was a different one, wasn't it? Where? There it is. <laughs> huh? Next level, a stuff of like fire earth would probably be ideal at the moment. So burn things like that. Shatter the remains. Okay, good. Getting back into the ziggurat spirit of things. I got the blinking to escape levels if they're too bad for me. Oops, I don't. I don't think I checked the items properly. Uh, so burn the stuff. Shatter the remainder. There we go. Because I don't really care about the books, because I've basically got any, any book I could possibly want with Sif Mata, I think. I still have five parties, so I can't have had all the books yet. 
burn shatter i think shatter again it's not working perfectly on the stoop but it's working well enough and well enough is good enough for me uh i mean <laughs> the armor again i guess what else is there Moon troll of the armor, manual of armor. I mean, I can, I can have another manual of armor, I guess. If you insist, game, I'll take a manual of armor. But I should actually be trading up the armor a little bit, I think. Maybe, oh, maybe all the way 26. Who knows? Anyway, what's next? There's a ring of willpower, strength, resist, negative. Manual of something or badish. Willpower's fine. I don't know about that one, though. I don't sound that impressive, is all I'm trying to say. <laughs> I must have not fully explored that level because for some reason I left an ignition scroll on the ground. I'm gonna move up a bit further than that, but I guess that works. So I'm getting my magic drained. I'm just gonna make sure that doesn't happen. A little bit of invisibility, but I probably could have just burned these guys or shattered them. Probably the wrong order, but. Hey, who's gonna who's gonna judge right? So we've got uh got willpower, we've got mutation, what else have we got? I don't know if we've got anything else. Oh, the autumn katana. I'll pick it up, but I, I'll probably drop it if I need any inventory room. It's not that important. So we've got more experience. Um I mean, that's helpful, I guess, at this point. It's uh, before the point where you just end up getting hundreds of unneeded XP potions that you just can't really use. I mean, I'm just looking for artifacts, really, because uh, it's got to be gloves. But... Ooh. I want a haste. I don't think I can burn these guys. I'm going to shatter them. All right, there we go. Okay, this guy's probably fast to be. I'll just uh, blink back a little bit. Oh, that's not the right spell. I want to head down with some ice. Where's the ice? See, just had that one on my quiver for so long. It's like trying to find it when I when it's not on my quiver. It's like how do I do that? There's more blinking, which is excellent. That was definitely one of the harder levels, one of the disc levels. So this can get pretty crazy. Uh, Rover's magic points end, but I don't care. It's not heavy enough. I want, like, artifact gold dragon armor, ideally. But if I don't find it, it's fine. I've got normal gold dragon armor. What do I even do to this guy? Apparently, whatever I'm doing is not very effective. But it's probably still okay. Ah. Uh. Freeze it. It's still resistant to that. It's resistant to everything I could possibly do. I still don't know what to get with this. Like, that ring is, like, unimpressive. I might just get the... I don't know, it's silly, but I'll get the manual summoning. <laughs> um, I can also fully enchant my gold dragon army, so that's not going to be beaten for ages, I reckon. I'd love to actually enchant a random art because I don't know if I've really got a lot of uh, random arts like, that can enchant here because uh, I mean, the helmet, the boots, they're already over max enchant. Scarf can't be enchanted. Shield, I never really found a proper artifact apart from that little uh, tiny one somewhere. Alright, well, I'm done with that level. Oh, that's huge. Oh, it's one of these. Does it just strip my buff? Might have. Um, how bad would it be to put on brilliance right now? I think it's alright. I just worried about the guys around me a bit. Probably fine though. Right, so it's another one of those disc ones, which is a nasty one. So we've got a staff of ice here, which is not quite what I'm using. I'm using fire earth. And it's got fire resist, resist, negative, resist, cold, but it's minus willpower. It doesn't quite do the trick. See, invisible doesn't quite do the trick. I mean, I'll take a take an XP potion. Uh... Nah, it's just the stuff, unfortunately, in terms of artifacts. So, next level it is.
And my armor class got up a little bit from doing these levels, which is nice. I think I get a couple of shields as well. Bard. Ah, oh, shit, this guy. I've got enough magic points. So we've got a resist electric, resist fire, three inch ring. I'm still just wearing the one for like physical defenses, but we'll see what else is here. Resist fire, resist cold, three strength, resist negative. There's a fire, resist regen cloak. I mean, that cloak's three. It's a bit more armor class than that cloak, uh, but it's minus cold, resist. that fine? Minus resist negative. I want to try it on. It's minus a little, little bit of stuff. Like, into the stuff. It might be fine. Maybe. I mean, down of fire to cold resist if I put that on. Is it worth it for the extra armor class? Could be. Presumably, I can get the back at some stage from something. We'll see. Oh, halfway through the thing, right? Yep, level 14. That's halfway through, I think. And no gloves. <laughs> okay, well, get up. Burn up. Shatter. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm still alive. No, I, okay, I need more willpower for a lot of these sort of levels. I gotta blink back. Um, gotta blink back a couple of times. That could have been a terrible mistake. Oh, wait. Oh, my willpower got stripped by something. So even with willpower, I would have been in trouble. Um, okay, I think I do the fog and just drink a healing potion. Dude, this fog is not working at all. <laughs> um, my willpower is still stripped, though. I hate that. Lots of healing potions. Okay, now I'm gonna shout at these guys. Who stripped my willpower though? That's just mean. On a level like that as well. Man, okay. That would have been a terrible way to die. Okay. Those gloves are not an artifact, but there are gloves here. Gloves of Hurling. A good gloves of Hurling. Did I? Yeah, I do. Oh. I feel kind of lucky to be alive. Also, I might reset these mutations. I got plenty of mutations. See what I can get. So I can get resist and defile the mutation. I mean, I'll take that, I guess. Um, that was close. That was way too close. Yeah, I mean, that could have... That had gone on, like, another turn. I would have just straight be dead. There's nothing I could have done about it. Um, I didn't even realize my willpower was stripped. Oh, the Phantasm Warriors stripped my willpower let the other dude beat me up? Oh, my goodness. Okay, no, that makes sense. Well, that checks out. But, wow, that's terrifying. I need a Zoggle Rock. What else is there here? I don't really need that stuff. How's my actual willpower? Still, it's actually still a bit low. I mean, this fire is this cold as this, but it doesn't help the willpower. Is this negative? Actually, I might want this one on. I don't know if this uh, swapping around made any sense at the end. Yeah, well. I think kind of spaced out. I might just shatter them. Okay, I can burn some of those. I guess I could probably shatter. I must release that little limp. But hey, it means I can get to the food. I can eat some. I can't eat some? Come on, give me some fruit. Come on, you know you want it. There we go. Gave me some grapes. Excellent. I don't know. It's kind of silly. I don't have to go for that or anything, but I wanted some. I wanted some fruit after I shattered my way into there to get them. What do we have on the ground? We've got some chain mail. I don't care about that. Cloak of acid resist. Okay. Well, I think I can just go down. Level 17 of a ziggurat. Um... What is this? It kind of brilliance up, but what is this? <laughs> All these flying weapons? Okay. Start with a bit of burn. They're not... 21% of paralysis. So at least I'm not stripped, so I can just light it up this time round. 3%. That's a bit better.
Okay. So we got a book of Mace of Flails, a manual of that. Um, does he gloves, though? Do you see a mace, which is not what I'm caring about today? I got the enchant weapon just for the. I can, no, I can't. <laughs> It'd just be funny to like, enchant up a random weapon. Uh, you know what? I can probably draw the Autumn Katana. Because technically I meant to enchant one. I'm not sure if I have. I might have. I've got plenty of enchant we um, weapons around anyway. I mean, that does count if you get them already pre enchanted, which I will have. But I want to enchant one anyway, just because I can. Because it was the spirit of the challenge, right? Like, it doesn't matter if you follow the rules, you want to follow the spirit. It blows up with fire again. I know some of these are immune, most of them aren't. Oh. I do this guy. I guess I just. Not that. Hit it with the permafrost. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we got. Uh, ooh. Is that what I think it is? That's some gloves. Excellent. I'm done. I don't have to go any deeper. I. Yeah, with this willpower, I might not want to go any deeper. What are these gloves? My gloves are like plus two. These are like basic, but hey, <laughs> I'm putting them on. Uh, so that's magic points. Whatever. Okay. That was not too bad. Oh, two enchant armors? Okay, I wanna I wanna pick those up. There's gotta be something I can enchant. So I think I'm done. Only level 18 of a ziggurat. That's actually not too bad at all. Oh Chugo in the time of need of the fruits. Oh that's I uh, just double checked. So we've got staff. We've got a little shield lying around the exit. Got some armor lying around the exit. Hat, cloak, gloves are artifacts. Boots are artifacts. Ablet, those are all artifacts. Excellent. Those are okay. Um, yes, yeah, so I got the armor. I've got the body armor. I got the shield. I should be good. Yeah, let's get out of here. I don't care about the cigarette. I am done. Uh, let's go to. I just double check that I've got everything. So it's a shield. I've got. Yep. And it's a. Uh, Artifact armor. I don't know how the, the easiest way to find that. I mean, there's tons of that, right? And it's got to be at least uh, plus uh, something. Plus six, I think. Where? Alright, it's plus seven. So that's good enough. And I can enchant up to like plus eight on the way out, I guess. Oh, these are plus nine weapon. Good point. Um, There is one on the exit, right? Can I just search for like D1? I think that's going to give it. There's, uh, where is it? There's two handers, so I'm not actually going to be using it. There's this one here, which is plus eight. And I've got the enchant weapon, so it's plus nine. Alright, that's good. Yeah, so I'll have the plus nine weapon. I'll have the plus nine armor or whatever, because I can chart that up. And I should be able to, be able to swap to all the silly stuff and win the game. Alright, well, it's time to go to Zop 5, get my orb, get out of here. Well, rude, whatever. Not rude. It is orb. Orb is odd. And hopefully no pandemonium laws to stop me, but I still got blinking left, despite my that little disaster we had in there. I didn't really use many blinking going through part of a ziggurat. Yeah, I still got like wait, nine left? That's plenty. Actually, what do I do to that guy? Uh I don't think Ignition does much. To be perfectly honest. I feel like the... That one does a bit more, but that leaves me kind of wounded, so I might just drink a little bit of a healing potion. Where's an up staircase? So... Oh, hey, Angel. What are Angels resistant to anyway? So it's got a plus two tower shield, which is probably better than mine, but it's uh, not resistant to cold. It does fly. I want your shield, dude. Hand it over. <laughs> This was a, uh, well, it's not really a robbery if it's dead anymore, but like, what kind of was a robbery? Alright, gonna try and heal up on the staircase a little bit. Uh, yeah, just blow this dude up. I could probably do like an Ambrosia or something. There we go, that got a bit of bosh. health back. So I can get to my red, regular scheduled traveling. It's a middle. It flies, right? Very much flies. 
No fire. Does that help the most? I still got a few like fiery spells. I don't know what the best thing to do with this guy is. Um, where's the staircase anyway? Over there. Huh? You just run this way and just leave it behind because it should be able to keep up while I'm hasted. There we go. There I go rid of it. Just didn't want to lose too much health. What does this pandemonium lord does? It flies and it's cold resist. Um How fast? No, okay. Cool. Might just get rid of this dude though, it's annoying me. Don't think I had too much of those spells, lightning bolts, summon eyeballs. I mean, summon eyeballs might matter. It summons them and I might have to do something to deal with them. But apart from that, I think it's... Yeah, it's not a problem. Um... Oh, what's wrong spell? I was just casting on my quiver and I was like, wait, hold up. That doesn't seem to be doing what I meant, what it's meant to be doing. Because it goes like, change my quiver. And I've spent like, pretty much the whole game with like, the um, ice one on my quiver. But not anymore. So it's really confusing. Huh? I missed guys like every single time there, didn't I? What's that failure rate? Four percent. Okay. <laughs> Just double check I had done something to like stuff up my failure rate or something, cause um, <laughs> a lot of miscasts. Yo, let's get an armor title. I'm not sure if I'll get to uh, one or not, but I'm tempted to try and get myself an armor title. Sure, it's not one I've already had, but like, it's I think it's a fairly fun one, like indestructible or something. Uh, no, I didn't get it. I'm on the exit. That's fine. So what do I need? I needed the plate armor, the buckler, and... Oh, I need to drop stuff. Hold up. Charm weapon on the weapon. So there we go. Charge the weapon up to plus nine. I don't even have to use the weapon, so... Counts. <laughs> um, okay, where is it? Weapon sorted. I kind of like some of these rings, but I should probably just drop them. Drop the willpower. Oh, my brand weapon. Alright, so I can get the... Where is it? Oh, I have a... Oh, no, it's an amulet. I can get the... Plate armor and the shield. So we can die. So I want to put on the plate, right? I might put on the shield first. And then I'll put on the plate armor. And it's said to enchant uh, some armor, so I might enchant my plate armor up. And I just got to double check that I'm doing everything that I need to, but I'm pretty sure I am. Looks like I am. <laughs> this is my normal set of stuff. Uh, let's see. So let's go look at the stuff. So to start with, enchant a random weapon to plus nine. And it uh, doesn't say, but you have to have an honor you. There it is. Glaive with a random weapon I enchant to plus nine. Enchant a random artifact to at least plus six. Oh, random armor to at least plus six. Or shield to whatever. Um, and I've enchanted my Randart armor to plus nine, so I'm good with that. Wear a hat. I mean, the crowd counts, but I technically do have a hat somewhere. Yeah, it even says the crowd counts. Uh, I like, uh, shiny new things. To so cast the Hellfire Mortar, which I've done lots of times. And cast the, uh, I did, I think, Portable Pile Driver. In fact, I have it in here. You can see the, where's the Pile Driver? Power Drive I did 10 times. I had to be at least 10 times. And the Hellfire Mortar, I already had like 160 uses, and that was a while back. So that's good. Uh, What else is there to this? Where? all artifacts. This is a hard one, isn't it? So... Let's go double check these all artifacts. So an artifact, 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 artifact. The gloves are the hard one. Artifact boots, artifact necklace, artifact ring, artifact ring. Well, I blinked down the artifact, so now we can just get out of here. Alright, well, that was a good game. That was a fun little challenge. I don't need to do, like, just over half a ziggurat, so it wasn't too bad. I reckon there were other people that were way worse than that. Like, didn't the and team do a ziggurat and, like, lost pandemonium and stuff and still not get it and end up dying? So, yeah, definitely it was really easy on me this time around. All right, well, I'm happy with that. And it was a reasonably slow game, like almost six hours, but I was a mage, so that tended to be a little bit slower. No, that was definitely fun. I think going as a mage was definitely a good idea. 
It made that thing run so much easier than if I had to be melee. So, yeah. I reckon that was a really fun one to go with.